I'd like to interrupt this intro to say, just because we're making Japanese food tonight does not mean that weebs are allowed to do anything but get the fuck out. There's a difference between eating Japanese food and being a cringe weirdo who watches cartoons in, in their 30s, okay? Just thought we'd get that out of the way. Okay, let him with the sub. Thank you, sir. Okay. Damn, such peaceful music. Maybe we'll just like do nothing but sit at the screen and listen to this for like four hours. It's kind of comfy, dude. It's kind of comfy. Hmm, but as tempting as that is, I suppose you guys might have tuned in for a bit more than that, so I suppose we could uh, do some cooking tonight. Huh? I guess we could, we could. Hi, hello. It's uh, another Sunday. It means it's time for another uh, edition of Clueless Bachelor Cooking. Oh, shit. And of course, uh, you read the title, so you can probably probably have at least a vague idea of what exactly it is that we're cooking today. Is this like an animated salt emote? Oh shit, that's exciting. Oh, it's 7TV, I guess I added that at some point. All right. What are these hype emotes? Well, I don't know, probably like cringe, like hype train stuff, I guess. Uh, whatever, just, 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 just let me cook, all right? Let me cook. Oh, so I've been thinking of doing this one for a while now. But uh, I was kind of trying to figure out how to make it a little bit more exciting than uh, than just I cook Japanese food. So recently I had some inspiration because uh, baseball season just started. Now you might, might be wondering what the fuck does that have to do with Japanese food. But I remember so as a kid, sometimes my family would go up and see an Angels baseball game. So I lived about eh, 
30 minutes south of the stadium in, in Southern California. And uh, what we used to do was we'd either, thankfully, like Angel Stadium is a place where you could take in food. So either what we would do is we'd like pick up takeout and then take it into the stadium to eat like during the game. Or sometimes, usually when it was a weekend, so like my parents weren't working that day, we could leave a little bit earlier and we'd stop at some random ass restaurant to uh, to eat there before the game started. And so I remember one night when my mom and I were going up, um, we decided like, okay, we should you know, we should leave a little early. We'll stop at a restaurant, but we didn't really know where. We couldn't really decide uh, what place we wanted to go to. So we were we were driving up up the freeway and thinking like, where do we want to go? Where do we want to go? What are you in the mood for? Well, I don't know. What are you in the mood for? Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty easy. Well, what about you? Well, I'm pretty easy too. I, well, we'll do whatever. And so it was one of those classic, like you can't decide where you want to eat because like you can't just think of a great idea, right? So eventually when we were probably about like, eh, I don't know, three quarters of the way there, we pulled off the freeway and just said, fuck it. The first place we see that looks good, we'll just go there. And keep in mind, as a kid, I was a big sushi fan. Still am. As a kid, I was a big sushi fan. Just like, just big on Japanese restaurants in general. Arguably, it was my favorite food, I guess. And uh, so we ended up seeing this place, this Japanese place, that was relatively close to where we got off on the freeway. And keep in mind, this was like when I was still a kid. So this is like the, the stone ages of like the early 2000s, right? So like, it wasn't like you could just pull up your smartphone real quick and be like, oh, let's check the reviews on this place. It was just kind of like, well, there's that place. I don't know. How's that place look? Oh, give it a shot, right? So... We saw a Japanese place and we said, eh, fuck it, let's just give it, a, give it a shot. So we went in and they were playing like the most like kind of like almost meme worthy Japanese music possible. Like it wasn't like this music that you're hearing right here. It was, I don't know what the instrument is, but there's this instrument that like kind of sounds like you're kind of picking on rubber bands. Like that ding, 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 ding. That's, that, God, that sounds really racist when I say it that way. But anyways, there's that type of instrument. I don't know what the fuck it's called, but anyways. Um, it was, this Japanese restaurant was just playing songs with, like, just nothing but that. And, uh, <laughs> so we were like, well, that's kind of funny and kind of hilarious. So, like, okay, sure. So we ended up just ordering, like, kind of, like, the, the typical Japanese restaurant staples. And it ended up being, like, absolutely amazing. Like, it was just a place that we just found out of nowhere and we just gave it a shot and it ended up being amazing. So we're like, holy shit, this place is great. And so, ultimately, it became one of our regular places that we go to before Angels Games because it was just the random-ass Japanese restaurant that we found off the freeway that ended up being really tasty. And we affectionately called it the Rubber Band Sushi Restaurant because it was the they, they always played the music that sounded like some dude picking on a rubber band. And it's, I don't. We, I, I asked my parents like about an hour ago, like before stream started, like, do you guys remember the name of that restaurant, like the Rubber Band Sushi Restaurant? And like, we tried our best to find it and. We couldn't, we couldn't find the real name of the place. And it seems like my mom even went on Google Maps and tried to like find a place that would have been off the freeway that we would have gone to. And it seems like there's just no Japanese restaurants in the area. So it would seem Rubber Band Sushi might be no more. It would seem that it is no longer in existence. So I'd like to de dedicate this entire stream to Rubber Band Sushi Restaurant, whatever the fuck it was actually called, because uh, it had damn good Japanese food. Or, well, at least what I'd consider what we're making today, which is American Japanese food. So, with all that in mind, I thought, you know what? We should do a we should do a Japanese feast. We should we should have like some Japanese food, but I figured, you know what? Instead of just like going to like, for example, the Asian market that we went to during the first camping stream, I figured, why not make it a bit more challenging, right? So I figured maybe uh, limit ourselves to perhaps a more uh, American style place. <laughs> and uh, and see if we can cook a Japanese meal with ingredients only bought at Walmart. Now, keep in mind, when I say a Japanese meal, I'm not talking about like traditional, super authentic, super culturally diverse, whatever you want to call it, Japanese food. We're talking about like American Japanese food, right? So, like, what I mean by that is, like, if you go to, like, a Japanese place in the U.S., like, the most white boy shit ever to get would be, like, a California roll and maybe get, like, some tempura and some teriyaki chicken. So those three things are exactly what we're making tonight because it might not be authentic Japanese food, but I don't give a shit because just like Chipotle is amazing Mexican food as far as I'm concerned, and just like Panda Express is amazing Chinese food, as far as I'm concerned, amazing Japanese food <laughs> are your stereotypical California roll, tempura, and teriyaki chicken. 
I don't care if it's not authentic Japanese because last I checked, America was the one that actually won World War II, which means that we get the final say on which Japanese food we actually consider good. I think that I think that is one of the rights we earn by winning the war, right? So we are in fact going to be making some <laughs> not so authentic Japanese food today. And uh, kind of reliving my childhood, because I live in Indiana, where I, I don't really ever get sushi for what should probably be obvious reasons. Uh, we don't exactly live very close to a body of water. And uh, because of that, I, I don't really ever go to like a Japanese restaurant where I'm at. I know they exist, I just, I guess I just never go. So I figured like, you know, I, I, I want to have sushi, I, I want to I do it, so why not just make it ourselves, right? What could possibly go wrong? So uh, without further ado, I guess we're going to make our Japanese feast. Now, um, the first thing we'll be starting with is the California roll. Now, I, before we actually start, I do want to kind of like maybe skim the page of the recipe that we're going to be using. I'll link it in chat right now because I'm sure there's some tips and secrets and tricks that I should probably know because I've never made this before. Surprise, surprise, right? Did I catch the fish myself? I did, yes. I hooked it actually at, at Walmart. It was pretty hype. It was pretty hype. So anyways, this is a, actually a Vietnamese dude. Or wait. Hui. Hui Vu. That's got to be a Vietnamese name, right? So he's Vietnamese, but eh, whatever. It's still in Asia. It's close enough. Um, all right, so we get, we're going to have to make our own sushi rice, and I got the shit for that, so that's good. Okay, okay. Yeah, in case you're wondering, like, did I get real crab meat? No, of course not. I got the imitation crab, like every single Japanese restaurant in existence in the United States uses, obviously. So we're going to be using imitation crab. <laughs> surprise, surprise, Walmart doesn't really have real crab that you can use. Shocker, right? Uh, let's see. So we're going to have to follow the sushi rolling tips eventually, but maybe we'll get to that part later. Uh, well, you know what, fuck it. Maybe we'll just wing it. Maybe there's no need to get too complicated with it. I think this is going to make two rolls, right? So yeah, we're going to... If we if we mess up the first one, we'll have enough for a second roll. So that's good. That's good. Okay. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, without further ado, I guess we should probably get this uh, shit show on the road then, huh? But, of course, before we do that... Or, oh, Got to get into the proper attire, of course, right? Eh? Eh? Got to be dressed for the part, of course. Oh my. In case you're wondering, is this cultural appropriation or cultural appropriation? No, because I'm half Asian, therefore I'm allowed to do it. I think that's how that works. Which side goes over which side here? Hold on, wait a minute, I'll figure this out. Another, oh, here it is. Okay. All right. Cosplaying. I actually, I think this. I actually own this. I think from college because I used this for uh, a Halloween costume once. I think I've worn this on stream technically, but it was back on like in the private server days. So it was like a while ago. So only like true, true OGs remember we remember me wearing this on stream. Okay. 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 And of course, you can't just wear the. Whatever the fuck this is called, the sushi maker outfit thing. I'm assuming this has a name, but... This music? Hey, you know what? This music, this playlist is literally called... Um, sushi music, Japanese cooking music, alright? On YouTube, okay? It's a three hour long video of just that, so like, look. It's legit, okay? Alright, and of course, gotta complete the outfit, naturally. I don't know what exactly this says, but I assume it has something to do with traditional Japanese cooking. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this isn't offensive, right? No, it's fine, dude. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Here we go. Walmart budget sushi man. Hell yeah, brother. There's a reason we won World War II for the right to make our the right to make our own goddamn sushi. Hell yeah, brothers. All right. Cool. Let's do it. It literally says America won the war. You're goddamn right, brother. All right. Fuck it. Let's uh. <laughs> this fucking music, dude. Okay. Uh, let's, uh, let's get to it, shall we? Let's do it. Oh, wait, before I do that, I guess I do need to put on my, the proper microphone, right? I actually look Japanese ir unironically. Oi. Oi. Mm. Put on the microphone. It's probably going to work, right? A little higher. Sugoi. Okay, chat, chat, can you hear me? Okay, you can. Neat. All right, let's uh, go do it then, shall we? 
<laughs> oh boy. Thank God I'm doing this in the privacy of my own home, because otherwise I'm pretty sure I could be arrested for a hate crime right now, but you know what? 20 years ago, I wouldn't have gotten canceled for this. I never actually changed the scene, did I? Hold on, wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute. You're still looking at the green screen. Hold on, wait a minute, hold on. Okay, I can do this. I'm a streamer. Hey, there we go. All right, all right. Now we're cooking, boys, now we're cooking. The jeans? Well, what am I supposed to wear? Like, what is a traditional Japanese pair of pants when you're a sushi chef? I have no idea, whatever, dude. Look at all that beer? Of course, dude. I gotta break this open, like, this is the, the, the beer that I was given by uh, Dr. Hoppenstein at the beer fest that I went to. And uh, it's the Sal Dali Giga Chad beer, and I still have yet to try it because I feel like I'm, I'm waiting for like a special occasion, and I don't know when that's gonna be, and if anything, I can do it on my birthday, which is coming up soon, but I, I, I wanna try it before that, but eh, whatever. Soon TM. Okay. Hmm. Now, before we start literally anything, obviously you know you boys gotta bust out the beverages, right? So, to go along with like me talking about the Japanese restaurant that I used to go to, as well as just really honestly any Japanese restaurant, for whatever reason, I don't know why, but every time I went to a Japanese restaurant and I got something to drink there, I would always get Sprite. Why Sprite? I have no idea. I would never, ever, ever drink Sprite as a kid, like, anywhere else. Like, I would, my, my parents would never really buy Sprite, like, cans of Sprite, and I never really went to any other restaurant and ordered Sprite, but... For whatever reason, I always just, I, whenever I went to a Japanese restaurant, I just always wanted to get Sprite, because in my mind, my kid mind, for some reason, I thought Sprite paired well with eating sushi. I don't really know why, I, but it was just kind of a thing that I did, and just eventually I just, like, even as I grew up, I started just doing it anyways, just because, like, it was my thing, right? So, naturally, we're gonna have some Sprite for our Japanese cooking uh, stream right here, obviously. Now, because uh, I'm, of course, trying to keep my boyish figure, it's gonna be Sprite Zero Sugar, but, you know, close enough, right? It'll get the job done. It's a known fact that Sprite's the go-to drink with sushi. Thank you, dude. Finally, someone backing me up on that one. So, uh, let's pour ourselves some uh, delicious Sprite, shall we? Oh, shit. It'll go perfectly. The perfect period. Wow. Uh... Yeah, I did consider doing something like uh, Japanese whiskey, but I figured that's something that, like I want to be able to like appreciate and actually be able to kind of savor. And for a cooking stream, I know that's definitely not oh, definitely not something I would usually do if I'm doing a cooking stream. So I figured, you know what, we'll, we'll go with the more uh, traditional Japanese meal f drink, anyways, right? Yeah. Now, I got the little mini cans because, like, I didn't want to buy an entire 12 pack of Sprite because, like, like I said, I don't really ever drink Sprite outside of whenever I eat sushi for some reason. I don't really know why. Don't ask me, but uh, we got, like, little mini cans. But we got six of them. That should be enough to get the job done, right? In fact, actually, that's probably enough for just one little thing there. There you go. Now, obviously, I am no longer a kid. In fact, I'm a goddamn adult now, and uh, this is a cooking stream, specifically a Clueless Bachelor cooking stream, so... Obviously, we're not just gonna like have just Sprite. I mean, obviously, right? <laughs> I'm a grown up, right? I'm allowed to add stuff to my Sprite now. I've I've graduated. Hey, what's up, uh, Bacon Chef? Coming in hot with the Prime Sub now for eight months. Cooking hype, yes, sir. Your sub will go directly to the Hot Pockets of Doritos and Smirnoff Fund. This is from Russia, right? Did they make it? In, no, they make this in America. I was about to like say like this is to cheers to Russia and Japanese peace together, but. This was made in America, so, oh well, rip their piece, I guess. Um, I'm not really gonna measure this. I'm just gonna sort of add some vodka. Whatever, dude. That's probably fine. It's actually pretty, getting pretty low. I'll probably be able to finish this thing off by the end of the stream. Neat. Thought alcohol was illegal in America? It did used to be, but the good news is it's no longer the 1920s, so I think we're good to go, boys and grills. Okay. A traditional Japanese drink to go with traditional Japanese food. Cheers, everyone. Tastes like vodka Sprite. 
Imagine that. All right. Let's say we get this shit show on the road, shall we? All right, all right, all right. Now, first things first, before literally anything else, we have to prepare the rice, because the sushi rice is an essential part of the sushi, right? Uh, sure. Now, when I went to Walmart, I'll be honest with you guys. I was kind of expecting this entire Walmart gimmick thing to basically be something along the lines of like, lol, I can't find real Japanese ingredients or I can't find like the actual ingredients I need, so we're gonna have to substitute with like the Walmart, Walmart ghetto shit, right? But to be completely honest, once I went today and, and did the shopping, I began to realize more and more this is going to be a stream, not really to show off like how horribly stocked Walmart was for the stream, but more like how impressively stocked it was for the stream. So, you know, give Walmart all the shit you want, but I shit you not, for every single ingredient, even somewhat niche ingredient that we're using to cook this meal tonight, Walmart had it. Uh, every single one of them. Oh my, Lido coming in out with the five gifted tier one subs. It really is just that easy. You drink the vodka Sprite, you get the subs. Hmm. They will all go directly to the Japanese Feast Fund. Wow. Ah, so, yeah. I was not really expecting to be able to find everything, yet Walmart was like, Oh, you need stuff for California rolls? Yeah, we got it. Oh, you need stuff for making tempura? Yeah, yeah, we got it. <laughs> just like... Okay. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you read the title thinking it was gonna be like some giant meme of like, oh, he's not gonna have all the real stuff. But turns out, it's more just like a testament to how ridiculously well-stocked Walmart is. I feel sorry for all the Europeans out there that don't have Walmart, because like, you know, it might be the kind of symbol of American white trash, but god damn, man. They actually kind of have their, like, their shit together. Uh, what can I say? If it's a uh, food train, what an appropriate name coming in hot with the uh, Prime sub now for 15 months. And Lido with another gift of tier 1 sub integrity. Goddamn, I haven't even started cooking yet. I could just end the stream now. Would be that easy. But thank you. The subs will go directly to the Hot Pockets and Rio's one. Hmm. Walmart's your go to for Japanese cuisine. I mean, isn't it everyone's? But hey, you know what? Shit, credit where credit's due. They've got like an Asian section in Walmart and they had sushi rice. So, like, okay, sure, why not? Now, I think what I read, recipe-wise, that you're supposed to do with sushi rice before you do anything else is you're supposed to, to wash you know, the rice. I'm gonna be honest, like, whenever I just make, like, regular-ass white rice, I never wash it. I, 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 there's supposed to be some sort of benefit to doing it, maybe, but, like, I never do because, like, to me, it's just, like, it tastes the same. I've never noticed any difference between rice that I've washed and rice that I don't wash. But I'm gonna, for the sake of this, we'll wash the rice, but I'm still not completely convinced it actually does anything, but like... And this is the part where Chats is like, You never wash your, you, you never wash your rice, you, you have to wash your rice, your rice is it's, it's gonna taste completely... It, I, I, I don't notice any difference at all. Maybe I'm just not fancy enough, maybe my palate's not sophisticated enough, maybe the dishes I'm making don't require whatever texture change there is, but like, to me it's just like, it just tastes like rice. Okay, cool. Anyways, um, so let's do it, shall we? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Do I not wash my hands too? Motherfucker! Do you, you wash every single chicken breast you get from the store? You get your ground beef out of a little package and wash your ground beef? And chat's just like, well, yeah, of course I do. Shut up. Okay. Uh, so we need to do 200 cups of this. Ooh, this recipe actually gives everything in grams. Ooh, shit, we can actually be fancy and just measure it, or just weigh it. Hey, Joel, what's up, bud? Hey. Joel's been fine. No Joels were harmed in the making of this cooking stream, don't worry. It's other fish, not Joel. Or Yuchi. Alright. 200, not 200, 200 grams. 400 grams, whatever, dude. Okay. So, um... That seems like it's gonna be a lot, because it's supposed to be two cups, but, uh... Whatever, trust the process, I guess. I'll measure it in this nasty ass bowl right here. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, let me open this up first. I'm making you watch the consumption of your friends. No, no, no. I'm pretty sure it's Alaskan Pollock, apparently, is what's used to make the imitation crab. Joel's a sturgeon, so it's fine, dude. It's fine. Okay, okay, so. I'm supposed to do. Hello, shoes. Uh, 400 grams. Okay. How much is 400 grams of rice? Let's find out. 
God damn, that's gonna be a lot. God, are we sure? Am I sure I want to use this much? Should I just use two hundred? Hmm. How much? How much total is this bag right here? That weighed one pound. I don't know what that is in grams. God damn it, dude. Okay, well, I mean, eh. I'm just worried, like, do I have a pot that can, like, <laughs> that can fit all this shit? A preseason bowl. Oh, shut up. You've seen this bowl a million times already. This is washed, don't worry. It's just got a lot of, like, you know, character to it. I've been using this bowl now for, like, 15 years, all right? Settle down, settle down, settle down. KG on the bag. I, I, bitch, I don't know how to convert grams to kilograms. What, do I look like some mathematical wizard? Hmm. Anyways, I mean, I'm just worried that, like, my, I mean, I guess, like, oh, hmm, 450 grams, hmm, that, that would make sense, actually. Do we want to make two rolls? Maybe we could just make one roll, I guess. Hmm, hmm, nah, you know what, we'll go for broke, fuck it, dude. Unless, of course, this ends up not being as much as advertised, but... Oh, all right. Four oh two. Four. Yeah, close enough. Whatever. That's fine. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Okay. So, um, I'm supposed to wash this right now. I've got like a strainer. I'm not really sure what method you're supposed to wash this with outside of just like I don't know. Maybe there's some sort of specialty thing. But we're using my ghetto ass strainer. This will get the job done, right? I don't think this is gonna fall through, will it? Hope not. Be a lot of rice, dude. I'm gonna have to probably use like my giant pod instead of like my small one. Eh, it'll be fine. Whatever, dude. Okay, the rice is not falling through the sieve, so that's good news. Okay, okay. Use cold water or hot water? I, I'm gonna use cold water, whatever. Alright, here we go. And here's the other thing like when you wash rice and you get like wet like this, the problem is like. You're already like adding water to the rice. So how do you properly measure how much water like you actually put in the measuring thing? If there's already like a bunch of water in the rice as is. Someone want to answer that for me? I don't know. Okay, am I done? Is this washed? I think it's washed. I, I feel like this is probably good. Oh shit. Okay, we're calling this washed. Okay, cool. Now, normally I would just cook the uh, the rice that I make for myself in like this medium pot that you've seen on stream and cooking streams in the past. You can see it's also got plenty of seasoning. It's very well used. <laughs> um, but uh, I guess this is probably gonna be too small because normally like the most I ever cook in this is like one cup and usually one cup fills this mostly to like the brim. So like, I guess we'll go with just like the big boy pot. Which, uh, I mean, is fine. The big boy pot. Mm hmm. Sure. That pot's been nuked. Yeah, you know, the pot used to be in pretty good condition, but the problem is that the place that I lived in for like the, the final year of grad school, I had a roommate. And this roommate, so like we shared some of our cookware, right? And this roommate used to use like copper, he used to use like a copper wire scrub, like so like this sort of thing. For like every dish to clean it, like not just like the, the stuff like where you had to like get all like the, 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 just like the gunk off, but like literally just everything, he just used this, like you just put soap on it and just like scrub it off with this. And so yeah, he scratched the shit out of my, uh, my pan right there, but it still works, like whatever, so <laughs> what am I gonna do, buy a new pan? Oh, I also just waved that all around over the place and got a bunch of crap on my counter. Okay, hold on, wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute. Bunch of black speck flake stuff now on my counter. Very cool. Uh, oh, I got my drink too. Nice. Oh, what? I was wondering, like, what are all these black specks? But I used that to clean off the uh, the pan that I used for the camping stream, so I guess it's a bunch of the specks of burnt venison. Mmm, tasty. Just adds flavor. I uh, sure. Okay. Slid up amazingly evenly. Okay, cool. So, obviously this rice now already has some water in it. So, like, traditionally what I would always do as far as my ratio of water to rice... It's a lot of rice. I, 
whatever. If I have leftover rice, it's not the end of the world, right? But like, seems like a lot. But anyways, um, traditionally I would always do like twice the amount of water to how much rice you're using. But according to this recipe, like you're supposed to use less. So this is two cups of, uh, of rice and it calls for just two cups. So I guess we're gonna just use two cups. And then like, there's also, I guess some additional water in there that just got absorbed when I was washing it. And I guess we'll just have to kind of YOLO it and hope it works. Cause uh, well, we'll see. Use vodka, tempting dude, very tempting. All right. Um, do 1.5x. I mean, there's already some water absorbed into there from like when I washed it, so. Hmm. I'll do like one and a quarter. How about that? That seem reasonable. One and a quarter is fine. All right. And uh, I guess we'll just put that on the stove, and then while that's on the stove doing its thing, we'll uh, get going to the prep for the rest of the California roll. Or California rolls, I guess, since we're making multiples. Uh, now, I always cook my rice where I just have it, have it get to a boil, and then once it's boiling, I just turn the heat to like really low, and I'm just going to cook the rice the way I normally do. I, I don't know if there's some special technique I should be using for sushi rice, but like, uh, whatever. That's fine. Okay. Ooh, come on. All right. Let's prep the rest of the stuff for the California roll while we wait, shall we? Since uh, that's going to take a good probably 15 minutes or so to get its thing done. Maybe I should have just used, I mean, there's like a tiny bit of rice left. I don't really, really know what to do with this now, but we'll deal with that uh, later. Okay. Hey, Joel. Hey, buddy. What's up? Okay, so we're going to need to use... For sushi rice, you want to use slightly less water because you're going to add sushi vinegar slash sugar after it's cooked. True, but isn't the point of the water to like get it like moist and then... Sure, whatever, right? We're basically following the recipe, right? Just uh, let me cook, let me cook, whatever, dude. All right, so... Um, we're going to be dealing with, let's see, avocado, of course and cucumbers. So like for those that haven't had a California roll before, I don't, are California rolls a thing? Like if you go to a Japanese restaurant in Europe, are they like the staple sushi? Like, you know, the, the basic bitch, like ultimate white person sushi in the US. If you go to a sushi restaurant, like if you get a roll, it's a California roll. If you go to a Japanese restaurant in like Europe, what, uh, what would like be like the typical roll that'd be like at the top of every menu? If it's not a California roll. Because, like, to me, that's, that's like, just synonymous with just, like, white person Japanese food. Tuna? A cum roll? I don't believe that. Alaska roll? I assume that has, like, salmon? A Philly roll? Oh, those are good. Philly, uh, the one with, like, cream cheese in it? Those are tasty. Spicy salmon. Ooh, that does sound good. Maybe that's for, like, a future Japanese cooking stream, but at least for now, we're just gonna stick with the California roll. So anyways, for those that don't know what California rolls are, I guess if you're in Europe and I've never had a California roll before. California rolls are pretty simple. They consist of three things. It is crab, or usually crab, cucumber, and avocado. That's it. It's simple, but very tasty, very effective. i to make sure I see when this is actually starting to boil. So uh, that's really the only three things we're gonna have to prep here. So while the sushi rice is doing its thing, let's do that. <laughs> yeah, crab. This is crab stress. <laughs> Fresh from the crusty crab, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, cover that one. Okay. Timer, set that for... Normally I do like 15 minutes. We'll start with 12 just because I'm not used to cooking in this pot right here. Maybe it's going to cook faster for some reason. I don't know why, but just in case. Okay. Yeah, I can love imitation crab. I'm gonna be real, dude. Like, while regular actual real crab is tasty, imitation crab, still really tasty. Still really good. Still good enough for me. For my American ass, that's for sure. 
So uh, yeah, that's what we're using. And that's all Walmart, Walmart had, so uh, not like we had a choice anyways. Yeah, okay. Let's uh, go to the close-up cam and prepare our veggies, shall we? Ooh. Now, one thing that I'm already a little puzzled by is how exactly you prep the super, super ultra thin strips of cucumber that they have in the Japanese restaurants. So we might have to try a couple of techniques to actually like make it so that we can get down the super thin strips that they normally do, but well, let's just figure it out. That's what we're here for, right? You read the title. All right, so let's see, avocado, and cucumber. Ladies. So, cucumber is like normally, I think the recipe, like when you, you read what you're supposed to do with the cucumber, it says to julienne it. I don't know how to, how to julienne something. That's that's not even a word I, I understand. What, 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 is, what is julienning? I don't have any fucking idea. So we're just going to kind of wing it. Like I, I think what you want to do is like cut it in some sort of long strips. Like, yeah, long, thin strips. And then after that, I guess just... I don't, I don't know. Always make sure to wash your cucumbers. Nobody likes a dirty cucumber for cooking. Okay. So, all right. So thin, even strips. Sure, we can do that. But I saw somebody, by the way, call this earlier in a picture at Voldrathar. This is my, my babish knife, all right? It's, it's, not a, it's not a sword. It's a knife, right? It's, it's from Orlando's gift shop, I think. Okay, so if we're going to julienne this, whatever, do we cut it like strips like this way? And then, like, cut it into strips after that? Or, like, do we just cut, like, the thing in, like, in half? Or... Hmm. Hmm. Watch a video, bitch. I ain't got time to watch a video. Can I just, like, get away with just, like, cutting strips like this? And then just, like, you know... That sort of thing? That's probably fine, right? We got plenty of a cucumber to fuck it up anyways. I'd like to point out, by the way, that this cucumber cost me 69 cents. That's got to be intentional, right? Literally, the price of one cucumber was 69 cents. I mean, like, come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, so cut the chodes in half lengthwise. Yeah, so okay, that sounds good. So, like, cut it this way and then, like, cut into, like, the middle, like, that way. All right, sure, let's do that. So, like, this way? Sure. Let's do it. Oh, well, okay, this is kind of half. Whatever. <laughs> Close enough, all right. Where's the sake? Buddy, I'm doing you one better. I'm doing Sprite, the ultimate, well, Sprite and vodka, the ultimate complement to a, uh, to Japanese food. Hmm. All right, so, cut off the ends. Okay, I kind of like that idea, actually. Like, cut, I mean, I'm just cut it in half, actually, and then we can cut it down this way. This allows us to give us, like, decent, decent strips. All right, let's do that, let's do that. Okay, okay, okay. There we go, there we go. That seems to be working. Okay. How dare Chad doubt me and my cooking skills and my knife skills. Pay no attention how I'm gripping the knife. I don't actually know the proper way to grip a knife, but... Not relevant. How much are, we, how much are we actually supposed to do here? No? Well, too bad. This'll work. Whatever, dude. How much are we actually... This recipe called for two Persian cucumbers. I don't know what the fuck a Persian cucumber is. I just got a regular-ass cucumber. So I figured, like, eh, it's a lot. This should fit into two rolls. How much, how much of this do I actually need to cut? All right, well, before we go any further, let me just, like, test out my method here. Like, here's what I had in mind, right? So, like, I was going to, like, cut it, like, little, like, chuk, 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 this way? Right? Or, oh, actually, wait a minute. Or do you do it this way? Like, chuk, 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 like this way. Ooh. Hmm. Do we do it lengthwise, or do we do it, like, Girthwise. <laughs> hmm, diagonal. Diagonal? Why the fuck would you do a diagonal? That'd be like inconsistent like lengths of the strips. Long way and remove the seeds. Buddy, I ain't get time to remove the seeds. You can just eat the seeds, it's fine, whatever, dude. Okay, so like do it this way? I, I feel like I should just do it this way. This seems like pretty reasonable, because then they'll all be the exact same length, right? Which seems pretty 
pretty reasonable. Lay them flat on top of each other like a bunch of naked cowboys? You're talking about 25 raiders in the arena at Olduvar Ranch? Okay, so like you're basically implying that like I should cut more of these strips and then just do them all at the same time. Okay, I can do that, I can do that, I can do that. Alright. Oh, it's getting rather thin though, so. Careful, SpongeBob! Careful, SpongeBob! Oh, that was kind of thick, but. Eh. Whatever. Long way so they go the length of the roll? Uh, uh, oh. Uh. Okay, I see what you're saying. That's a good call. That's a good call. Okay, we'll do that. Alright, so now we gotta like cut them maybe a little this way. Oh, careful, SpongeBob! Oh, okay, well. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go and say the consistency of the thickness of these cucumber strips are not gonna be amazing, but it's still gonna taste like cucumber, so it's fine. It's fine. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> uh, Alright, now's the part where we tried not to cut our fingers off. Whoa! Careful, SpongeBob! Careful, SpongeBob! Oh, careful, SpongeBob! Okay, okay. Oh! Oh, okay. Now we're good enough. All right, cool. So should we just do this for the other half and just say like, fuck it, that'll be good enough for one roll? Uh, this seems like a lot, honestly, for just like one roll. Because it's going to go in here, right? And like, this feels like a lot. It feels like this is probably all I need for two. Because like, hmm, hmm. People trying to give me knife tips. Do I look like armadillo to you? Do I look like I'm taking taking tips for how to use a knife? Nah, dude, we're winging it. We're winging it. Um. Um. Hmm. Hmm. All right. You know what? I think I'll, I think I'll just start with what we got here, so that way, if it ends up being too little, we can always cut up more. But like, I don't want to like add too much. And essentially just waste the cucumber, so let's uh let's just do this and assume this will be enough for two rolls, okay? Well, well, alright, rip that one. Okay. Whoa, careful SpongeBob. Oh, okay. Fang of Vosh. <laughs> uh. Oh man, the armadillo memes. Some things just never change, dude. Literally, for, like from back on the peace server days, that was a thing and still is. Who would have guessed that the silly armadillo man, even to this very day on uh, on classic, would still be talked about, revered by all the the classic WoW nerds? Okay, okay, okay. So like, whoa, whoa. Alright, I feel like I did this one like slightly better, right? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe it's her fur. Alright. This seems reasonable, right? Like, uh, okay, okay, okay. And like now we could. Hmm. I feel like what you'd want to do is basically just add like half and half to each roll. So like, you would add like this to some, like, first thing of the roll, and then the other half to the other part of the roll, and just. Oh wait, hold on, wait a minute. We're gonna have to cut it this way too, right? And then, yeah, okay, hold on, hold on, wait a minute. Okay, so we're gonna have to cut it this way. Okay, I can do this, 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 okay. Now cut them like french fries, yeah, 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 yeah. So we just cut them this way, right? That seems pretty straightforward. Right, like just like, like this sort of way? That's a ton of cucumbers. It is, but like, whatever. I'd rather, we can always take, we can always add or take out cucumbers. It's not like, you know, we're like, oh, we put the cucumber on, oh, now we can't take it off. Like, eh, it's fine, we can, we can play around with it. All right, send it. Good enough for me, dude, let's do it. Try to do this obviously as thin as possible, I guess, for maximum authenticity. Because unfortunately, when it comes to sushi rolls, nobody really wants to have girthy cucumbers. Unless, of course, you're into that sort of thing. Which you might be. That's cool, dude. That's cool. Oh. 
I'm pretty sure like this so this knife like when I got it was like insanely sharp and insanely good so I've used my knife sharpener to like try to keep it sharp but it's definitely not nowhere close to as sharp as it was when I first got it so I'm starting to get the feeling that like maybe the old knife wasn't really the problem it was actually just my sharpener maybe it's time to get a new knife sharpener you've seen me use my knife sharpener before on stream it's kind of a ghetto one so that <laughs> might have something to do with it I guess it's happening yeah it's looking pretty good it's looking pretty good okay 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 Right? Okay. That wasn't hard, see? Yeah. Okay. Sushi Chef God X, baby. I'm actually going to use this stream as my audition tape to uh, get hired at the local sushi place, so that way when my uh, classic WoW streaming career comes to its natural conclusion, I've got my, uh, my next career ready to go already. Surely the attire, of course, is going to help, uh, help me sell myself, right? Surely, surely. I mean, I, I'm Asian, right? So, like, I'll just tell them I'm Japanese. What are they going to do? Question my heritage in 2023 and get themselves canceled? No, sir. No, sir. By the way, for somebody who was saying earlier, like, what are you making? Are you making, like, a cucumber roll with how much cucumber you have? Cucumber rolls are actually a thing, and they're pretty good. My sister would have cucumber rolls all the time because she's a, she's a vegetarian. And so uh, when she, we would get like sushi, she'd be like, I'll just have the cucumber roll, please. And we all rolled our eyes at her, but they're still pretty tasty. Still pretty tasty. Oh, okay. There we go. All right. Maybe not as thin as the strips you'd find at a like, legit Japanese place, but I'm pretty sure it's going to get the job done just fine. Okay. You have the cucumber for streamer sister. Uh, I don't think she's. I, I don't think she's accepting new cucumbers right now. I'm sorry, boys. All right, so that was the microwave timer going off, implying that the uh, the rice is done. Let's see here. Ooh, no, it's getting there. It's definitely been cooked, but needs. It's looking a little moist. God damn it! We probably should have added less water. Let's uh, leave it open like this, and maybe. No. Anyways, let's give it more time. If anything, we can always like just leave the lid open after it's done uh, cooking and have it dry out a bit. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah. Okay, so anyways, we'll call this good enough. We still have a whole other ass uh, giant cucumber that we can use if we need to, but... I get the feeling that... Uh, this is going to be more than enough right here, I think, maybe, I hope. We'll see. How do you... Do you store a cucumber, like half a cucumber, especially when it's cut like this? I guess I'll just wrap it in like plastic foil or something. <laughs> Always make sure to use protection, kids. Wrap your cucumbers responsibly. Alright, that'll work. Okay, cucumbers, check. And uh, now let's work on the crab, shall we? Or the, the crab. Oh, it's rather slimy, but it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I don't think they removed the seeds like when it comes to... Uh... Oh, by the way, we still have like, these two little portions left right here, by the way, that... Hmm. Two little portions right here, I guess, that we can technically just, like, cut really quick, too, right? Fuck it. Might as well not have it go to waste. Okay. There we go. Those are kind of thick pieces, but, yeah, that's fine. You always remove the seeds when you make rolls in sushi restaurants? Well, you know what? I'm opening my own sushi restaurant. I'm not going to remove the seeds, and it's going to be the, actual, the absolute talk of the town. People are going to love it. You want to know why? Not because my sushi is great. It's because I live in the middle of fucking nowhere in Indiana, so there are, are, there are no other sushi restaurants. I'll just be the best one by default. It's really just that easy. Mm. Okay. Let's uh, get out the 
the crab, shall we? <laughs> so for those that don't know what imitation crab looks like, there you go. Um, it's called Crab Delights. Ooh, so delightful, wow. Sustainable wild Alaskan pollock. There it is. Friend of Joel. And gluten-free. Oh, that's okay. Well, I don't really care about that, but all right. It's leg style, whatever the fuck that is, as opposed to arm style or dick style. Okay. Sure. All right. That's the rice timer again. Let's see how we're looking. Okay. We're looking pretty good. Nice. All right. Let's turn the heat off, and I think I'll just leave the uh, the lid kind of like half cracked, so that way it can dry out a little bit more. I think we're. Uh, I think we're. I think we're rolling. Okay. 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 Hey, what's up? Uh, OMG Noob coming in hot with the tier one sub. Let me let me guess. I've not read your comment, but something along the lines of Envy sucks. Seems reasonable. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Your sub will go directly to the Hot Pockets Doritos and Envy sucking on uh, Cucumber Fund. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, did I miss a sub? Sorry, boys. A little hard to watch uh, chat the entire time. Did Linty Juice sub? Oh, my bad, dude. He said, uh, hell yeah, Sushi Chef Dally. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Your sub will also go directly to the Hot Pockets, Doritos, and Sushi Chef Fund. Well, wow. All right, so it said to... Uh, this recipe's called for eight sticks of, like, Kanakama, whatever the fuck that is. I just got Imitation Crab. I don't think this is... How many sticks is this? It's one, two... Okay, this is seven. Whatever, dude. It's gonna have to be close enough. Mmm. <laughs> Appetizing. Honestly, dude, like, I bet it is. I bet I could just probably just eat those just as is, and they'd probably be pretty tasty, honestly. Alright, 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 alright. Now, how exactly do we, uh... I assume we just shred all of this, right? I can't, I can't imagine it's anything more complicated than that. Uh, what does the recipe say here? Okay, oftentimes... Uh, I should actually probably just read the instructions on the actual recipe itself, huh? Okay, so take... The eight kana, kani kama sticks, oi, and cut them into small pieces about three millimeters. Millimeters, bitch, I don't know what the fuck a millimeter is, and put pieces into a small bowl. Kani kama comes in shape of sticks, but you can pull them apart into smaller strips when you mix in the QP. Okay, we're gonna do that. <laughs> That's a P. Um, hmm. I mean, like, can we just, like, whenever I have California rolls, like, just shredded into, like, just shreds of whateverness, so, like, can we just, like, sort of. and just have it just be like shreds of just whateverness. Yes, they're pre-cooked, by the way. That is the thing. Um, hmm. All right, so it says, when you mix in the QP, you need to mix a bit aggressively. To oh, okay, so like that comes in like when you mix it with uh, the stuff later. Okay, fine, fine. So it says, take, it, take the sticks, cut them into small pieces, about three millimeters, and put the pieces into a small bowl. Three millimeters. For the EU chads in chat. Actually, no, let me rephrase that. For the metric soy boys in chat, how much is three millimeters? Like, this much? It's like, this much? Millimeters. What the, what the fuck is a millimeter? Jesus. Imagine using metric. Not a good look. Uh, it seems like probably just like this, right? Wrong way? Oh, should I cut it this way? Yeah, actually, that makes sense. Okay, we'll cut it this way. Just little thin strips of stuff. Yeah, that seems correct, sort of. Is it, though? Because it feels like this should be, like, shredded. And can't you, like, just... I think it comes off in strips already, right? Yeah, I mean, you literally just, like, peel this with your hands. It's like, it's, oh yeah, it's like it's already kind of stringy as is. I feel like I can... You can literally just, like... Do we even have to cut this? I feel like I can literally just, like... Peel this like string cheese. I think I'm just gonna do that. Yeah, fuck it. We don't need a knife for this. It's literally just like the texture of string cheese. I uh, well, it's obviously legit real crab, but it's uh, string cheese crab, of course. It's a rare breed found in uh, the waters of Indiana, of course. The rare string cheese crab. Ah, uh, yes. Out of Lake. Uh, out of Lake Craft, of course. Yeah. There we go. Okay, that'll work. And yeah, we'll like we'll chop it up more like once it's okay. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go, boys. That'll do, pig. That'll do. I gotta say, I mean, it smells 
exactly what I smell when I smell a California roll. It smells, it smells the part. I'll give it that. What is streamer making? The most authentic Japanese dish in existence, dude. California roll, obviously. The most basic bitch white person of Japanese dishes, but there's a reason for it. California rolls are fucking delicious, dude. If you've never had a California roll, just go to a Japanese restaurant and get one. It might be, like, the, the server will probably judge you if it's, like, an actual Japanese person because, like, like I said, it's the most American white person Japanese thing you could ever order at a Japanese restaurant. But my god, it's tasty. It's simple, but just so effective. Oh. Fake crab is gross. Well, you know what? You're gross. <laughs> Got him. You've never had any type of Japanese food? Dude, it's pretty biss, honestly. Like... I know I'm kind of memeing around a bit, but like, if you do actually have like real legit authentic Japanese food, also very tasty. To me, like, okay, so like Chinese food, I will die on this hill. Authentic Chinese food is just, eh. It's not bad per se, but like it's nothing to write home about. And this is coming from a person who used to go to authentic Chinese restaurants all the time as a kid, because like when he would, when I went out to uh, family gatherings on my mom's side, who's the Chinese one, we would go to like the authentic Chinese places in Southern California. And they were just, eh, I don't know. Chinese food, like authentic Chinese food to me is very under-seasoned and kind of bland and very mushy and whoop, and kind of <sighs> plebby. I don't know. That has almost no spice as well. And keep in mind, this is Cantonese food. I, I, can't, I guess I can't really speak for Mandarin in, in reality, which I realize is like the majority of Chinese food, but like Anyways, I was, was very underwhelmed by it as a kid. So, like, whenever I would go to Panda Express, I'd be like, fuck it. This is the actual Chinese, good Chinese food. Now, like, I understand, yes, it's Panda Express. So it's, in reality, Americanized Chinese food. But, like, I will die on this hill. Panda Express, straight up better than authentic Cantonese food. I will go to Panda Express any day over an authentic Chinese restaurant. 100%. Now, that being said, Japanese food, while I definitely enjoy, like, just your American-ass basic bitch, uh... California rolls and just like the basic basic bitch Japanese American food I will say that authentic Japanese food is also very tasty they they add, actually add proper spice to the food they actually add proper like seasoning proper stuff and have like decent textures so like I fuck with both that being said it's a hell of a lot easier to find the American Japanese type of ingredients at Walmart than it is uh, authentic stuff so we are calling this good enough God, I haven't had California rolls in such a long time, too. This just smells... Oh, it just smells good. Mmm. Honestly, dude. I know it's fake crab, but like it does kind of taste like crab. It's got like a hint of crabbiness. It's, it's kind of funny, though. When you read the ingredients... I'll just show you. Hold on. When you read the ingredients of this, so it says like, hold on, focus, focus. Okay, Alaska Pollock water. But if you go down to like the very bottom, it says, if you read like this part right here, it's got crab flavor. <laughs> so I guess that would explain why it also tastes a bit like crab. I don't know what the fuck crab flavor is or like, there's a crab flavor made in a factory or in a lab or something, but Apparently they go out of their way to make sure it tastes as crabby as possible. I mean, <laughs> how exactly that's done, I'm not sure I want to know, but, uh... Hey, you know what, the end result tastes approximately like what I would expect, so I guess I'm not really complaining. Oh, I'm feeling Mr. Krabs. Oh, I'm feeling a warm spot. Why didn't you tell me this was my mother's place? Oh, you never asked. I guess you're going to be missing the panty raid. What was that, boy? I said, I guess you're going to be missing out on the panty raid. Panty raid, huh? Mm-hmm. You're talking like girls, right? Mm-hmm. Like girls, girls go in and steal their underwear. Oh, yeah. Well, looks like this night just took a turn. <laughs> Not lame. Spongebob lore. If somebody right there doesn't understand what I was just referencing and just quoting, please 
tune out of this stream immediately and go watch the first three seasons of Spongebob, please. And you can thank me later. It's taking a while. Okay, we're gonna have to, like, have to, like, chop this up a little bit later into, like, much more... Because, like, when I imagine California Roll, I imagine kind of just, like, imitation crab mush, if that makes sense. When, like, we mix it up with the mayo. That's coming soon, TM, of course, so... We'll do that part soon, I guess. Wake up, streamer, we gotta raid Mrs. Krabs. Eugene, what are you doing in my bedroom? Okay. <laughs> if you didn't know what this actually was, what would you think I'm just stacking up on my cooking board here, on my cutting board? What do you think this is? Just kind of like mystery white and orange meat? Hmm. Homemade Dali Mayo? No, I'll show you in a second what we're using. I honestly thought I was going to have to make, like, homemade Japanese mayo. But, uh, Walmart coming through in the clutch. I'm just going to say that. You would think this is foreskin. Okay, string cheese? Okay, actually, yeah, that's a... That, that answer is actually a pretty good one. Uh, I, I swear to God, this has the same, like... Kind of, like, cons well, let's say consistently. It's consistency, but the same kind of structure of string cheese, if that makes sense? Okay, there we go. All right, all right. <laughs> it's definitely, I mean, it definitely fits the part, right? Okay, all right. So, before we continue on with the whateverness of this, let's uh, let's do the sushi rice because rice is finished cooking, so now we can actually add the stuff to make it sushi rice and not just regular ass rice. First things first, though. I think it's time for more, some uh, some more traditional Japanese Sprite. Looks satisfying the way I split it. It is. Kind of, I mean, it's, it's just as satisfying like as when you like split string cheese, right? Like everybody, half the fun of eating string cheese is just like the string part of it, right? So not gonna lie, that was actually kind of satisfying. All right, authentic Japanese sprites, authentic Japanese vodka. Of course, of course. Chunky ice cubes. Well, this is the only ice tray I have is like for the fancy giant ice cubes that I would normally use for like whiskey dishes, but or whiskey uh, drinks. But whatever, dude. It's still made of water. It's still frozen. It's still cool stuff. Then it's good enough in my book. Oh yeah. I might actually run out of vodka. I mean, I've gotten some knob that we can switch to if we have to later on, but I was kind of hoping this vodka would be enough to get the job done, but I'm starting to notice that apparently I'm too much of an alcoholic because I'm not feeling that first one at all. I need to make this one stronger, or I needed to make this one stronger. That being said, this is probably going to be a pretty long cooking stream. Um, this is probably the first cooking stream I'm ever, like, I've ever been worried about that's going to take longer than I want it to, because like every other cooking stream I ever do, Usually, like, I'm just worried, like, is this, this going to take long enough? Is this enough for an entire stream? I'm a little worried that I might have bitten off maybe more than I could chew, because we're making not one, not two, but three things. This is the first thing, but... Oh, well. For you guys, it just means more content, so... You're welcome, I guess. Okay. Now, uh, what are we supposed to do with the sushi rice now? Let's see here. Uh... What is this exclamation point hung clip? What did I make that again? Hold on, I'm pulling this up. Give me a sec, boys. What did I make exclamation point hung? Huh? Loading on my slow ass laptop, of course. Um, oh, right. <laughs> There's the dude asking about anal pills. Now I remember. Okay. Anyways, uh, what are we doing here with the rice? Um, Measure, okay, cook the rice already, yeah, 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 yeah. When your rice is finished cooking, add the ingredients of the rice seasoning into a microwave-safe bowl and mix with a fork or spoon. All right, we'll add it into our very pristine bowl here. Don't judge, all right? You, you have some nasty-ass bowls sitting around, too, that you use for all your cooking. I don't believe, believe anything else for a second. Explain what, Linham? Whoa. <laughs> okay, come on, dude. Come on, man. Don't do me like that. What was that from? When did I... I, 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 I know I've worn this headband on stream before, but like... 
Oh, it must have been for Halloween one year, I think is what I did. I think it was for a Halloween stream. All right, anyways. Um, so cook the, uh, let's see, add the ingredients of the rice seasoning. All right, so what is that? That is... Um, so it looks like two cups of water. Let's, see, let's actually use the big bowl for this. Oh, it's supposed to be a microwave safe bowl. Oh, well, okay, let's just use... Mm, I don't own big bowls. God damn it, dude. All right, you know what? I do own a bowl. Hold on. Okay, I got an idea. I'm going to have to wash it, though, because I wasn't expecting to have to use this bowl for stream today. Like most things that I own in my kitchen nowadays, this I bought back in college about 12 years ago. Using this for this very day. It's kind of like the only medium-sized microwave-safe bowl that I own. I mean, technically, that plastic bowl is safe for the microwave. I've used it in the microwave. You know what? Eh, yeah, fuck it, dude. What am I talking about? This will be fine, dude. I've used this in the microwave before. Okay, that's fine. All right, so um, supposed to be, let's see. Uh, it says two cups of filtered water. Okay, buddy, we're just gonna use regular ass water. Where did I get the Japanese chef coat? At this point, I don't know. I've owned this for a long time because I got this for Halloween, I think back in college. I've literally had it that long. It was probably just Amazon. I, mean, I don't think I got fancy with it. Microplastics ink, I'll be fine, dude. Okay. Um, so how much am I, what am I supposed to add? It just says like the stuff for the rice seasoning, but it doesn't actually say, let's see, is it just, ah, God damn it, dude. Uh, 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 uh. Literally, okay, so like, I'm just looking at, I'll post the, the sushi rice recipe in chat right here. I'm trying to figure out, like, literally, like, what's in there. I've got the ingredients. Like, that's set to go, but I'm trying to figure out, like, what what is in this seasoning mixture. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Uh, okay, so I guess we'll, we'll take out the rice vinegar. I know I need that, which Walmart had, which was kind of amazing, honestly. Um, where is this? The recipe very specifically says, don't get the seasoned rice vinegar, the natural rice vinegar. So we get the natural rice vinegar. Okay, sure. Got that. And then we need sugar. Okay. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be any sort of special sugar, but you know, your boy is just using regular ass great value sugar, obviously. Uh, salt, well, you know I've got that. That's something we're not short on. And... And then there's two cups of filtered water. I assume the filter, two cups of filtered water are supposed to be water that we're adding to this thing right here, I think, maybe? Uh, probably, maybe? Regular ass sugar, yes sir. Uh, hmm, the water's to cook it. Okay, so I assume I just add the water plus the salt plus the rice vinegar plus the sugar, and that's just it, right? Fuck it, dude. Let's just do that. Hey, what's up? I'm Murloc coming to hop with a gifted tier one sub to don't say bad words, please. Yeah, I'll try my best not to. Sorry. Sorry about the last uh, last week's cooking stream, VOD. Streamer got a little toasty and made an unfortunate little verbal mistake. But this week, we'll keep it clean, boys. I promise. All right. I already added the water. No water? I... Oh, okay. So you're saying okay, okay. No water. Oh, I oh yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. I'm not a smart man. Okay. All right. Cool. Let's add the just the okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. So it's supposed to be two tablespoons of rice vinegar. Oh, that's like not much. Okay. I guess we can just use the small ass bowl, can't we? All right. Small bowl it is. There we go. Okay. <laughs> equally clean tablespoon measure. <laughs> this one has also seen a, a lot of use, let's just say. So, okay, two tablespoons. Now, by the way, I'd like to just point out that uh, there's no smaller size, there's no smaller packaging of rice vinegar, and I will never use this ever again, more than likely, so. You boys have to be thankful that we're doing this for content, because otherwise, just fine buying this entire thing, just use two tablespoons of it is a little painful, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, something, something business expense, right? Yeah.
Okay. Rice vinegar shot stream? Five gifted subs. No, 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 no. Ten gifted subs. There we go. It'd be a half shot, by the way. It wouldn't be a full shot. Do it? I'm not doing that shit for free. That's definitely not happening. Already gifted six today? Well, you haven't gifted six before I said that, or after I said that, so get fucked, loser. If, you, if you're smart, never do anything for free. All right, anyways. Um, uh, all right, so we had that plus... Oh, God! I really should have made the number higher, shouldn't I have? Why did I think 10 was, like, a lot? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna... <laughs> Oh no. I'm gonna double down. So Humi just gifted 10 subs for me to take a shot of rice vinegar. Or I, I said a half shot. I'm gonna double down. I'm gonna double down, okay? Okay. If I get an additional... 15. <laughs> We'll do a half shot of rice vinegar plus an additional half shot combined of fireball. We'll still we'll, we'll do the rice vinegar regardless, but I'm gonna first things first cook this up first. Pull it, pull it, pull so that it. way I, I give Chad some time here. Otherwise, we'll just do rice vinegar. But what a if I'm gonna suffer, dude. I might as well suffer for the what max price, right? That's just what I'm, I'm just saying. That. Liar, dude. Okay, well that's five from Trudell. I didn't say all at once. God what damn it! I probably should have said that liar, too. Liar, dude. What a fucking Weasley little liar, dude. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm gonna do the rice vinegar, don't worry. I'm not schematizing here. I'm gonna take it regardless. But I feel like I, I always have to like somehow shoe, shoehorn fireball into the stream somehow. This seems like the obvious way to do it. Um, Alright, so, anyways, what else are we added here? We're adding two tablespoons liar, of sugar. What a fucking Weasley little liar. What am I lying dude. about? What? Vinegar is a common ingredient in health purge cleanse drinks. Your friend tried it and immediately vomited. That's why I said I'm only taking a half shot of it. Okay, that's another 10. God, is that actually gonna make me vomit? A half a shot isn't enough to make me actually like, vomit, is it? I don't wanna vomit. I don't wanna actually like, feel sick. Okay, well. Seriously though, is that gonna make me vomit? <laughs> I don't wanna do that. Do it at the end of stream? I don't wanna stop. Uh, mm. It's half a shot. Have a chase already? Well, I mean, obviously. Uh, I'll be fine. Uh, I mean, I can't back out now. I've already. The money's been paid. Ugh. What am I. Bullet, You're technically. Bullet, isn't this TOS actually? Bullet. It's like. Drink based on. Okay. You know what? No one tell Twitch. Half a shot. <laughs> Oh, this is gonna be so Pull fucking it. bad, Pull dude. It. Oh no. Why did I why did I commit to this? Why did I think this was a good idea? Oh, why did I do this? I is this money worth it? I just have to like channel my inner LA beast. Where's my Oh yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. I bought a new thing of fireball. So, okay. We just got like a whole ass thing of fireball now, because like I I ran out of the fireball shot thingies. I was thinking like well, do I buy more of those, or do I just buy the entire thing? I was just like, well, I'll just buy the entire thing. It's still the same, so... Now we'll just use an actual shot glass, like a respectable human being. Mix them together. Uh, maybe we're just making... Oh, why... Why am I doing this? Oh, no. Why am I doing this? I don't want to... Oh, my God, man. I swear to God, if this makes me feel, like, really horrible after stream's over, or, like, during stream... I'm gonna regret the shit out of this, dude. Mm. It's like one of those bets you would do in college and just immediately throw up afterwards. Why am I doing this? Why did I commit to this? Why did I say, why did I say so few subs? I could have gotten so much more money for this. Uh. 
bullet, bullet, bullet. It smells like really vinegary fireball. Full fucking beast, boys. I don't care what it takes. I don't want to do that. Okay. Yeah, you know, just fuck it down the hatch. That was really good. <laughs> chaser. Where's my chaser? Bullet, bullet, oh. Bullet. Oh. Oh. That wasn't worth 25 subs. That was fucking horrible. Oh. Oh. <coughs> okay. Oh. If there's no stream tomorrow, this is chat's fault, okay? You guys did it to yourselves. Next oh god, that wasn't me. good. Oh. Ugh. Jesus Christ. Why, dude? Why, why do I do this to myself? Okay. I could just be a normal human being working at a normal job, doing normal things with my life, but I choose to do this instead. What the fuck am I doing? Ugh. <coughs> fuck, like, the vinegar taste is like... Uh, it's like lingering at the back of my throat. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, let's continue making delicious sushi. Alright. Let's pretend that never happened. Alright. Does it really say a table? Oh, a teaspoon of salt. Okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm glad I reread re that before actually doing it, because I was going to say, like, this seems like a lot of salt. Uh, teaspoon. Okay, there we go. Streamer has been known in the past to add too much salt to stuff, so he's trying to avoid doing that again. Alright. That's the, yeah. <laughs> adding a tablespoon would have been the normal amount for me, I guess, but oh well. God, that was really, really, really bad. Why the fuck did I do that? Holy shit, that was terrible. Ugh, okay. Alright, there we go. Audio15 says, I had a harder time swallowing that than he did his ejaculate the other night. Huh? Okay. Um, so we're supposed to cook in the microwave. I'm going to stir this up a little bit in advance, but then we'll... Well, it's very thick. Wow. Okay. This man just mentioned consistency of cum. I gotta say this is fairly... Hmm. Can't really see this all this well, but... <laughs> um... No comments. Okay. The, the nasty-ass bowl, admittedly, doesn't help either, but, uh... All right. I need to heat up. Yeah, I was just pre-mixing it. You know, you gotta pre-mix the cum a little bit. All right, so it's supposed to put it in there for 30 seconds. Okay. This sushi rice is actually looking pretty good now. All right, cool. In fact, it might have dried out a little bit too much, if I'm being honest, but we can always just, I don't know, add some more water and heat it up a bit. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna do that. Keep it nice and warm, you know? Alright. Uh, so if I were... Okay. So it should be plenty hot now, I think. It's definitely steamy, so I'm going to go and say that's hot. Oh, oh my, that smells strong. It smells like... Oh, it smells like vinegar, which... I gotta say, the back of my throat still tastes eerily like vinegar as well. Alright, alright. It's definitely nice and incorporated. Oh, Jesus, that's strong. Well, I guess th there's not much of this, but it makes sense because vinegar is such a strong flavor that it's going to be distributed over the course of like, all of this rice that we have. God, that shot was so fucking bad. Why did I do that? 25 subs? I guess I'm just a cheap fucking whore. What can I say? <laughs> I was thinking like after like the 10 initially that I committed myself to, I was like, that's not enough. So what do we do? What, what do we do to really ramp it up? Ah, oh, 15. That's a lot, right? 
Jesus. Okay. All right. Okay. So, um, what do we do now? That's combined. Good to go. Okay. Pour the water into the hungiri and swirl around to make the the hung. What the fuck? This is asking like, okay, now time to put it into your hungiri wooden bowl thing that you totally have, right? No, I don't. The fuck is that? Uh, can we just use a plastic bowl? Is that okay? Because that's what we're gonna use. That's gonna be good enough. All right. Um, transfer the rice and then uh, pour the seasoning over the rice evenly. If, you, if I don't have a hangiri, I don't. So you can also use a large, shallow mixing bowl and a flat spatula in place of a rice paddle. Okay. I mean, I've got like... <laughs> I've got this like plastic Tupperware. This will work, right? This will work. Fuck it. It's basically made of wood, right? It's just clear wood. Okay. So... You're supposed to coat the bottom of the... You're supposed to swirl around make sure all the water coats all the wood inside. Oh, well, hmm. Um, what? Oh, you're, oh, I get it. Pour water in. Oh, you're supposed to just, like, wet the inside. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Whatever, fuck it, dude. Not doing that. You're supposed to just, like, make... You're supposed to make, like, the wood, like, damp. But if it's plastic, I'm pretty sure that's not uh, necessary. Oh, I am in the WoW category still, aren't I? All right, you're right, dude. Let me change that, otherwise Twitch will get mad at me. I never do this shit completely correctly. Like, I either forget to, like, charge the microphone, or I forget to, like, charge the light, or I forget to change the category, or some shit like that, dude. One of these days I'll get this correct, but not today. Okay, there we go. All right, I'm just going to YOLO this, pour all the rice into here, and then uh, pour this mixture in and mix it up. I, I, I think, honestly, that's there's no need to overcomplicate it, right? Uh... Okay, yeah, we're literally just gonna, yeah, okay, 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 yeah, let's just do that, okay. Let's just get all that good shit into here, shall we? Okay, this rice honestly is like just about the consistency you'd want it to be. It's like, it's not super dry. It's not like really dried out, but at the same time, it's not like mushy. It's like kind of just right in between. It's like, it kind of feels like exactly like what you'd want. Oh, oh careful. It's, it feels like what you'd want sushi rice to be like. The, the, the top is admittedly like a little dried out, but as soon as we mix this together and add this like seasoning stuff, I think honestly it's going to be just about right. Did I see Tatis Jr. hit six home runs in three games? Yeah, that Padres minor league prospect shows uh, a lot of promise. Maybe once he's up to the big leagues, he can actually uh, produce some resu results and last for more than a month before he gets busted for some dumbass excuse. Maybe, dude. Maybe. Okay. And uh, I guess without getting too complicated here, let's just literally just pour this in and just mix it up. I feel like... This, this recipe is saying to do a whole bunch of like fancy stuff like, oh, you gotta like mix it in, 45 degree angle, slice it in, chop it in, blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm just gonna fucking mix this up. I don't think there's really that much to it. Let's not uh, get too fancy and complicated with this shit. Alright. Now, we know the vinegar is a very strong taste, so let's not uh, slack on the whole mixing process here. Let's get this nice and incorporated into there, shall we? Ooh, there's a hair in there. Okay, pulling that one out. I'm definitely noticing as my hair gets longer and longer, it's like... I'm noticing more just hair just around in general. Either that or maybe I'm going bald and all my hair is falling out, but... Um, now I'm kind of starting to understand why, like, girls' bathrooms are such a nightmare. Long hair, like even when it's like semi moderately long, it's like it's just like it just gets fucking everywhere. Ugh. Less mixing, the better, or it'll be gummy as fuck. Okay, well, I mean, have I mixed it enough already? I mean, it seems like it's pretty good as is. I don't. I mean, shit. I guess I can just taste it, right? See if it tastes like sushi rice. You actually like legit Dharma B work in like a sushi restaurant? Are you like a legit sushi chef? Is that a thing? 
Hmm. Huh. <laughs> tastes like sushi rice. God damn. I don't, I don't really know what I was expecting, but like, yeah, that tastes like the rice I would have in, in a sushi roll. Cool. Yes, but this is fun to watch well, I mean, <laughs> for you. I'm sure it's especially fun to watch because, well, you read the title, right? All right. Hmm. Okay. Tasty. Now, pocket. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay. I think we have to finish off prepping the uh, the rest of the California roll ingredients here before we can actually use this rice. But still, that's uh, that's promising right there. That tasted exactly what I'd want it to taste like. Cool. Alright. We'll put that off to the side for now. Let's finish off the final part, which is the avocado. All right, so Dharma, since, you, since you're saying you're like an actual person who works in an actual Japanese restaurant, you're some mythical unicorn. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, if somebody comes into your place and orders a California roll, from, from like, a, like a 1 being not at all and 10 being to the absolute extreme, how hard do you judge someone? If they just like, if it's like the whitest family you've ever seen, like, I'd like some California rolls, please. Do you not give a fuck, or do you, is it like one of those like, okay. Probably a one? I don't know. I want to hear from the man himself. Uh, avocado. There it is. Where the fuck's my avocado? Uh, oh, I got it out right here. Just... By the way, the uh, avocado that I got, like Walmart has nothing but like the unripest avocados in existence. I, I tried to get like the avocado that wasn't horribly, horribly like hard, but like it's still kind of not as ripe as I would prefer. So we're just gonna have to deal with it. You don't care because Cali rolls make money? Okay, yeah, that actually makes sense, right? Like they're hilariously simple and easy and cheap to make and yeah, okay. <laughs> I forgot we live in America where all that matters is money. Fair enough, dude. Fair enough. All right. Let's clean this off. Now, when you think about it, California rolls, I guess, are, like, hilariously simple, huh? Whatever, fuck it. I guess it's a win-win. The, the restaurant makes a lot of money. It's delicious. White people are happy. What's not to like? All right. Even us EU plebs have ripe avocados. Well, I'm sure if I went to, like, a legit grocery store that wasn't Walmart that I could find avocados that were in better condition or like more ripe, but I went to Walmart, fucking sue me. Alright. Anyways, uh, cut the avocado. Huh? Okay, I know how to cut an avocado. Thankfully for my years of working at a deli, I can properly slice an avocado. Well, I used to be able to at least. Uh, oh. And then you twist it like this. Hooey. Yeah, like that. Okay. Uh... All right, well, let's just not get... Uh, we'll just use this, this entire avocado. That's probably fine, right? Oh, come on out. Oh, oh, Jesus, yeah. I remember the sign of working with an avocado that was definitely still too ripe was, like, when you tried to, like, take out the seed, it just was fucking impossible to get out. Oh, all right, there we go. <laughs> this thing is way too ripe, dude. God damn it. All right. Or not ripe, that is. All right, all right, all right. Scoop her out, scoop her out. Sometimes you have to work for the seed. Yeah. Some have to work harder than others. Kind of directly proportional with how ugly you are, I guess. Or inversely proportional, perhaps. Of course, we're all Giga Chads here, and we're all 10 out of 10s here in chat, because we all play classic World of Warcraft, therefore we're all Giga Chads, so don't worry, chat. Not a problem for you, I'm sure. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this avocado. Mm. It's not ideal. It's not ideal, I'm gonna admit, but Oy, it's gonna have to do it's gonna have to get the job done because it's all we got. It's our only avocado. It's fucking raw. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, well. Alright. 
it's a little hard. I've had better. By the way, this is dish number one of three tonight, so if you're wondering if uh, if streamer's going to continue this madness for a while, the answer is yes. How far are we into the stream? Like an hour and a half? We've made one... We're not even done with our first dish, so... This is going to be a bit of a marathon, boys, but you know what? Fuck it. Japanese food is actually some of my favorite food, if not my favorite cuisine, so... In the end, hopefully it'll be worth it. And plus, I can guarantee you, I'm not cooking any uh, whole rabbits tonight, so we're not gonna have to deal with how to uh, <laughs> how to debone an entire whole rabbit. So, in theory, at least, the dishes shouldn't take as long tonight. Oh, let me just try out this avocado. Yeah, I mean, it's edible, but that's a Walmart avocado for you, I guess. Okay. It could be a bit riper. It could have used another three months on the vine, but... All right, all right, whatever, dude. How the fuck do you julienne an avocado? That's what it says. I, I, mean, I, I only know how to cut an avocado one way. It's just like doing this, right? And then... I mean, that's probably fine, right? Yeah, you just add it like lengthwise to the thing. It's fine, dude. It's fine. All right. Well, at least the benefit of a really hard avocado is that you can slice it relatively easily, right? Oh, careful, SpongeBob. Careful, SpongeBob. All right. This, in theory, should be enough for two rolls. I guess we'll see about that. I mean, yeah, that's fine. Like, one half per roll. All right, all right. Next episode, I break down a whole fish. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, I've thought about doing that. I'll give you guys an insight into my kind of like my thought process of what I want to do for potential future camping streams specifically. So I'd like to go to a real campground at some point that's like on a river or on like a lake. And I've had the idea like, well, we could like basically make it into like a quasi camping, quasi fishing stream, right? Where like I try to catch a fish and then if I catch a fish, we'll, we'll do the fish thing. But like, I'm a little worried that like, if I'm being honest, like, I'll have no idea what the fuck to do if I catch a fish and be like, okay, and now it's time to get the meat off the fish and, or, you know, the whatever off the fish and actually eat it. Because, like, it's not like I'll have access to, like, a full-on PC where I can just sit there and watch a YouTube video the entire time, right? I'll be, like, in an actual campground. But if I get, if I work up the courage eventually, we might do that, where we, like, we do a camping stream where we try to catch a fish and problem is, I also don't know what I would do if I didn't catch a fish, because, like, there's a decent chance you just won't catch anything, right? All right, anyways. Avocado. All right, cool. Good to go. Now what? Uh, I think it's probably finally time, right? I'll have to eat the fish. Yeah, I mean, that is actually a good point, Jay Friendly. That, that is something I thought about, like, just, like, have something in advance where, like, regardless if I catch a fish or not, I'll just eat something else. <laughs> I could just cheat and just have, like, a whole ass, like, already deboned filet ready to go. That's actually probably <laughs> not a bad idea. Okay. Um, all right, so let's see. Now that we've done that, all right, let's, um, let's do the imitation crab now, because we're getting close to the point where we can actually assemble the roll, but before we do that, we need to make the crab into, like, the kind of, the creamy cum mixture texture that uh, everyone knows California rolls for, so... Let's do that. What do we do here? Take the condom sticks that we got. All right, here's the chopped up stuff. Um, put the pieces into a small bowl. Comes in a shape of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you mix in the Q piece, or we're going to mix in mayo, need to mix a bit aggressively to break up the pieces. Okay, that's all it is. I can do that. So, one of the things that this recipe called for was... I don't know how to pronounce this. It's, like, it's, it's spelled K-E-W-P-I-E. So to me, my American ass wants to pronounce that as Q-pi, 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 q Apparently it's some special type of Japanese mayo or something that they use for sushi and other stuff. And I was thinking like, well, shit, I'll probably just have to use regular mayo and meme it up, right? But I went to Walmart and I swear to God, in their little Asian section that right there, you would think it'd be like a pathetic, awful, like middle of Indiana white person Asian section, but no. 
Hand to God. They got the legit stuff. They got the QP, QPie, cream pie mayo right there. Now, I'm not really sure why it's got the naked baby on the front. That's a little weird. I'm not really sure what that's going trying to go for, nor do I know what this actually says at the bottom here, but let's assume it says something along the lines of wholesome baby loves to consume QP mayo and not anything more sinister. All right. Mm -hmm. Sure. Because it's used to make babies? Oh, is that what it is? It's like it's it's fully acknowledging that it's got the texture and look of cum? Because that, that I could agree with. I can, okay. Okay, I can see that. I can see that. Um, all right. So how much of this shit do we need? Why is there a naked child on front? I was wondering the exact same thing when I bought it. Hmm. Just let's not think about it too hard, I guess. <laughs> it's even got like, this is adorable actually. It's like the, the lid, like the thing that you squirt it out of is like star shaped. Oh my. Okay. Um, so it's supposed to be two tablespoons of this shit, right? Huh? Okay, uh, here it goes. Uh, 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 uh. Right. <laughs> Trying my best not to think about a naked baby right now. That'd be weird. That'd be weird. Make sure you finger it, finger it nice and thoroughly. You gotta, gotta get that. Oh, gotta get nice and deep into there, nice and lubed up. What does this stuff taste like, actually? It tastes like mayo, but like maybe a tiny bit sweeter, I guess. Like maybe a little bit less sour than traditional mayo, like mayo and more sweet. It doesn't taste like cum. You fucking perverts. All right. Not taking a shot of that. <laughs> well, I mean, anything has a price, but it would have to be an absolute ungodly amount of subs. Let's put it that way. Not, I'm not even going to put a number on it. Let's, let's leave it at that. All right. I guess, do I refrigerate this? How do I know that it doesn't taste like cum? Well, I Holshin, my, my friend who watches my stream and always tells me about this stuff, I'm, I'm a wholesome Christian, so I wouldn't know, but my friend, of course, has uh, told me all about the taste of cum. <laughs> Disclaimer, I have never tried my own cum before. I'm sorry, boys. I've smelled it, because who hasn't, right? It's kind of impossible not to, but... Never actually tasted it. I, I, I gotta say, I'm not really desperate to do it anytime soon. All right. Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, combine all the uh, totally legit crab into here. Okay. You don't believe me? Well, you know what? Exclamation point only, fans. Coming soon. All right. So, do I just mix this up and just like kind of like go to fucking town on this? Arrgh! It's not really shredding as well as I would have hoped, if I'm being honest. I'm gonna have to like put this back on the cutting board and maybe just chop it up a bazillion times and like kind of crap goo. Because right now this is not really... It's, it's staying stringy. I was hoping it was like, kind of like hard, but it's right now it's staying very stringy. Hmm. It's breaking up a little. Like literally in the recipe it says like you gotta be rough with it when you're stirring it so that way like it breaks up the... The crab, but I feel like it'd be real crab would probably break up easier than this. <sighs> yeah, this is not breaking apart. Okay. We are going to call an audible here and just put this back on the cutting board and uh, chop the ever-loving shit out of this. I think that's the plan here. Get the avocado off there, of course. Okay. Real crab is flaky? Yeah, I guess... <laughs> That would make sense that the recipe calls for me to use real crab, and hence why it's just assuming, like, oh, yeah, don't worry, it'll break up when you mix it up. But you know what? 
When in doubt, just use the knife and chop the shit out of it. That'll get the job done. Alright. Yeah, this works. Okay. <laughs> the texture of this is very questionable. That's alright. It, it definitely looks like what should be inside of a California roll, I'll put it that way, so. Grab some scissors? Oh, yeah, I could have done that, but eh, whatever. I don't have cooking scissors is the problem. I only have like the scissors I would use to like cut paper and shit, so this is gonna have to do. All right, here we go. Eh, I mean, it's like literally like when I eat a California roll, it's literally just like crab mayo goo, so. This will work, okay. All right, all right, all right. Am I making a hundred California rolls with that? This recipe apparently says it makes two rolls, so we're gonna see about that, I guess. All right, let's give a little preview. Curious, I'm curious. Damn, that's uncanny, actually. It tastes like a California roll. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I think we're nailing it so far. Okay, okay, alright, okay, alright, alright, okay. All right. All right. All right. okay. Yeah, clean this knife real quick. I'm honestly shocked at how well this is going so far. Everything, when I taste it, I'm just like, damn, that tastes like what it's supposed to taste like. Something's gonna go horribly wrong at some point, I know it. But the fact that it hasn't yet, it has me a little bit paranoid. All right, so here we go. Um, now, <laughs> now, well, now the part that everybody has probably been waiting for. Now let's, uh, well, hmm. let's uh, actually do the roll. Let's make the roll, shall we? So, first things first, we gotta get the nori. This one I was worried about, because if Walmart didn't have this one, it was like seaweed, right? Like the, the seaweed part they use for sushi. I was worried I would have to get really creative, but Credit where credit's due, Walmart. Just straight up has organic sushi nori. Huh, neat. So, okay. Best part, Inc. I guarantee you I'm gonna fuck this up so horribly badly, but whatever, man. That's what the people are here to watch, right? What about my first Gressel? Can I do the dance? Oh, I look like some, some fucking like monkey in a museum. Dance, monkey, dance. Okay, so let's get out the uh, the girthy cutting board for this one. Ooh, okay. So like I said, we have enough for two rolls, so we can kind of test our method on the first one. If we fuck up the first one, we got a chance to make a second one at least. So, okay. There we go, here we go. Now, what are we supposed to do here? Cut the nori sheaf into half size along the shorter end of the sheet. It says hamburger style. Am I crazy or is this basically just like a square? I mean, I guess this side's like a little longer, but like... Uh... Uh... It says hamburger style. What? So, hot dog I guess would be lengthwise, so I guess hamburger is... This way? Okay, just roll the full thing. Fold it, it won't... I mean... I'm... First things first, I can tell you, this feels kind of dry. It feels like, I mean, it'll, yeah, yeah, it'll hold its shape. It, like, looks normal size. Why cut it? Is it? I don't know. I mean, I, I can tell you from, like, the recipe. Other way? So you're saying, like, I should cut it... No, that's definitely not right. It's, it's gotta be this way, right? No? Seriously? This way? That doesn't look like it's gonna be enough to like fully wrap it around though. No? Okay, so so, <laughs> so then this way. There's a chat, there, there's a delay here. It's very confusing. So this way. This feels... Hmm. Yes, okay, 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 okay. I mean the good news is we have plenty of these, so if we fuck it up badly we can always just try again. But, okay. All right. Okay, all right, okay, all right, okay, all right. 
We'll set this one off to the side. Let's just try this first one. All right, this feels like not like enough, but okay, sure, if you say so. Um, take a fourth a cup of rice and using my hands, layer the rice evenly on the sheet. A fourth a cup? I've got like a bazillion of this. How's the, what? Okay, hold on. Did I make like way too much sushi rice? What, what how many, how many rolls am I making here? I, I thought I was making two rolls. What is going on? Okay, well, here's a fourth cup. I'm making a whole boat. Bitch, I don't, got, I don't have time to make a whole boat. Okay, this feels like close enough. All right, so, okay. Oh, I was supposed to like wet my fingers or something so that way my fingers don't stick to the rice. Let me do that. Oh, it was very tasty, by the way. <coughs> I mean, I feel like I have to use all of this rice because I'm pretty sure sushi rice isn't going to keep for very long, right? Mm. No such thing as too much sushi rice. I mean, honestly, like with how that sushi rice tastes, I could literally just eat that on its own without any actual sushi and it'd be delicious, but all right. Let's just spread this out. Okay, okay, okay. I feel like I need more rice. I can immediately tell you this doesn't really get full coverage here. Yeah, we're adding more rice. Fuck it, dude. Whoa. Okay. Save the rest for hand rolls. I don't really feel like I've got the patience to make hand rolls. For the most part, I'd probably just scoop it out of a bowl and just eat it. Okay, this is still not enough. Okay, more rice then. All right. We're just YOLOing this, boys. A fourth cup. What the fuck is it talking about? Oh, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, that's the shit right there. Hand rolls are just Japanese tacos. Oh, yeah, I get what you're talking about, yeah. I mean, okay, I, I could do that. Just like literally just use the seaweed and just like toss some rice in there and just toss some random bullshit in there and call that a, a hand roll. This is sticking to my hands horribly. I said to wet my hands, but I guess my hands got not very wet at some point. Okay, 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 okay. There we go, there we go, there we go. It's like uniform and even, right? Because like we don't want this to be... Light on rice, because that would be bad. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, 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 okay. That looks kind of like what it's supposed to look like, right? All right. Now what? Dip your hands in water, and sprinkle, sprinkle sesame seeds over the rice. Okay. Another thing at Walmart was like, are they gonna have sesame seeds? The answer was they did, which was impressive. Maybe not that impressive, but for it's Walmart, right? Like still kind of impressive. <laughs> The brand, literally, I shit you not, is Sushi Chef. Yeah, I mean, shit, must be doing something, right? Okay. I bought a rolling mat. Uh, let's go ahead and add the uh, sesame seeds. Careful, SpongeBob. There we go. It looks like it's supposed to look what it's supposed to look like. Okay, okay, okay. Pat that down a bit, okay. All right, all right, all right. What's next? Turn the seaweed and rice sheet over. Okay, so here's the part where I guess we're gonna like make it so that, because like I know traditional rolls apparently have like, so like the, uh, the seaweeds on the outside, but like the American Cool Kids version is with the rice on the outside, so let's do that. All right, okay. Now you turn the like that, about three tablespoons of kind of, kind of, kind of, uh... All right, so I, I, I think this is the part where we just kind of YOLO it, right? Let's just add in a bunch of shit. First things, first things first, cheers, boys. If you're enjoying, take a drink with me. If you're sober, you don't drink, that's cool. Take your sip of Sprite, which I'm at least hoping you're drinking. Oh. Okay, so we're going to kind of YOLO this part right here. And just 
add what feels like needs to be added and hope that it's the correct amount. All right. Uh, something like that, maybe. Something like this. Sake, dude. I mean, like, it would have been cool to get sake, but like, I. <laughs> Pretty sure Walmart doesn't sell sake, so if we tried to like be legit with our little meme here, then that was the problem. Walmart did sell sprites and uh, and vodka, so that made it kind of easy for the uh, the meme. Okay, this seems like a decent, reasonable amount, right? They for sure do. Do they? Maybe I just didn't look hard enough. I don't know. Okay, 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 okay. And then we're supposed to layer the avocado. Dude, this is not gonna make. This recipe said it would make two rolls. This, I, I, this is. I swear to God, it can make at least five or six. There's no fucking way that this is only supposed to make two. Um. Also, I'm not really sure. Hmm. <laughs> is that the way you're supposed to do it? Probably not. But whatever. Yeah, this is going to be a thick roll. There's no way I'm going to be able to roll this properly. I, I can already see, like, kind of how we fucked up here. I feel like we're just going to probably not cut the next little nori thing. Because I feel like this is definitely not uh, going to roll wrap up completely, is it? I have way too many ingredients here. Like, I don't know how the fuck this recipe said. Oh, yeah, just this will be two rolls. Yeah. This is, like, so much. This, there, this is not going to fit. This is not going to happen. This is not going to close. Yeah, no, this is the, no, 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 there's no way, there's no way, there's no way. Just eat it like this? I mean, I, I swear I could, like, it'd be delicious regardless, but... There's no way this actually wraps, I, I, I shouldn't have cut it, like, it was already, like, decent size as is. Why does it say to cut it? Uh, hmm. Well, yeah, of course it's too much. Sushi hot dog, <laughs> exactly, dude. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I could literally just make like a sushi hot dog and just like lay this on top, lay a bunch of rice on top of this. Take some off? It's gonna be so pathetic. Like I, I, I shouldn't have cut it. I should have just like wrapped it like in all of this. Like it wouldn't have been like that big of a deal to just like have like a little bit of extra seaweed. That, that's the main problem. It, had it been like too... All right, you know what? Here's how we're gonna save it. You know what? Here's how we're gonna save it. We're just gonna make an identical thing using this thing and just wrap that along with it. It's gonna be technically kind of like partitioned a little weird it's gonna have this like weird little gap in between but i think i think we can make this work because i don't want to just like have this go to waste i think what we do is just like if we have like just chunky ass california rolls and so be it but uh there's zero chance that like the first one here is gonna wrap just literally just not even close to big enough that's what she said so why don't we just make another one of these like little halves of the rolls and just like combine them together and just kind of make a jumbo one. Fuck it, dude. Hey, you know what? The good news is like this makes two, right? So like the second one, hopefully we don't fuck up, and the second one's the one we can use for our impressive presentation, right? Okay. 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 It's all right, trial and error, baby, trial and error. I know the title says clueless, but there's one way to become not clueless, and it's just to like, well, trial and error, right? A little more rice, a little more rice. Actually, I just need to spread this more, I think is what it is. Come on, just gotta smush a little bit more. Come on, baby. All right, that's not working, whatever, dude, fuck it. Add some there. Well, definitely sticking to my hands now. I should have re-wetted my hands. All right, all right. <laughs> How do sushi chefs do this in the span of like five minutes? I have no idea, man. It's so impressive that they can just like, oh, one California roll? roll? Yeah, that'll take like five minutes. There you go, bud. Enjoy. Meanwhile, it's taking me like an hour and a half just to like barely finish what looks like a monstrosity of a California roll. All right, needs more rice? Eh, I think it's about right, honestly. We're gonna like roll this up into two separate things, so it should be okay. Or one one giant thing, sorry, is what I meant. Alright, alright, let's add the sesame seeds, of course. 
in Japan they practice for many years. Honestly, I believe it. I'm sure like to, in order to like get this down to like a science where you can like do this just with your eyes closed basically, I'm sure it does take a long ass time to master. Surprise, surprise, I'm not completely nailing it on my first try. Who would have guessed, right? Okay, okay, okay. So, here's how we're gonna do this, all right? So we're gonna flip this over, like so, okay. And we're gonna just try to wrap this as if it was just like one whole thing, okay? Oh, yeah, 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 okay, so, all right, here. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy, okay, all right, okay, hold on. Did I get like the official sushi rolling mat thing? No. But, but, hold on, wait a minute. Yes, dude. What I do have is like some cabinet liner that looks like the same color that I bought from Walmart literally like 10 years ago when I was moving into an apartment. Wash it. Well, we're going to cover it with plastic wrap, so it's fine. Um, but, like, it should get the job done just as well, right? It'll be fine. It looks the same. It's the same color. Is it the same, like, texture? Well, no, but uh, that doesn't matter. This is going to work great, I promise. I had this in my head thinking like, what could I use as a sushi roller mat that I already own? And I was thinking like, well, there's this. This sort of looks the part, right? Yeah. Now, don't get too paranoid. I'm not gonna cover, I'm gonna cover it with plastic wrap so that way it's less horrifying. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> yes, this will be fine. This will be fine. It's going to go great. Hey, you know what? It ends up being a fucking disaster at the very least. I can just smash this into like a giant ball and uh, just consume it and know that's still going to taste good. Really, at this point, it's all just down to presentation, but I know that like regardless of how it looks, I know it's going to taste good either way. That's what really, really counts in the end, right? Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Now, oh, you know what? Let's, let's redo this plastic. That was kind of scuffed. That's better. Okay. Wrap it multiple times? Uh, well, we'll see what happens. Okay. Ooh, oh, oh. All right. Okay. <laughs> this is going to work, boys. I guarantee it. Or your money back. Just kidding, I'm not giving your money back. Give me a chunky ass California roll, but. All right, all right, all right. So. Actually, shit, I should have put it like. Over like here. So like the. Oh, 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 come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't fall apart like this. Oh, okay. Put it like this. Okay. Roll it on the short side. Uh, well, no, you want to have like the ends like sticking out so that way you can kind of wrap it up a bit. All right. I'm just going to YOLO this. Fuck it, dude. I am Brian coming to hop at the uh, tier one sub. Sub, bud. Sub so will go directly to the Hot Pockets, Doritos, and Master Sushi Chef Fund. Wow. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Come on, baby. Oh, that's going to be a chunky California roll. Oh, my. Uh, okay. Well... All right, okay. Roll it tight. I'm trying, dude, I'm trying. Uh-oh, uh uh-oh, uh -oh. it's coming apart at the seam. That's not ideal. Hmm. All right, okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, all right, okay, all right, all right, all right. okay. I didn't use this little, like, thing here, like, plus the... All right, come on. Huh. Huh. Okay. Well, I can see avocado kind of sticking out there at the end, kind of premature avocado jacking there, but like, I mean, come on, baby. This is actually kind of the width you would expect for, well, it's a little, it's a little thick. It's a little thick. I'm not going to lie, but 
Okay, so do I just unwrap it now and like expect it to be kind of what I'd want it to be? I mean, this kind of looks the part, right? I think what I'm gonna do is like for the next thing, we're just gonna not cut it, right? Squeeze that bitch down, yeah, 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 okay. Ooh. Ooh. All right, well, I mean, like, that's pretty tight right there. That's pretty tight. Like, it's not, like, perfect, admittedly, and, like, the sides maybe are a little scuffed, but this feels okay. All right, all right. Actually looks decent. Yeah, well, well, fuck it, dude. We, we've got a second chance. I'm, we got, like, five or six chances based on how much ingredients I have. This is kind of ridiculous, actually, but... All right. I mean... Okay, 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 all right, I mean, okay, all right, okay. I want a second chance at this, but like, that looks like not bad, okay. Where's my knife? Knife, hello, oh, there it is. Now, I read that you want to just like do one slice, you don't want to like make it like stick. Oh, yeah, all right, well, that's not going to happen, is it? I need a sharp knife, and I don't have a sharp knife, do I? Oh. Come on, one slice, baby. That's not one slice. Okay, well. Learn how to knife. It's just not sharp enough is the problem. Oh, yeah, you're not supposed to do it back and forth like this. I'm aware of that. I'm aware of that. But, like, hold on. That's still... Okay, hold on. Wait a minute. You're not using it right. Well, obviously not, but, like... Okay, well, okay, this is a chunky-ass California roll, I'll admit, but... Yeah, I know you're supposed to, like, just do it in one, like, fell swoop, like, one slice, but... I think the middle portion's actually gonna work out fine here. Okay, there we go. Okay, I mean, like, alright, you know what, for my first try... Fuck you guys. Oh, wet the knife, that's a good, that's a good suggestion, I'll do that next, the next one. I don't know about you guys, but that's what a California roll is supposed to look like. Am I wrong? Now, okay, I will admit, yeah, we made it kind of uh, chunky. We can probably make it a little bit less uh, chunky this next time around, but like, that's kind of what it looks like, right? Okay, it's so bad, fuck you. We're gonna like, do like the whole fancy plate up later, but I, I, I wanna, I, I gotta try it now, right? By the way, for those out there that are just like, mm, well, if you're eating Asian food, like Japanese or Chinese, you gotta use chopsticks, obviously. As a person who is half Asian, I have never really properly learned how to use chopsticks in my entire life. I can barely kind of use them, but like not in a way where I can use it as proficiently as a fork or a spoon or whatever. So if I ever go to a sushi restaurant and I eat rolls, here's how you consume them. Mm hmm. <laughs> As the kid would say, it is thick AF, but honestly, pretty good. Okay, pretty good. That right there tastes like a California roll. There's a lot of rice. Um, what I need to do is tone down... I mean, I only cut like the nori. I mean, I cut it like into three-fourths. Because like, like, the thing that I did was too much. Half the thing is too little. I think it was kind of like a three-fourths of the nori thing. That's what I'm gonna do for the next one, but like, okay, okay. That's pretty good, okay, okay. That's pretty good. To the Tupperware it goes. The ends here are definitely kind of scuffed, but that's okay. Um, not a bad first attempt, boys. Not a bad first attempt at all. And uh, let's try another one. Okay. And now I got like sushi dinner for the next uh, <laughs> next like week. I mean, I'm shit. I'm not upset about that. It sounds delicious as fuck, dude. All right, okay. I'm honestly shocked that the first attempt that went as well as it did. I know that's not like perfect or anything. I know you guys are looking at this like, oh, dude, that looks really scuffed as fuck. But honestly, man, considering how it maybe could have gone, not bad. 
Not bad. No bar. No bar. Uh, now, let's try the next one. The next one, I think, what we're going to do here, like I said, let's, uh, let's use another one of these little seaweed rolls right here. Okay? Ooh. But, okay? Let's cut this, like, three-fourths of the way. I think cutting it in half was a mistake for sure because it wasn't enough. And cutting it, like using the whole thing was too much. I think we just do like this much. Full sheet, no, I think I think full sheet's too much. What do the directions of the Nori container say to do? Imagine actually reading directions. Mm, one sheet of the ocean's halo sushi Nora cut in half horizontally. Horizontally. Nah, fuck that, dude. We're just gonna. Nah, 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 I'm gonna go with World of Fieldcraft. Fuck that, dude. I'm a professional chef. I know what I'm doing. We're just gonna cut it like this. All right. Cut it like this. Yes, sir. What am I gonna do with this? I don't know. I'll just save that for a. Mm. Hmm. Tastes like ocean paper. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Round two. This time for sure, boys. This time for sure. Now this time around, I'm just going to kind of wing it as far as how much rice that I use. I've, I've come to realize that there's no point in trying to follow a specific amount. We're just going to use whatever looks correct. Let's go with, uh, <clears throat> I don't know, that. Wet the fingers, okay, come on, streamer, be smart. All right, all right, all right. That's too much, I can always take some away, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Maybe it's fine, actually. Hmm. Oh, I should have, like, distributed this more evenly, like, when I put it on the thing. Cooking skill 225. Hey, you know what? Gotta start somewhere, right? Okay, actually, I think we need a little more rice, don't we? Hmm, okay. It's alright. Easier to add more than it is to take away, right? I, <laughs> I will admit, these are very thick-ass sushi rolls, because, like, it's a lot easier to make the rice, like, kind of even when it's, like, more than, when it's, like, a larger amount than compared to, like, a lesser amount, but... Oh, I need to wet my fingers again. Okay. Yeah, I didn't re-wet the fingers. Rookie mistake right there, I will admit. Hold on, hold on. Well, I'm glad I got a shitload of the sushi rice, because we're definitely maybe letting at least a little bit of this go to waste, but uh, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Learning experience, that's, that's what we're here for. All right, okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. All right. God, imagine doing this for a living, dude. I have a newfound appreciation for sushi chefs. This is, like, not easy. All right, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, cool. And then add the, uh, yeah, this, yeah, yeah, here we go. That's looking good, dude. That's looking good. This is going to work. This is going to work. All right. Do the sesame seeds. All right. Something like this. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's a lot. All right. Too much. Got a little impatient, but it's fine. Sesame seeds, delicious. Not complaining. Okay. Now we flip this over. It's a lot easier when it's not cut into two separate pieces. Surprise, surprise. All right. And now we spoon on the hashtag totally legit crab, of course. In what fucking world was this making two rolls? What an absolute liar, dude. 
Weasley little liar, dude. Okay. Seems like that's about right. What a fucking 100% gonna liar, try some of this dude. at work tomorrow? What dude, honestly, like, this is, like, not... I mean, it's not hard. Liar, it's, like, dude. requires a lot of work, and at least a lot of, like, time and effort, but it's not difficult, at least. Anyone can do this. Now, any... <laughs> I'm sure it'd take a long ass time to be able to do well. I'm not saying anyone can do this well after a quick period of time, but like, yeah, you know, I don't know. Seems doable. Was the typo actually 20 rolls? Shit, man, I'd believe it. Like, literally, like, I, I can, pretty sure I can make like five or six out of this. All right. Not really pretty, but like I think it was a good job done. Avocado is F tier, buddy. Those are some fighting words right there. Avocado is fucking delicious. All right, all right, all right. Now let's uh, <laughs> let's try this again with our completely legit sushi rolling setup thing here. Okay, okay. All right. Oh, careful, SpongeBob! Careful, SpongeBob! Careful, SpongeBob! Whoa. All right. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Ooh. Ooh. Get in there, come on. Roll in there. Nice and good. All right, come on. Okay, okay. Oh, the sides, though. All right, here. oh, boys, I think, we, I think we're doing it. I think we're doing it, okay. I think we're doing it tight. Yeah, nice and tight, nice and tight. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Ooh, shit. I think I think we're doing it, boys. It's kind of we're getting kind of getting some spewage out the sides here, so we're probably going to have to go for a third try, which is fine because we have plenty like I said, but uh I think oh, well, okay. A little uh a little bit of a blow out here, but let's just kind of remove the excess off the sides here. Sushi chefs look away. But okay, hold on. Wait a minute. I will admit like the the stuff that's supposed to be emulating the like the bamboo roll part is completely useless. But like, okay, all right. All right, okay, hold on, wait a minute. Boys. Ah, okay, all right, all right, okay. That's a thick-ass California roll, don't get me wrong, but, like, okay. Let's wet the knife. I, I like that suggestion earlier. That's a good call, so that way it, like, kind of doesn't stick to the rice. Oh, that's still not ideal. <laughs> you know... One of these days I'll learn how to use a knife properly, but it, it's not today. Oh, yeah, now if I, the problem is if I just press it down, it needs to be sharper is what it is, because if I just press it down, it just immediately just squishes and falls apart, but... Push through, don't slice. My knife seems... I need to get a new knife sharpener, I think is what it is, dude. My knife's just not sharp enough is the problem. But, that's okay. You're getting the gist, which is what, uh... Which is what matters. And like, it's coming out just fine still. Okay. All right, last piece is gonna be kind of a mess because like, oh, there's not enough. Okay, yeah, that one's a disaster. This one we're just gonna chalk up to uh, experience. Oh. But, okay. I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you, boys. I think I kind of, I think I kind of nailed that one. Look at that. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Hmm. Right? I mean, that looks the way it's it's supposed to look, right? Cooking skill 300? Fuck it, dude. The middle is the best part. Like, the middle is the part that got, like, kind of compressed the best. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Now, it definitely could be squeezed together a little bit better, I will admit. 
But as far as like the amounts um, of like the seaweed stuff that I used, that was like perfect. All those doubters out there that were thinking like, oh, no, no, you gotta add more, or use more, or no, no, use less. Like, no, I think I used the perfect amount. Okay, let's go for the, let's go for gold. Let's go for the, the third and final one that we'll make for now, so that way we can move on to the next dish. Because we still have two more dishes, by the way, to, uh, to make here. Let's go for the third and final one to see if we can like truly master it by... We, we can be a sushi making master by the third one, right? Yeah. I will say though, like this looks like amazingly similar to what I would eat in a Japanese restaurant. I think the only difference is maybe it's not like, it's not wrapped as tightly. So that's obviously something you I'm sure just learn over time, but... Honestly, dude, like... As far as like what it looks like and what it tastes like, it's kind of legit. I'm not gonna lie, Walmart. Apparently, you have actually halfway decent Japanese sushi ingredients, or at least roll sushi roll ingredients. Okay, okay. Okay, man. I'll brag to my parents later tonight that I kind of made sushi. Okay, all right. But all right, third time's a charm. Third one's gonna be the one that has. Uh, third one's the one that going on the gram, as the basic bitches would say. All right, all right, all right. Send them a quib. Maybe I will. Honestly, maybe I will. Okay, okay. So cut about the same amounts off because that amount we cut off the last time was just about right. <laughs> what else are you gonna do with leftover sushi <clears throat> seaweed paper, right? It tastes a lot better when it's an entire sushi roll. <laughs> tastes like you're eating like plastic that you would like find like that that wraps up like a child's toy or something. Hmm. Okay. Anyways, all right, round three, baby. This time around, I think. Uh, all we have to focus on this time around is to wrap it up as like as tightly as we possibly can. Okay. Absolutely as tight as possible. What am I gonna do with all this? Like, like, hold on, let me give you an idea of just how much extra we just have sitting here still. I still have all of this, by the way. This is after the third roll of ingredients worth. What, two rolls? Well, two rolls my fucking ass, dude. This recipe is absolutely cracked, but... <sighs> That's all right. I guess I'd rather have more than less left over. Whatever, dude. Like four and a half? Yeah, no fucking kidding, dude. I mean, hey, whatever. I'll eat it. <laughs> That's not a problem. It's not like it's not going to get consumed. That's the good news. Uh... Okay. Eh, well, that could have... That's eh, close enough. All right, bug it, whatever. Okay, the cucumber. Oh, come on, bud. I feel like there's probably an art to making it so like it's nice and pretty when you like you wrap it up, it looks as pretty as possible, but whatever that art is, I am not doing it, but okay. It'll still taste the same regardless. Oh, I need the rice, don't I? I might have gotten a bit ahead of myself. Okay, um, can we save this? Can we save this? Yes, we can. Here's how we're gonna do it. Okay, here's how we're gonna do it. Okay. Spatula. Oh. 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 Okay, here we go, here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like nothing ever happened, baby. All right. <laughs> I was so excited about it, like, oh, I'm doing this so well, oh, look at this, I'm doing this, man, I'm, I'm putting this, I'm, I'm wrapping this up perfectly, dude, to, and I kind of forgot the whole part where you need to add rice to it. All right, let's just add, like, a nice little, like, Ugh. Ugh. yeah. Minor detail, I will admit.
All right, maybe this was too much rice. We'll see, we'll see. No, actually, this is about right. Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm kind of a professional. I'm kind of a master sushi chef at this point, so it makes sense that I just completely fucking nailed it on the first try as far as how much rice I needed to use. Yeah, okay, all right, yeah. Seems pretty reasonable. Okay, okay. Looks like a lot. No, I think this is about right, dude. Yes. Yeah, no, we're good. We're Gucci. How dare you? How dare you doubt the sushi master right here? Come on, man. Do I not look like I know what I'm doing? Don't, don't, don't answer that. Okay. In fact, if anything, shit, I need like a little bit more rice. Only half know what I'm doing? Dude, that's, uh, that's what life's all about, baby. You fake it till you make it, right? Maybe I should just go to like Japanese sushi chef school and just maybe that's my new profession after Wrath is over. I mean, kind of biss, honestly. Okay, cool. You'll notice, by the way, we haven't cooked a single thing so far this stream as far as like, you know, actually putting heat to something besides rice, I guess. That part of the stream is still to come. In fact, I'm way too sober right now. I need to start drinking more. I'm disturbingly sober at the moment, which is not something that I can approve of. We're like two and, oh my god, we're two and a half hours into the stream already. This is not good. This is going to be a long cooking stream. If you guys were here for a short cooking stream, if you guys were looking to go to bed early tonight, I'm sorry, that's not going to happen. Hmm. All right. Here we go, baby. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, and now we just kind of spatula this back on, like we just did. Okay, see? <laughs> like nothing ever happened, baby. Just the way we drew it up. Yes, sir. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I, I realized, I think, that like it's kind of pointless to use like the outer layer, this outer kind of what's supposed to be the, the bamboo wrapping thing. I think that's kind of pointless. I think we just use the plastic wrap here. I think that's all we actually need to get this wrapped properly. All right. Oh, oh, careful SpongeBob, careful SpongeBob, oh, oh, okay, like so. All right, boys, let's go for gold. We gotta get, like, now we, like, we gotta take Kinexus' advice, advice on this one, like, extra, extra tight. Let's do it. Come on, baby. Come to Papa. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Extra tight. All right, there we go. Okay, okay, all right. Nice and tight. Cooking skill 400. Well, it's still, it's, it's, yeah, I mean, I feel like I squeezed it too much. That's what she said, but it's definitely spugeing out the ends a little bit, but I will say this definitely is wrapped in a, a way that's better than the previous ones and that it feels like nice and compact and like that looks like the, the appropriate radius for a sushi roll, right? And why do you even why do you even use the bamboo wrapping things? It feels like that's not even necessary. It feels like plastic wrap is literally actually all you need. Cut it with the plastic still on. Is that a thing? You do realize if I do this and it fucks it up, we got to make another one. So like, are we willing to to take our bets that, that that's going to be something that's going to work? Hmm. Let's see if he sees it this time. Leave plastic wrap on while I cut it. Oh, sorry. Yeah, okay, I, I wasn't really reading chat much the last, like, hour. <laughs> Not bad, dude. Use the Roach Cabinet Liner Wrapper. Come on, man. Don't do me like that. Uh, to reform the cut rolls tightly. Oh, okay. 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 Before I do that, though, let's get more alcohol. Let's do that. Uh, expecting me to read, chat, and cook at the same time. I can barely read enough as it is on my like on my own. If I start doing something literally besides reading, like expecting me to multitask, that is asking a lot, dude. I don't know, man. I don't know. Very sanitary, by the way, putting my glass on top of the cutting board. That's a uh, ancient sushi uh, secret that nobody knows. Add your drink on top of the uh, cutting board to add maximum flavor. We're gonna add like a lot of vodka to this one because I'm not 
anywhere close to drunk enough. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Disinfectants? Yeah, I mean, it's alcohol, right? It kills germs. So I think that's how that works. Yeah. Ooh, come on. Oh, okay. That was a little overflow right there. No sake. You here, you, sir, were not here for the start of the stream, so therefore you don't know the story as to why I'm drinking vodka sprites, therefore you don't deserve an explanation. Imagine not tuning in for the start of every single stream that I do. Unbelievable. Ugh. All right. Boys, if you're enjoying this, because I'll admit, honestly, memes aside, like for just, you know, because like, oh, I'm doing a cooking stream, so I'm memeing it up. This is actually kind of cool. I'm, I've, I've gone to Japanese sushi restaurants a million times. I've had California rolls a million times, but I've never really, I don't know. I've always just kind of taken them for granted. It's kind of cool to actually like do this for the first time myself. And it's kind of cool to make something that actually resembles what I get at a restaurant. I'm not going to lie. Hmm. All right. It's a human coming in off the gift tier ones of the Dharma B. Oh shit. One chef to another. Thank you, sir. The sub will go directly to the Hot Pockets, Doritos, and Sushi School Chef Fund. Alright, alright. So, you're saying do it with the plastic wrap on, huh? Let's try it out. Let's try it out. <laughs> I wish this knife was sharper, admittedly, but okay. Ooh, that admittedly does seem to work. Oh, that works really well. Okay, wow, holy fuck. Yeah, the guy that works at a sushi restaurant actually seems to know what he's talking about. Wait, what? The guy actually gave me a tip that actually seems to work? Damn, dude, that's OP as fuck. Holy fuck. I, you're gonna, I'm sure you're sitting there behind your computer like, Why did you do this the first time? And I'm asking myself the exact same question at this very moment. Why did I not do this the first time? Oh, dude, that looks sick, man. Yes, dude. Yes, let's go. It's really actually just that easy, apparently. Now we're going to leave this last one that just kind of look scuffed looking. But how do you get this out and make it look not terrible? That's the only thing. Now you got to unwrap it, right? I guess you were saying use the uh, <laughs> the scuffed roach mat. But like, I feel like it's kind of fine as is. Dude, that looks sick, man. Look at that. It looks like a California roll. Ah, dude, it's even wrapped perfectly. Ah, fuck. That's awesome, man. All right, well, I appreciate the tip. The, the tip the third time. Would have been cool to see it the first time, admittedly, but... Except how do I get the plastic wrap off? <laughs> this is the only thing that I'm kind of struggling with right now is uh, I'm trying to find like the edge or I'm trying to find like the the part where you can actually, uh oh, a knife? I don't, like, I don't want to like cut it up and like fuck it up. Oh boy. Okay. Melt it off. Yeah, great. Let me get my lighter out. I can't find the edge. Oh no. Not like this. Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, the plastic wrap is edible, it's fine. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is a part that I didn't see coming as far as an issue I would have. Uh, I legit cannot see where the edge of this plastic wrap is, and now it's falling apart. Oh no. Oh no. Eat it. Oh no. Seriously, how do you get this off with like... God damn it, this is like, it's so beautiful looking, but now I can't get the plastic wrap off. Uh, normally you just lay it on top of the roll, not wrap the whole thing. Wait, what? Normally you just lay it on top of the... Oh, as in like you would... You would roll it up and then you would lay it on top again and then cut it... Oh. Hmm. Oh. Well, I mean, this is like... Uh, it works so well until you have to take... Oh, wait. Oh, oh, I found it. Okay, hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. There we go. Well, now I just have to do that for every single piece. Great. But like, do we have, Chad, do we have to do a fourth one? Cause now like I kind of get like the secret like to do it so it doesn't get fucked up. You have to, yeah. Oh. Okay, are we, are we actually gonna do a fourth one? I mean, sh do I have wasabi, bitch? You know I bought wasabi, come on now. What do you think, I'm gonna eat California rolls and have no wasabi on, on me? Uh. All right, we're gonna start cheating and just pull it off like, Width-wise, it's gonna scuff them up a bit, but I'm impatient. So, all right, I I think we're gonna do a fourth one. The reason is, is because like now I kind of get what he was saying on that, and uh, oh man, it was it's coming apart a little bit. Wasabi's gross. 
thing is like as a kid i agreed i thought wasabi was awful and just like this hot spicy mixture of terrible green goo but honestly as an adult i've come to appreciate wasabi as something that i very clearly can enjoy when i like i have more of like a refined palate if that makes sense i know that sounds pretentious as fuck but wasabi is really good when you don't need something that's just like overpoweringly sweet like you can come to appreciate more the the subtle nuance of the horseradish. Oh. Yes, I know that sounds pretentious, but it is tasty. Okay, okay. I, I, I definitely want to give a fourth roll a shot. And like you said, the reason is because I get what you're saying, like where you put the plastic wrap over the the rolls, but not like completely wrap it. So that way you can, yeah, because man, they were so good until you have to take the plastic wrap off and then it kind of comes apart. Fuck! All right, okay. So how do you get it like nice and tight? Hmm. Okay, I think what we're going to do this next time is wrap it up in the plastic wrap, get it nice and rolled up, and then take the plastic wrap off. So that way, hopefully, it's still wrapped up. No, this is falling apart. Not like this. So it's still wrapped up, like, decently. But then after that, we'll cover it with additional thing of plastic wrap and, uh, and make it so it doesn't, like, stick, right? So it doesn't stick to the rice, the knife, that is. Crab on room temperature counter for 80 minutes, Monka S. Well, it's not real crab, so we're fine, right? Yeah. Don't worry, I'm putting these in Tupperware and putting them in the refrigerator afterwards, so it's fine, dude. Uh, Jesus. Okay. This is a little messy. Wrap the knife in saran wrap. Ooh, life hack right there. Okay. All right, we're going to do one more. I think this... I'm sorry this one's taking so long, but I think... I think we're going to use the experience we've gotten in this past three to like create the ultimate fourth one. The last, this will be the last one because I, I need to move on to the, 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 the next dishes because we have more. There's more. There's more to make. I might just save the rest of these ingredients for later and then, I, I don't know, can you make sushi with the ingredients that you prepped like the night before? That's probably not the greatest idea, but we'll probably end up having to do it anyways just because I can't make California rolls for the next like three hours. It would be fun, but like I said, I've got other other dishes we're planning to make tonight. Okay. The next one, hopefully, is the one we're actually going to plate up with the actual dish, like the actual full-on dish for later on, okay? So let's not fuck this up. Whoa. The rest of the, <laughs> these right here will, are categorized under the I will eat these on my own time and still enjoy them even if they don't look perfect because they'll still taste really good. Okay, cool. <sighs> Uh, last one, last one, last one, last one. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Let's first things first. Remember to put the rice on first. Valuable lesson learned last time. Before we put the rest of the ingredients on. Okay. Take off about the same amount as last time and the time before. All right. Oh, just do this again where we try to pretend that we're going to join ocean paper. Mm -hmm. Just as good as the first time. Okay. Mm, very crunchy and seaworthy. Mm. I'm definitely feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. All right. Ooh. All right. Okay. Wet my fingers again. Okay. 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 Am I going to start a sushi restaurant in my small town? I mean, there are a disturbingly low amount of sushi restaurants where, like, in my immediate vicinity, there are much closer to, like, the university of the town that I'm in, but, like, it's... It's a good, like, I don't know, 15 minutes away, 15, 20 minutes drive-wise, so. There would be probably a pretty good market for, like, a sushi restaurant, or, like, you know, a, a Japanese restaurant that caters to Americans in my immediate vicinity, so. While I'm not about to open up my own Japanese restaurant, I will say, if somebody opened up one nearby, probably make a killing. I mean, they'd have to cater to white people, i.e. stuff like California rolls, like I'm making here, but still, fuck it. The reason why I probably don't eat a whole lot of Japanese food nowadays is just because there's nothing like that's super close by. I wish there was. 
Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm definitely getting better at nailing how much rice I need on each, uh, on each roll here. That's looking pretty good. Okay, okay. Go shave my neck beard? I'm not going to. The reason is something that you'll find out eventually. I am growing it out for a reason. Um, but I can't state the reason yet, but keep watching stream and eventually you will find the reason. I'll just leave it at that. Okay, okay, okay. I think this is our, this is going to be our, our piece de la resistance, as they say, at Trudel. I got to drink more. I'm not, I'm so sober still. Ah, oh, that's a lot of vodka. Okay. Ah. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Stephanie, uh, Stephanie, Chad's my cousin, Stephanie. I haven't seen her in a million years. Sesame Steeds. Okay. Oh, you can tell, like, I'm starting to, like, fuck up my words and slur a little bit, so I guess the alcohol is doing at least a little bit. Oh. A little bit more. There we go. Cheers. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. This is going to be the one. This is going to be the one. This will be the one. All right. Let's do it. So flip her over. All right. I'm actually at the point where, like, realistically, I've got, like, one roll. After this one, at least, I've got one roll's worth of stuff left. So, yeah, this will end up making... Eh, somebody said earlier about four and a half rolls. Yeah, that was that was about correct. Like, maybe not enough for, like, a full roll, but enough for, like, a half roll left. All right. There we go. What I think I'll do is also, like, maybe, like, not completely take it to like all the way to the side because I'm, I'm realizing that it'll kind of like squish out at the end and so it'll squish out this way so maybe like leave a little room on on each end cool all right so that's a little of that make a hand roll with the leftovers i like how you're thinking about that one dude sounds like a good idea still got to cook two more dishes i know i know I, i'm trying to i'm trying to like all right, hurry up, streamer, hurry up, streamer, because, like, I'm aware, like, yes, two more dishes still to go. And it's not like they're, like, simple dishes either, so, yeah, gotta... Looks nice. I, like, I mean, it tastes nice. I can already confirm that, and I'm trying to I'm trying to get the look down, right? Because, like, I, I'm aware that, like, the aesthetic portion is something that's the part that takes a long time to master, I'm sure. Because, like, anybody can combine these ingredients and eat them together, right? But, all right, here we go, here we go. All right. <laughs> Here's what we're going to do, right? Here's the lessons we've learned now. We're going to get a sheet of plastic wrap. Okay. We're going to roll it up. And once we've rolled it out, we'll take it out of that sheet and then cover it with that same sheet. And then cut it using that, right? Okay. Screw the uh, the roach pad. That's that's not doing jack shit. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, whoa. All right, tight, tight. Chat wants it tight. I get it, dude. I like it tight too. Uh, huh. Okay. Come on, baby. Nice and tight. Alright, okay, there we go. Hmm. Okay, the the in <laughs> the middle is tighter than the outside. That's what she said. But okay, okay, I think we I rolled the plastic in the sushi. I did, but like we'll Ugh. We'll, uh, we'll unwrap it and it'll kind of slide out, I'm pretty sure. Okay, okay, okay. This one's over flooded. I think it's actually looking better than the, the previous ones because we didn't like over pack the sides, right? And like now it's not like spewing out as much. That's looking pretty good, honestly. Okay, all right, now. 
let's unwrap this, okay, and then we'll, we'll use this pad, we'll use this piece of plastic to then wrap, like put it over and then cut it with it draped over, right? Okay. So we gotta find the edge, but it should be a hell of a lot easier when it's an entire one piece of plastic still. There it is, okay. All right, come on, baby. Chat, pray for me. Big money, big money, big money, big money, no whammies. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on, okay, okay, hold on. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, okay, 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 hold on, wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute. Am I making a sushi burrito? I mean, that's kind of what a roll is, right? So, I mean, yes? Unironically? All right, here we go. Yeah, now we like, okay. All right, looks good. That's looking pretty good to me, dude. That's uh, looking, all right, here we go, baby. Here we go. This is the one we're actually plating up, right? I, I do at least like that I've gotten progressively better at this, like each one. I can appreciate that I've gotten slowly, slowly better at this. I'm actually showing improvement. All right, all right, here we go, here we go, here we go. So, I will admit the plastic technique doesn't work quite as well when it's not like the original wrapping of the plastic, but it's still not bad, it's still not bad. Okay, here we go, come on. It's still working better than like when we were doing it without the plastic at all, so I can appreciate that. All right, okay. Ooh, shit, look at this, boys. Oh shit, all right, okay. I know I'm not supposed to be going back and forth with a knife, I know it should just be one stroke, but my knife's not sharp, sharp enough to do one stroke, I'm sorry. I gotta, I gotta get a new knife sharpener, that's clearly the issue here. Because I technically sharpened this knife before the stream started, but I think my knife sharpener is just scuffed as fuck. All right. And then this is easy, because you just do, oh shit, <laughs> oh baby. Chat, I think I think we actually I think this is uh, this is the one this is the one I think we nailed it, I think we nailed it. Careful, okay, hold on. Oh yeah, look at that, dude! Yes, queen, yes. <sighs> I think, at least for now, you know, without years of training, I think realistically, this is about as good as we're going to get it, boys. And, uh, you know, it's I, I get it. It's not perfect. It could be wrapped even tighter. But if somebody gave this to me at a Japanese restaurant, I would happily, happily consume this and call this good enough. So, you know what? Yep. That's it right there, boys. That's it right there. The giant unripe avocado makes it beautiful. <laughs> that could be better, I will admit. That that could be better, but that's all right. All right, the final Tupperware. This one's the one we'll use for plating later, but uh, we can't plate up now. We can't do our entire plating experience because we have two more dishes to make. We are making like the kind of like the, for those that tune in late, by the way, we are making what we call basically the standard stereotypical American Japanese dinner tonight. It's something like if you go to a Japanese restaurant and you order the boat, there's three things you'd kind of expect to see on the boat, right? California roll. Mm, the ones in the end, maybe falling apart a little bit. On the boat, you would expect to see a California roll, tempura, and teriyaki chicken, right? Maybe a tuna roll, but usually a California roll, at least where, at least where I'm from. Hell yeah, brother. So... <sighs> <laughs> now that one third of the boat has been completed, or at least mostly completed, we're gonna, I'm just gonna like kind of, honestly what I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm gonna Tupperware wear up the rest of the ingredients here and uh, use them uh, just like for like a sushi burrito later on. Use a lot of Tupperware, goddamn dude. I'm literally just gonna combine these and like probably just mix up a bunch of rice plus the nori plus the avocado plus the cucumber and just say like, ah, fuck it, sushi burrito. And you know what? I'm not even upset by that because uh, this is kind of tasty. This is kind of, this honestly reminds me of my childhood. I'm not gonna lie. My childhood was filled with a lot of just going to like standard generic white person Japanese restaurants and enjoying some California roll. It wasn't just California by the roll. California roll, by the way. We'd have like stuff like rainbow roll, crunchy roll. 
all basic bitch white people stuff. Don't get me wrong, but like rainbow roll, crunchy tuna roll, Philly roll, spicy tuna roll, of course, spider rolls. What else? Uh, I mean, my sister, who's a <laughs> be nice streamer, a very ethical and not completely lame and hippie ass vegetarian. Would get the cucumber rolls, and those were fine too. Salmon rolls. Those two. She's a pescatarian, so salmon rolls were fine, obviously. <laughs> She's cool, that's cool. Vegetarian, totally cool, not lame, obviously. I love my sister, she's great. Okay, here we go. Save these ingredients for later. Now, we, keep in mind, remember when this, this recipe was supposed to make two rolls? We still have like basically like a roll's worth of rice left, right? So like, that was, so that was a fucking lie, two rolls, it ended up being closer to like four or five, but whatever. Not like I'm complaining <clears throat> that there was extra food to consume. Hey, what's up, uh, Humi coming in, how about the gifted tier, what's up? Oh shit, thank you, sir. Hopefully that means you're enjoying. Your sub will go directly to the Hot Pockets, Doritos, and Sushi Master Fund. All of this, I will definitely just toss into a sushi burrito later on. <laughs> and uh, we'll call that good enough. Okay, cool. All right, all right, all right. And uh, oh, next up, I think we have... Hmm. Okay, so I got to figure out how to do the next part properly. Now, the reason why I say that is I'm making both teriyaki chicken and tempura. And the thing about tempura that I've read, when I read the recipe that we're gonna make, is you gotta basically try to eat the tempura almost as quickly as you possibly can after you make it. Otherwise, it starts to be not nearly as good. Right, it starts to lose its, its, its crisp. So, the question is, do I, I, I what, in what order do I make this? Do I make the, Tempura, I guess, last and do the teriyaki chicken first, but then the teriyaki chicken will just be sitting there getting cold while I make the tempura. Or while the tempura is cooking, like while it's like, you know, frying up or whatever, do I... Is that the point in which I make the teriyaki chicken? Hmm. I think what we do is like we prep the stuff for the tempura and like maybe we make the tempura, like maybe we batter it up and then like when we do that... As it's cooking, that's when we do the teriyaki. I, I, yeah, okay, let's do that. Let's prep the tempura first. I think I think that's the play. I think that's the play. And if we fuck it up, then well, so be it. It's content, baby. All right, all right. Let's uh, be a good boy and wash this stuff first. Because in theory, cross-contamination's a bad thing, I guess. I don't know. You know, honestly, had I just only done rolls tonight, that probably would have been a pretty would have been a pretty good stream on its own. I was legitimately worried that the stream, like, I was biting off more than I could chew tonight. And I was I was trying to like basically cook too much stuff tonight. Considering that we're now one of three dishes in, and the stream is approaching three hours long, I'm gonna go ahead and say that I definitely bit off more than I could chew. But fuck it, dude. <laughs> we're already we're in too deep. We're, we we got to keep going. Basically, we've, we've reached the duration of one cooking stream now, except we have two dishes to go. Okay, fuck it. In fairness, I'm pretty sure these two that we're about to cook can sort of kind of maybe be cooked somewhat simultaneously, so... It's fine. What could possibly go wrong? Okay. Doing good. The first one went shockingly well, I will say that. I was expecting the first one to be much more scuffed. I'm, I'm kind of shocked at how well that went, so... What could possibly go wrong for the second one, right? Let's get me to take another vinegar shot? <laughs> I'm a smart man. I've learned my lesson. I will give... I will take another vinegar shot for... Half of... A half, half a vinegar shot. Plus fireball. I'll, I'll, I'll give you the whole package this time for... 50 subs, <laughs> okay? 
It better be, it, 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 it's gotta be like an oil prince, all right? I'm making it unreasonable for a reason, all right? Because I'm not, uh, I have zero interest in doing that again. Do not gift me 50 subs for that, by the way. I'm making it stupid, a stupid high amount for an actual reason, okay? Do not, do not do that. Do not be dumb. That is a really, really fucking stupid use of your money. Okay. Anyways, let's do, uh, let's prep the tempura. All right, okay. <laughs> I, I, no, I, I'm, I, I swear, I legit don't want you to do it. <laughs> that was fucking gross. And I'm, I'm, I'm telling you that, like, I'm willing to, it was more just like, I don't really want to do it, but like, this, that's the level I'd be willing to do it at again. A completely dumb, unreasonable amount. Okay, anyways. Um... All right, so let me get let me uh, first things first link the tempura recipe that we're doing in chat. Now, let me be transparent with you first things first, okay? Let's 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 take it back a little bit. Let's take it back. All right. I am well aware that tempura normally should be cooked in just like by frying it in oil, but number 1 I'm a little afraid to like deal with oil. I, I'll just I'll just admit it. I'm kind of a pussy. I'm a little afraid to cook stuff just by deep frying it in oil. Number one, because I just I, I I'm afraid of the fire hazard. And number two, I don't really know how to like properly dispose of cooking oil. Like you, I, I know you can't pour it down your drain. So like I don't really want to do it because I'm afraid to do it. And number two, it'd be kind of boring just to do it the normal way, right? So. I just, I just linked the recipe in chat. We are doing an air fryer version of tempura. Will that be horrible? Maybe, but I swear that this nice Asian lady that made this recipe on mokimami.com says pull it's pretty it, good. So, it, pull it. dump it in my neighbor's yard. Yeah, great. As if I, I didn't want to piss them off as, as much as I already have. So. <laughs> We're gonna use Moki Mommy's recipe for air fryer tempura and see how it goes. Is it gonna be terrible? Maybe, but I'm very curious. I've tried regular tempura, I know that's good. <laughs> I know, chat's like, don't do it, no! <laughs> Fuck it, man, we're gonna try it. All right, all right, all right. Let's get down to the actual recipe part, okay. Um, um, I, need to find the part the, I need to find the part of the recipe that tells me actually how to make like the the bread, the breading portion. Okay. It's terrible. Well, there's one way to find that. I'm going to test it so you guys don't have to. Um, all right. So let's make the, actually no, it, it tells me to prep the stuff for tempura first. So here's the kind of plan I have in mind. I know like Connexus is saying tempura last, but it's going to keep, like I've got a small ass air fryer, so I, I can't just cook all the tempura at the same time. So I'm thinking what I'll do is like as the tempura is in the air fryer, like I'll have to do like probably like the, the shrimp first and the sweet potato next and then the, the carrots last. While all of that is cooking in the air fryer, which will take like half an hour, that, that's the point in time in which I'll cook the, the teriyaki chicken. Which sort of makes sense, I guess? So, okay. Let's, uh, let's prep the stuff for the tempura. But before I do that, let me wipe off the disgusting avocado that's currently sitting on the uh, floor of my kitchen. Okay, and there we go. All right, better. Okay, uh, go. Okay, so we're using shrimp. And we're using a sweet potato. And we're using carrots. All right, jump scare alert. Spoilers. Oh, that wasn't that bad. Oh, that was worse. Okay. All right. So this recipe says you can use basically anything. Like you can tempura anything because you're essentially just deep frying anything. I went with the three, what at least I imagine in my mind is the three most typical things that would have tempurad at a Japanese restaurant. So shrimp, sweet potato, and carrots. When I went to Walmart earlier today, I got the extra large sized shrimp. Now, keep in mind, they had a bunch of different sizes of shrimp. They had small, medium, large, extra large, colossal, and 
extra colossal. I was really tempted to get extra colossal, but then the inner like cheapo in me came out and decided that like the extra large was the best like bang for your buck and that it was the best like pound per dollar or dollar per pound. So I got the extra large, all right? So you'll have to forgive me. Hopefully the extra large will be large enough for our tempura purposes, all right? The girthiest of shrimp, precisely. So let's, uh, let's prep this, shall we? Now the, the recipe, I think, basically cautioned me to slice these relatively thin so that way they cook in the air fryer. So we're gonna cut these relatively thin, I guess. Where's my alcohol? Here it is. Mm. I don't know how this is gonna turn out because obviously tempura is not something that was meant to be made in an air fryer. Of course, you're meant to fry it in oil, but I am too much of a special snowflake to do that, so we are doing it in the air fryer like a cool kid in 2023. All those Zoomers nowadays, they don't actually fry anything, right? They don't want to get fat. Zoomers are fucking weird. All right. Eat one while it's frozen and give it insane nutritional value. I don't think that's how it works. Am I not thawing them? Oh, yeah, 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 you're right. I should probably do that. Now, the way I always thaw frozen shrimp, and do not correct me if I'm wrong, is I always just literally just put them in a, uh, a bowl here and just put them in hot water and just let them thaw in hot water. If that is like unsanitary or in some way gonna kill me, don't tell me that because I've been doing this for years and I haven't died yet, so. Uh, let's do six, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, seven, fuck it. Cold water? No, sir, we're doing hot water. By the way, the bottom of my sink is just like covered in sushi rice right now. All that sushi rice that I kept washing off my fingers, like when I was getting my, my fingers wet. Yeah. Oh, oh, and now my one of those shrimp is covered in that. Okay. All right, those so those are defrosting off to the side. Best way to defrost is to leave into the fridge overnight. Well, I bought these approximately an hour and a half, well, five hours ago. So yeah, didn't exactly have enough time to do that. Walmart shrimp, yes sir. Well, unfortunately you can't exactly find the freshest shrimp in Indiana. Weirdly, there isn't really any fresh right straight out of the ocean in the middle of the Midwest. So I had to do what I could. I bought it at Walmart. Was it frozen? Yes, but fucking sue me. All right. So let's cut these sweet potatoes in a way where hopefully we can tempura these and have the potato be cooked through. Now the, let's let's do back to the close up. The, the, uh, the recipe says to cut these in about a quarter of an inch slices. So I don't really know what the fuck a quarter of an inch is, but we're just gonna eyeball this and try to make something that feels like... I'm just gonna try to basically cut this in the thickness that I remember eating these at a Japanese restaurant, like as far as like what tempura thickness would be. All right. So kind of like this. Oh, that one's really thick. All right, shit. Okay, I think this will get the job done. The rest of the sweet potato, I think I'll just save for later. I think I'll just use this for like, I don't fucking know, but realistically, this is definitely all I'll actually use tonight. So that'll do, that'll do. Okay, okay. Where's the scotch at? <sighs> no scotch tonight, boys, but I, I am definitely due for a scotch taste test stream. I, I know I haven't done one in a long ass time. We'll do one soon, I promise. But for now, we're enjoying some Sprite. Why? Watch the start of the stream, but I promise you it has something to do with this Japanese cooking stream, even if it doesn't make any sense at all. Mm. Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, carrots. Where's Joel? Hey, buddy. What's up? He's chilling. Don't worry, Joel has not been consumed tonight. Joel has not been eaten. Joel has not been part of the, the cooking stream. In fact, how about this? Where's a where's a place where Joel would be like, oh, here we go. I know. That's in frame, right? All right. Just so you know, Joel has not been harmed in the making of this uh, Japanese cooking stream, not to worry. I believe Joel is a sturgeon who is generally speaking found in the cold Northern waters of the Pacific. And I don't believe sturgeon are native to anywhere close to Japan, so 
Not to worry, boys. Joel has not been consumed tonight during any portion of the stream. Now, these carrots, I don't really fucking know how you're supposed to cut carrots in a way that you tempura them, but I, I, I get the feeling it's something along the lines of like lengthwise, because like I, I always imagine like long strips of carrot when I have tempured carrots. So let me wash these. I'm thinking like we just do the carrots where we like just do it like this way. Long strips, right? Chad, right? Like fries? Yeah, exactly. Like fries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Am I going to skin them that way? This is something that's always really actually confused me about like cooking in general. My microphone is... Hello, Chad. Hello. Sorry, my microphone got in a weird spot. I've never really understood the point of... What, what is the point of skinning carrots? Because like... The skin tastes like carrot. The skin tastes like the inside, and the out in the inside tastes like the outside. It tastes the same. So what's the point of skinning a carrot? I've never understood. Like, like, it's just all it's just it's just orange. It's just orangeness, carrotness, aesthetics. Do I look like I give a fuck about that? If all that matters for skinning a carrot is like, oh well, it looks slightly better than no, fuck that. We're not doing that. All right, good. Glad we've settled this. All right. So let's cut these lengthwise, shall we? Uh, hold on. Careful, SpongeBob. Uh, wait. Can I just tempura this? Does this work? It's just a little thick. Ah, fuck it. It'll be fine, dude. What could possibly go wrong? Ugh. It'll be fine. Okay. This one, maybe this is kind of thick. Maybe I can like try to cut this into thirds. Let's see. Uh -huh. Obviously, don't want to cut my fingers off. That would be ideal. Mm, yeah. Nah, fuck it. Good enough for me. I've been peeling my carrots. I, I feel like we just went over this, dude. You're actually fucking killing me, dude. Please don't cut like that. Uh. I don't know what I'm doing, man. Maybe for the next cooking stream, we'll try to learn how to properly use a knife, but it's not this one. Okay. I don't even think I can fit this all in like one round of my air fryer. I'm not even sure this will fit, but fuck it. Okay, sure. I think at this point, my uh, shrimp is probably defrosted. Oh yeah, there we go. Now, this uh, shrimp right here, I know this recipe somehow recommends that you cut the shrimp in a way where like it, it ends up being straight. Because if anybody's ever been to a Japanese restaurant before, you would you would know that like shrimp tempura usually is like in a way where like the shrimp is like completely straight like this. I think it says you're supposed to like cut along the bottom of it like this, and so that way like the skin breaks like in a way where like it like ends up straightening out. So we're gonna give this a shot and see if it ends up straightening it up magically here. Let's see. Ooh. I mean, that's kind of straight. <laughs> uh, <laughs> every man knows exactly the situation we're in right now. Your dick, a little crooked, but close enough, right? Cross-contamination, it's all going in the air fryer. It's going to be fine. It's all cooking. Whatever, dude. Who cares? It's fine, dude. It's fine. Imagine expecting me to properly follow hygienic standards. I'm all consuming this myself, so if anybody dies, it's going to be me, and no one's going to sue me if, if, if I just kill myself, right? In Minecraft, of course. Um, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Uh, ooh, 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 yeah. I should taste test the peeled carrots next to non-peeled carrots. I'll notice the difference. I'm pretty sure it'll taste like carrots. It's fine, dude. Uh, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Come on, baby. Gotta get the... Yeah, there we go. 
I think you'll do other stuff like, yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> is this the way you do it to make a carrot like, or sorry, to make a, a shrimp look straight? It's probably not, but I feel like it's like half straight. It's like semi-chub now. It's like your weird ass crooked boner has like a a semi-chub, so it's like it's kind of almost straight. So like your your girl's like almost not weirded out by it. So we're calling this good enough. Whatever, dude. Should I have gotten the colossal shrimp instead of the extra large? Maybe, because this seems kind of pathetic to be honest. This kind of seems like the shrimp that most of chat would be uh, accustomed to, but... Oh, that one kind of broke up a little bit. Well, yeah, that's fine. But hey, you know what? I just want to use shrimp that chat's uh, comfortable with. I want to use I want to use shrimp that like chat realistically would uh, know the size of. I don't want unrealistically sized shrimp to. Uh... Oh, come on, come on. I want to I want to make realistic standards for the size of the shrimp right here. All right, okay, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. We're gonna tempura the shit out of this. Yeah, sanitary as fuck. Okay, now, let's make the better. The shrimp are pretty big. I agree, dude, these look like pretty standard average size shrimp that every uh, everybody would expect to see when they open up their shrimp package and see like, oh, that's the size of the shrimp right here. Yeah, that's that's ex completely normal, completely expected, and exactly what I expected to see, and not pathetic at all, right? <laughs> yeah, totally normal, right? <laughs> okay, good. Um, let's make the batter, shall we? Um, in a bowl, mix water, mayo, and half a cup of flour. Okay, let's do it. Now. We're going to use our pathetic ass bowl from earlier that looks uh, suspiciously tainted with a bunch of uh, gunk on it, but I promise you, it's very clean. Very clean. My microphone keeps getting like... <sighs> Come on, Mike. Hello. Hi. Um, I put it on the other side of my little... What do I call this, by the way? Dharma, are you still here, bud? Is there a name for like what I'm wearing right here? I'm assuming you wear one of these, right? Because you're pretentious as fuck. What is the name of what I'm wearing right now? There, I assume it's more than just like, I would I wouldn't really call it like a smock, right? But I'm assuming maybe like there's a Japanese specific word for it. A kimono? No, 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 no. It's like a, a what? It's whatever the fuck Japanese sushi chefs wear, but I don't know what that's called. All right. So uh, let's add. In a bowl, mix the water, mayonnaise, and half a cup of flour. Okay, so we're supposed to do three-fourths of a cup of cold water. Three-fourths of a cup? The fuck? What sort of measurement is that? Right. We're supposed to do cold water? Can I just do, like, lukewarm water? Room temperature water? Is that fine? I'm just gonna do that. That's fine. It's like in the 40s outside right now. I'll just assume that the tap water is in the 40s and sort of cold, right? All right, so one, two, three. Okay, three fourths. All right. Okay. And then uh, two tablespoons of Japanese mayo. So this is we're gonna use the same shit that we used earlier for the uh, for the sushi. Originally, I was like I wanted to cheap out and just use like regular ass mayo, but then I, when I realized that both the tempura and the sushi use like, like the, the roll use the same mayo, I was like, okay, I should actually buy the real thing. Fine, fuck it. All right, let's use the same shit again. All right, clean the shit out, even though it's got just the same mayo that it had on earlier, but. Don't want to cross-contaminate our sushi and tempura, of course. Now, one thing I didn't actually realize, like, tempura, apparently the batter, really all it is is water, mayo, and flour. That's it. So, I kind of assumed there was more to it than that. I thought there was, like, breadcrumbs in there, but apparently not. Uh, 
Come on. Come on. One. Uh, 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 uh. Two. I didn't aim quite correctly. Ah. All right, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, hold on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> might have fucked up a little bit. Sorry, boys. Uh, oh. Oh, that's not a good look. Okay, hold on. Um, this is this stream is not for kids, by the way. If you're watching this and you're under 18, turn off immediately. Click the X button. Highly illegal. Okay, good. Let me go and clean this off right now. You know, it doesn't help that I'm trying to grow this ghetto-ass beard either, because that makes it look even worse. Oh, Jesus. Okay, there we go. Okay. All right, Jesus would once again approve. We're gear chief. All right, cool. Anyways, uh, so this looks really appetizing right now, by the way. This is uh, currently our tempura mix. <laughs> Every dude that's ever taken a shower knows exactly what's going on right now. All right. Anyways. Um, and then what's the last thing? Flour, I guess? God, this is, uh, this is supposed to make something appetizing, evidently. I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> uh, so we're supposed to do... One cup of flour, that's a shitload of flour. All right. Uh, sure. The cup, okay. Lame, what is lame? Is that what my shower looks like? Sir. If you don't know the reference I just made, then don't worry about it. I respect the fact that you're a wholesome Christian. Oh, careful, Joel. Careful, bud. Right. Your man's shower drain is just a solid, solid block of sticky glue. I do a lot of arts and crafts in my shower, dude. Can you blame me? Right. That's the last of that thing of flour, but we came prepared and have a second thing of flour. Yeah, sorry, all the clips from last week are gone, boys. I'm sorry, because, like, oh, there were so many good clips from last week, dude, but we had to nuke it. I'm sorry, boys, I'm sorry. But, hey, hopefully, hopefully you guys have gotten your fill of clips this week. I've tried my best, all right? <laughs> have I overdone it at some points during the stream? Yeah, probably. But I am I feel bad, because, like, last, week, last week's cooking bot was so fun, and I had to nuke it, so, like... That's why I, I did another cooking stream VOD so soon, because I wanted to make sure, like, this week you guys got your fill. So, you're welcome, chat. Right, there we go. Little extra flour spillage in there, but that's okay, that's okay. Yeah. All right. Don't tell me? What? What? I know the batter's gonna leak in the air fryer? Nah, that's fine, dude. Oh, they were asking why I nuked it. Yeah, that's not... not relevant. Unfortunate things. Okay, anyways, uh, let's see here, so... In a bowl, mix the water, mix the salt. Oh, it's super bad. It's salt and... wait, what? Mix salt? And remaining half a cup of oh. I was supposed to do like salt and half a cup of flour in the other bowl, but like I just realized that like the half a cup of flour. God damn it! So I was only put, was supposed to put like half of the flour in there. All right, so we're taking half of a cup of flour out of this. All right. Well, oops. Um. Turns out I wasn't supposed to use the entire cup of flour in this one bowl here, which makes sense because this seemed like a lot. 
So we're gonna try to skim this off the top here without this getting wet, and I think we're actually somewhat successfully doing that. <laughs> All right, well, fuck. Uh, okay, yep, like it never happened. I'm gonna go in and say that this right there is a half a, a cup of flour that I skimmed off the top and it's not a disaster. Okay, we're Gucci, we're Gucci. All right, cool. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Place temporary. All right, so it, it makes sense, right? We got two separate bowls. One will have like the dry stuff and one will have the wet stuff. Okay, I get it. Okay, cool. So let's mix this up. So we'll, we'll dip basically something into the wet batter first, right? And after we dip into the wet batter, we dip into the dry batter and then we put it in the air fryer. Okay, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Now, for those that were wondering earlier about the really nasty cum references that we were making, this does not look like cum, okay? So for those thinking that this is gonna turn into a very haram stream, you're incorrect. This looks very fun, very delicious, very appetizing. So, okay. All right, so in a separate bowl, we're supposed to do half a cup of flour and salt, and that's it. Shit, salt? I can have that. That's easy. Uh, so half a cup of flour, that's probably half a cup. And then, how much salt are we supposed to use in this shit? Uh, half a teaspoon. Now, technically, I have measuring stuff for half a teaspoon, but we're just gonna add half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon. We're measuring half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon. That is half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon. Okay, cool. Uh, let's do it. How do I mix this? Just kinda, eh. It's mixed, okay, good. Uh, so what do we do? We're going to, let's, okay, it, and we need to preheat the air fryer. Streamer's smart and knows that he needs. Why did I keep this, by the way? I, did, I, I made it a point not to throw this away earlier. I'm trying to remember why I did that. Couldn't tell you, but okay, throwing it away now. Um... This part is not part of the recipe, but needs to be done. Oh yeah. This kids represents the last of the vodka that we had in our in our freezer, so. Oh well. Uh -huh. That's a lot. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to take this one kind of slow. I thought I had less vodka left than that, but it turned out there was still a lot. Sprite, because that's the official uh, drink of eating sushi, as we all know. Stiff drink? Well, I mean, naturally it makes sense that as, you, as the night goes on, you make stronger and stronger drinks, right? That's, uh, that's how you pace yourself properly. <laughs> that's really good. Very tasty. Okay, cool. Um, okay, so we got our batter and we've got the dry ingredients somewhere. Here we go. And all right, let's preheat the air fryer to 350 is what this says. All right, all right, all right. For those that are doubting the magical air fryer and all of the miracles it can perform, you're about to be shown Jesus, boys. This thing has worked miracles. Every time I've used this, it's made an absolute banger food just in general. Like I, I, I think I've used this for three cooking streams and every time I've used this, it's made something amazing. So I believe, I believe in the absolute magic voodoo power of the air fryer. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, uh, temperature 350, preheat. Preheat. Okay, 
it's gone. Okay, cool. So, um, what should we do first? Should we do the chat? What, what should we do first? Or should we do the carrots first? Should we do the, the shrimp first? Or should we do, should we do the, the sweet potatoes first? Carrots, okay, I see one. We're doing carrots unless someone says otherwise. Connexus has seem, seemingly has the the sway right now. You would first slice them? This does not look sliced to you? Come on now. Carrots, fuck it, we're doing carrots. All right, fuck it, we're doing the carrots first. All right, sure, fuck it, let's do it. Now, the carrots, I'll admit that, like, this seems like a lot for just my tiny ass little air fryer, so I'll be curious to see if, like, we're able to fit this all into one little tray, but we'll try our best. Hmm. Uh, doesn't taste great. So what we're supposed to do is literally just <clears throat> um, dip it into the wet ingredients, and then after that, dip it into the dry. And then in theory, at that point, it should be good to go. Let's see if I can somehow create enough counter space for what I'm trying to do here. Uh, put the knife over here, that over here. Okay. Uh, can you see all that? You can. Good. Okay. So, dip the carrots in the wet. Ooh. Hmm. And then dip it in the dry. Alright. Uh, wait a minute. Was I supposed to do the other way around? Take a batter trimmer. It's wet than dry. Okay. It says, it says wet than dry. So, all right. Fuck it, dude. All right. Wet than dry. Using the same hand. Oh, actually, that's right. You should... Actually, well... Aren't both going to get wet because, like, then... Oh, I get... You drop it in and you take it out with your dry... Ah, fuck it. I don't know, man. Whatever, dude. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Dry, wet, dry. Oh, that's very... Okay, well. Dry, wet, dry. Well, the thing is, like, it, it tells me to put it in the wet one first. That's what she said. I'll try it. I'll just... I'll, uh, send it. Eh, uh, whatever. Okay, fine. Dry. Wet. Very heavily coated. Am I gonna have enough? I mean, I guess I, guess I could just make more of this shit if I have to, but I'm starting to get the feeling I'm not gonna have enough, like, dipping stuff. I'm kind of just already fucking this up. I don't really give a shit that much, to be honest. Okay, wet. <laughs> nice. Dry. Okay. Oh, God, I'm getting this shit all over my counter, dude. Okay, well, <laughs> uh, yeah, you know what? We're gonna just go and abandon any sort of like proper technique here. We're just gonna send this the best we can. Okay, well, uh, let's cover this our best with our hands. Oh, that's not a great look. I've seen better. What is he doing? He's th this is what you call winging it. Okay, we are winging this the best we can. Lick my fingers. There's no raw eggs in this, right? No, I haven't used eggs at all. Okay, good. You're right. This is called giving the people what they want. Ugh, there you go. But in fairness, this did clean the the, thing, the thingies off a bit, so that way we can properly do the rest of this. Stop licking. Well, Connexus told me to, so I'm just doing what I'm told. Oh fuck! I still have wet ingredients to go or dry ingredients to go. Okay, hold on. Wait a minute. Okay, there we go. 
Oh, there's a hair in there. Oh, that's gross. Ugh, my hair is too long at this point, dude. It's up, uh, Connects is coming out with the gifted tier one sub to Minarch. For some reason, you're enjoying this shit, and you felt the need to give me money for this. That is not a good life decision, but I will take it nonetheless. Your sub will go directly to the Hot Pockets, Doritos, and Japanese cooking master fund. Of course, of course. Licks raw shrimp juice mixed with raw flour, you a hair. <laughs> hey, you know what? Gotta have your priorities, dude. I'm a basic bitch. Raw shrimp? Totally fine, dude. Raw dick? Totally fine, dude. Oh my god, ew, a hair! Gross! Ew! I'm not coating these properly at all, dude. Yeah, I will be cur very curious to see how this air fried tempura comes out, because right now I will admit I'm not covering these in a way that I should be. Uh, these could be better covered. These these could have better coverage, admittedly, but the whole wet, dry, wet, dry, wet thing? Yeah, I'm not doing that, so, eh. I'm just kind of hoping for the best, if I'm being honest. And, uh, well. I mean, look, I'll say these are, one way or another, these are battered. <laughs> well, that'll come out one way or another. All right, cool. I can already tell you I need more wet, uh, or any more dry ingredients. The wet ingredients are doing fine, but the jo Oh, Joel, no! We gotta put Joel back in somewhere safe. I'm sorry, boys. Is Joel safe if I put him, like... I'm just gonna put Joel back up on, on top of the fridge. I know you can't see him right now, but I don't wanna... I gotta take care of Joel, dude. I gotta take care of Joel. Okay. Alright. Get this hair out of there. Ooh. Joel is safe anywhere he knows self-defense. <laughs> is he like, uh, is, he, is he the karate kid in fish form? I'll choose to believe that. How is this air not done? What the fuck? Was this preheating? Hello? Is this not... I, uh, this was not preheating the entire time. Okay, very cool, dude. Preheat starts. Okay, I, uh, maybe it's preheating now. I don't fucking know. Okay, let's try this again. I'm going to add more flour and add more salt to this because we don't have enough of those stuff, things left. Am I going to measure this? No. I'm going to hope that whatever I'm adding right now is uh, good enough. Okay. Yes. Don't think, just send it? Yes, sir. That's what, that's what we're going for at this point. We're, we're like, we're doing the equivalent of deep frying something. What could possibly go wrong? All right, now it just occurred to me that I should probably find a separate plate to put the potatoes on. So here we go. Let's put these Whoop. over here. Okay. Are you supposed to do like the whole wet dry wet dry thing when like realistically when you put the wet one in the dry one you can't just pick up the wet thing in the dry one as if it were dry now that doesn't make any sense you get what i'm saying right skill issue probably dude probably i'm just gonna yolo this i don't really give a fuck about like oh use different hands uh oh, you know make sure one's wet one dry I've notoriously remained wet basically my entire life, so I'm not going to try to change it up now. It's fine, dude. Still got the shrimp to go, by the way. That's going to be an experience, I'm sure. Okay, sweet potato. I'm trying my best to make this, like, somewhat uniform, but it's not working, so this is going to come out in a way, I'm sure. This is going to come out 
in some sort of interesting fashion. We'll see how it works. Whatever, dude. At some point, I, for the shrimp, I might actually have to add some more wet and to, like more to the wet ingredient because we're starting to run out of that now. Oh boy, this is not getting even coverage. Okay, well, you know what? We're trying our best. We're trying our best. This could all be done with chopsticks. Imagine using chopsticks. I'm sorry, man, but chopsticks are like the worst utensil in the history of mankind. Chopsticks are something that this is where it's like, hey, we're trying to build this precision engineered piece of technology. So you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna use these two little sticks, like these two little like little pokey sticks to try to like work our way, like try to try to create this amazing technology as opposed to using like a drill and like a, a wrench and like every piece of modern technology tools you've ever seen. Now, literally like using the chopsticks to come is just like, oh, just like, let's, let's create a computer using nothing but just like a little metal stick and let's just poke it until it works. No, not a thing. Chopsticks, extremely overrated, most overrated, overrated utensil in the history of mankind. Don't add me. And this is coming from a person who's half Asian, all right? Chopsticks, extremely stupid, propaganda shit. Don't bother. All right, so here's the shrimp. Uh, this works a lot better because we can, like, I can kind of just use the tail and just dip the tail, like, hold on to the tail while I dip the rest of this thing. This works, okay. Yeah, there we go. All right, all right, all right. Chinese ancestry frowning on me? Well, you know what? My Chinese ancestry didn't know what the meaning of the word freedom is. USA, USA. If China was so desperate to be uh, part of my heritage, then why, may I ask you, did none of my Chan Chinese ancestors own any guns? Hmm. Not very American of them, was it? Not a good look. Make my fingers wet? I mean, this this is easy, actually. I can just hold on to the tail and just, like, dip the... Uh, dip the shrimp into, like, the wet stuff and then just, like, drop into the dry stuff and just, like... This is easy, because then I can just, like, coat it in the dry stuff like so, right? Okay, okay. If only the uh, carrots had a tail, if only the, uh, the sweet potatoes had a tail, that would have been a hell of a lot easier. All right, there we go, there we go, there we go. All right, yeah. Which one do we cook first, chat? Do we cook the shrimp, the sweet potatoes, or the carrots first? I think you guys said carrots earlier, right? Like, I guess I prepped all of them first, but I suppose everybody was saying I should do the carrots. So, okay, we'll do the carrots first. Hell yeah, brothers. I can tell you this, my ancestors are American. My ancestors before that, fuck them. They don't exist as far as I'm concerned. I'm nothing but purebred, red blood in America. All my ancestors have owned guns, and anybody before that ain't my ancestor. They ain't real Americans. They were just communists. No, sir. I'm nothing but pure-blooded, Midwestern, Christian values American. Yes, sir. Hell yeah, brothers. Imagine living in a country that isn't the United States. Disgusting. Okay, there we go. Uh, I mean, those are sort of coated, right? Sort of. Will these come out well in the air fryer? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, sure, sure they will. Okay, cool. Oh my, I've got this entire thing. Oh, I, I've been conveniently avoiding this really strong drink this entire time. Let's just do it. Whew. Whew. Mm. All right, you're Dutch. So what you're saying is you're a communist and you can't be trusted. That makes sense. Okay, I can see that. Is this done? Is this... I, I'm just gonna fucking yolo this. Is it preheated now? Probably. Fuck it. Whatever, dude. Carrots are going in. Didn't make any beeping noises, but I'm just gonna assume it's ready to go. Um, people are saying, like, oh my god, it's gonna spill through or something, or it's gonna, like, leak through. Yeah, maybe, but... It's tempura, so... It's just gonna... Oh, a lot of this isn't covered at all in tempura stuff. Eh, whatever, it's fine. I'm just gonna stack these in here. Fuck it, dude. I've I've cooked fries in here. It works fine. 
I've cooked uh, raw shrimp in here before. I mean, hell, we cooked the, uh, the we cooked the lobster in here. It was fine. It'll be fine, dude. Don't stack. I'm stacking. Fuck it, dude. We stacked the shit out of that. All right. Do the thing. Cool. My, the problem with my air fryer is it's pathetically small. It's small to the point where, like, even all those carrots right there, I couldn't realistically put them into that little tray without stacking them at all. So, uh, they're stacked. It's gonna happen. Whatever, dude. I'm gonna take a piss, boys. I've drank a lot of vodka Sprite at this point, so... Let me go release some of this. And, uh, in the meantime... Listen to the gospel of Joel. There you go, let me give Joel the mic here. There you go, bud. Let, uh, listen to his gospel, boys. He knows all. Alright, buddy. Did you tell him all the secrets? Yeah, you did. Alright, I get it, bud. I get it, bud. There's a lot of juicy fish things to share. A lot of juicy fish facts. I know, I know. Oh, 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 come on. Let go, Joel. There you go, buddy. Alright. Okay, now how long am I actually supposed to put these in the air fryer? I've had them in there for now for. I, I set the timer at like 12 minutes, but how, what's the actual time supposed to be? Is just batter, Joel? No, 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 no. I made sure they keep them out of the, the batter. Gucci. Uh, so shrimp tempura takes 8 minutes, root vegetables take 10. Alright, that's a root vegetable. We're gonna keep that in longer than... Yeah, no. We're gonna keep that in a little bit longer, because we definitely made those carrot slices a little bit thick. Um, that should be fine. Okay, cool. So, we got this... I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this shrimp again. I feel like this shrimp could definitely be a little bit better battered. Hold on, wait a minute. Let me just get this in here nice and... Nice and battered up. Alright, there we go. Good things tonight. Like, if anything, like, the, if, if I think of shrimp, like, if, if I think of tempura in general, generally speaking, the, the thing I think of most is, like, shrimp tempura. That's, like, the most, like, standard, basic bitch tempura that exists, I would say. So, we're gonna just make sure that this one's, like, extra battered, because if there's anything that needs to be, like... If there's anything I, like, I, I absolutely want to nail, it's specifically the shrimp tempura. That's the thing that needs to be the best overall. Iron Chef Dally at work? Yeah, yeah, exactly, dude. The triple battering of the shrimp tempura? This is after years of experience telling me what to do here. I know exactly what I'm doing, dude. Exactly what I'm doing. Now, this uh, final shrimp right here has, there's a lot of just like leftover kind of like goop in what's supposed to be the dry bowl right here. Oh, 
We're just gonna take this sort of moist goop. Here's the last shrimp we haven't battered yet. We're just gonna cover this one in a lot of just somewhat moist, not dry, not really wet, just sort of goop in general and assume that this is gonna be delicious. Oh yeah, oh yeah, okay. That, my boys, is gonna be tasty. <laughs> Honestly, man, it might be pretty good. Oh, oh, it's kind of sticking to the board a bit there. Yeah, there we go. There we go. All right, cool. Looks like air fryer drywall. It's going to be delicious drywall, so I'm not too worried about it. In fact, we have more of, this, more of this extra shit. We're going to add this more like onto the sweet potato. Fuck it, dude. Either that or it goes to waste. Wouldn't want that, would we? Oh, yeah. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Look, it's just like flour and mayo and water. Like, what could what what's bad about adding more to this? Come on, let's not get ourselves here. There's no downsides to this. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, good, perfect. All right, and uh, let's move on to the final thing we're making tonight, which is teriyaki chicken. Ooh. We finally actually get to turn on our stove, which is something we haven't done. It's actually probably a record amount of time we've done a cooking stream where we haven't used the stove yet, but it would seem it is in fact done. Mm. All right, let, me draw, let me clean this bowl out because uh, we've got to be extra hygienic since we're, we stress being nice and clean and hygienic on this cooking stream, of course. disposal working overtime tonight. All right. So the final recipe, let me link it in chat right here, is going to be uh, teriyaki chicken. Now, not only is it teriyaki chicken, it is, according to this recipe, the best ever teriyaki chicken. I shit you not. The best ever. Literally, the, the recipe to make a teriyaki chicken recipe better than anybody has, in human history has ever tasted if they haven't eaten this recipe this is going to be the one the best i promise i promise you folks the best literally the best all of our finest people have been working on this teriyaki recipe it's the best i promise okay good uh what could possibly go wrong yeah exactly dude all right so let's uh transfer these to the the plate over here because these need to be ready for it later. Hey, what's up, uh, Iruki coming up with the gifted tier one sub? Oh, shit. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Your sub will go directly to the Hot Pockets, Doritos, and Best Teriyaki Chicken Fund. Any Anybody in the history of humanity has ever tried. Thank you, sir. <laughs> oh, my. This one's a particularly cum covered one right there. All right. Let's uh, clean this one off and uh, prepare for the. Uh, the teriyaki. Now, thankfully, this one should be relatively straightforward. I think this one, for the most part, is you cook chicken on a skillet, and then you eventually cover it in teriyaki sauce, and then you mix those two together, cook those for a bit, and then boom, you have chicken teriyaki. I would assume that this one will be relatively easy to make, but then again, I also thought the rabbit last week would be relatively easy to make, and I was very wrong about that, so we're going to find out just how true that is. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Stop? What? What am I stopping? What? We good? Why am I stopping? What are we stopping at? Scam train? What? People donating bits? Not stop donating bits. Bits are dumb. I mean, I'll take. Don't keep donating bits. I I should tell you to not donate bits. Thank you, boys. All these bits will go directly to the professional cook fund. Okay. Um. All right. Teriyaki chicken. Cut the chicken into one inch pieces and salt and pepper. I can do that. Shit. All right. We got some chicken breast, okay. Now, so, when I talked about earlier, like, what we were doing for this entire recipe, I talked about how basically what we're doing is making a, what you would call a stereotypical, basic bitch, white person, Japanese restaurant meal. So if you go to the Japanese restaurant and you order, like, I'd like one of your boats, please, and, like, the Japanese chefs roll their eyes at you and they're like, okay, 
they make you like on like, like on the little fancy boat that they serve you. It's California rolls, check. All right, tempura, work in progress, but sort of check, right? And then the last thing they put on that boat is teriyaki chicken, right? Like the basic bitch Japanese dish where it's just like, well, it's just chicken, but we put some teriyaki sauce on it. That is what we're making last. Huh. So here would be said chicken that we're making into teriyaki. Okay. We'll just peel off the cum layer there. All right. Uh, uh, you're sitting on my trash can, chat. All right, well, let me just sort of slide you in there. Oy, oy. Okay. You're good. All right. Raw chicken on my tripod. Okay, cool. Uh, so it's supposed to, we're supposed to cut this in like the one... Well, it's one inch pieces and salt and pepper. Hmm. I'm going to salt and pepper this first and then cut it, I think. Nah, let's cut it first. Okay, fine. Alright, let's just... Oh yeah, alright. Just become a salmonella enjoyer, salmonella, whatever. Let's just do it. Alright. Oh, hold on. How's Chad telling me to do this? Like, like this way with the... Okay, there you go. Alright, okay, there we go, there we go. Now, when I imagine teriyaki chicken, I imagine in like, kind of... Half-inch cubes, that's what I imagine, like a Japanese restaurant on their little magical boat thing. So I'm trying to cut these into slices, into pieces, that what I would imagine, like, oh yeah, this is what I'd eat on a Japanese sushi boat, Japanese restaurant boats, whatever. That seems about right, right here. Okay, okay. It's worse than what I did the rabbit? I'm sorry, dude, but if you think this is the worse than the rabbit, you need to... Oh, fuck. I was gonna say, you need to rewatch that stream, but you can't, but fuck, but... <laughs> the rabbit was much more gruesome than this, I promise. This is easy, right? Like, there's no bones on this. There's no, there's no like, carcass that is in the shape of a chicken on this. This is, like, relatively humane, I feel like. I don't, I'm not disturbed at all. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I'm not a person who gets squeamish at, like, the sight of dead animals or at the sight of, like, you know, animal carcasses. But I will admit that, like, last week's stream was, like, a little bit, like, mm, this is a little disturbing. This is a little weird. Um, this is fine, right? This is just me chopping chicken into, like, chunks. I can do this without, like, thinking like, hmm, am I the bad guy? Am I the baddies? <laughs> am I the evil person in nature? All right, cool, cool. All right, so heat olive oil in a wok or skillet over medium high heat and add the chicken. Cook until no longer, did I? Ah, fuck, I should have heated up the skillet first. God damn it, okay. Should have done that first, but I didn't because I'm not smart. All right, let's do that now. I'm gonna have to show you guys the montage of like the the, the the disaster that my kitchen is at this point because like just like every other stream my kitchen's a fucking disaster and we're not even done yet. Literally, I end up spending like an hour after the stream. Every cooking stream is over, just cleaning my kitchen to the point where it's in a state where it's not completely disgusting, just to the point where it's like kind of disgusting instead. All right. Ooh, the uh, first round of tempura is almost done, by the way. Boggers. Medium high heat, it says. Okay. You soap? I did. I did. Don't worry. How's the stuff in the air fryer doing? Well, it's just about done, so we're about to find out. This cooking stream, by the way, is four hours in. Can you imagine if you went to a Japanese restaurant and you ordered like a boat, and they'd be like, "Okay, that'll be like four hours until your 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 dinner's ready." Well, that would be this stream. All right. So that was the beep from my air fryer. So let's uh, let's find out. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, well, hmm. I mean, it looks edible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, try one. I mean, it's gonna be really hot right now. I can't try one yet, but. Let's go ahead and dump this out onto the Tupperware over here. We will try one soon, TM, but for now... Okay, it's sticking. Okay, hold on, wait a minute. 
Let's use a spatula to get this out, I guess. Look, alright, I wasn't expecting, like, air fryer tempura to be good as the real thing, but... I will admit, this one probably would take some trial and error. Maybe the first time around is never going to be as good as, like, the third time or something. Um, hmm. Let's, where, where do I put you, chat? Let's put, it, put you over here. Uh, okay. I will try this when it cools off, I promise. But at least for now, let's just take this out of here. Oi. I will go ahead and say that compared to the California roll, maybe we didn't nail this one quite as hard. Oh, that's very stuck to the bottom. <laughs> okay. Ah, <laughs> uh, well. <laughs> Carrot tempura, everybody. Look how delicious that looks. Yummy. <laughs> this is actually the worst looking one. I promise the rest of them actually don't look quite this bad, but... I mean, could I have done better? Mm, maybe. <laughs> but, okay, okay, hold on, wait a minute. Uh, let me show you, before you make fun of me too hard, let me show you the rest of them. The rest of them look like okay, at least. Like, okay, I'll admit, does that look like anything like tempura I'd have at a restaurant, and like Japanese restaurant? Uh, maybe. <laughs> uh, okay, let's, let's hope that maybe the shrimp will go better, right? <laughs> Wait, you're telling me that maybe, maybe using an air fryer tempura is not the best idea in the world? Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. All right, let's 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 add the shrimp. No, you know what? No, we'll do the shrimp last. Let, let's do the let's do the sweet potato. Sweet potato's definitely the play, right? Yeah. Come on, computer. Now, just like the, uh, the carrots, I don't think I'll be able to do this without stacking these a little bit. So um, for those that were saying don't stack, yeah, that's definitely gonna be a thing. But uh, I'm way too impatient to do these like in different batches and different rounds. So we're stacking them and hoping for the best. Uh, oh yeah, like some of this tempura is definitely just coming, kind of straight up just coming off here. Oh, it's coming, all right. A lot of cum. Um, oh. Oh, uh, come on, baby. Just kind of, I'm trying to, oh, no. Okay, I just need a proper coating here, please. Just, oh. Uh, uh, okay, it's fine. We're going to stack this on top, and it's going to be fine, boys. That's looking good, right? I mean... <laughs> Okay, it's good to go. Let's do it. All right, cool. All right, start that up. Yes. Okay, there we go. We'll clean this plate as well. You know, in theory, we're still going to have a decent looking like little meal at the end of this. I promise, boys. I promise. The California rolls, at least. You know, if everything else tonight fails spectacularly, at least the California rolls went okay. At least I can be, I, I can hang my head like high on that, knowing like the California rolls were delicious. All right. Um, so we're supposed to cut the... Okay, I think the skillet's hot by now, right? Can you see the skillet? You can. Good. Okay. Uh, we're supposed to add some mystery amount of olive oil. I'm just going to kind of just add some olive oil. All right. And then let there be chicken. Ah, yes. I think I just need to brown the chicken. I don't actually have to fully cook it because I think we'll eventually just fully cook it in the teriyaki sauce. So let's just get this nice and browned and get some color as uh, some food snobs would say. All 
All right. Now, as that's cooking, let's uh, do the rest of the teriyaki recipe, shall we? Okay, okay. Oh, my sister's... Okay, I think the carrot teriyaki or the carrot tempura is officially ready to try. Um... Looks good. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's edible. <laughs> well, look, I've put worse food into my mouth. Let's put it that way. The chat GPT cooking stream was worse. It's not bad. It's just kind of bad. Okay. Um, cover that up so it doesn't get cold, of course. All right. Now, what are we supposed to do in the meantime? In a small bowl, combine soy sauce, brown... All right, let's do the rest of the uh, teriyaki. Small bowl, like this. Uh, combine the soy sauce, brown sugar, blah, 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 blah. Okay, hold on, wait a minute, hold on, wait a minute. Soy sauce and brown sugar. So we need um, half a cup of soy sauce. Okay. Did I buy a new like measuring cup? Yes, I did, but I'm too lazy to take it out of the packaging, so we're gonna use the old ghetto one. Um, of course, this is the Walmart cooking stream, so we got the grade value soy sauce, obviously. Uh, the fuck do you open this? It doesn't have like the typical, like here's where you open it sort of perforation. All right, well, scissors it is. Great value, yes sir. I mean, I'm a, like, look, I'll, I'm gonna keep it a hundo with you boys. Is great value like this highest quality, most authentic brand in the world? No, obviously not, but if you're looking for like the best bang for your buck, I'm gonna keep it real. Great value is like 90% as good as like the real deal. Great value, if, you want, if, you're, if you're fine with like having 90% as good as the real thing, but you pay half the amount. And also, dude, great value. It's pretty fucking best, I'm not gonna lie. Fuck the haters. Walmart isn't as bad as you might think. Let's, uh, can you see the, the, the skillet? Good, we're gonna flip the, uh, the chicken here. It's getting nice and brown. Honestly, dude, look, Walmart, does it have its uh, downsides? Yes, absolutely. Is it filled with absolute white trash, the scum of humanity? Yeah, kinda. But uh, there's no denying that for the prices you pay there, versus like the quality of ingredients that you get, it's like it's not that bad. Which is probably why Walmart's trying to take over the universe, and probably why uh, every single mom and pop shop in existence in the United States is going out of business. So like, I shouldn't really be trying to show for Walmart because like in reality. They are an evil corporation that, in reality, is probably ruining the country, but, uh... For the purposes of this meme stream, I'm not gonna lie. They're kinda getting the job done just fine. I'm just gonna say it. The, <laughs> maybe the tempura, not ideal, but that's mostly my own fault for picking an air fryer recipe instead of a, uh... an actual frying tempura recipe, so... Not Walmart's fault. Here in Europe, if you ever visit the United States, I'll tell you this. Just go to Walmart for the experience. Just go there not because it's a great store, but just go there because I'm pretty sure there's nothing in Europe that even resembles what Walmart is. Imagine, like, you go into a store where, like, anything you wanted to buy, literally just in existence, is there. That That's Walmart. The fact that this stream ended up being one where, like, it's not me memeing about how, like, I couldn't find the real ingredients, so I'm choosing meme ingredients, but actually a stream where it's just, like, God damn, look at what I can actually cook from Walmart stuff is kind of amazing, not gonna lie. 
Walmart's not just a store, it's a lifestyle. I mean, legitimately, like, look, I, once again, I'm not trying to show for Walmart. I'm just kind of like speaking matter of factly. If the only store you ever shopped at ever again in your entire life was Walmart, you could get by. It, it's actually insane, like how ridiculously diverse the stuff that they have is. Half is. Is it the highest quality in the world? No, but like, can you make an entire sushi dinner from Walmart ingredients if you have to? Like, you actually can, which is kind of like amazing. That being said, I do actually want to try future iterations of this type of stream, but with different cuisines. Like, maybe not Japanese, but like... I'd love to try like the national dishes of like Sweden or something and see if like Swedish dishes could be made using Walmart ingredients. Because I, I will say like Japanese food is like maybe a little bit more mainstream than something like Swedish or something. So I, I'd love to see if like, I don't, I, don't, shit, I don't even know what Swedish food, like Swedish national dishes are, but I'd love to see if I could cook the sweetest national dish from Walmart ingredients. I feel like that might be a little bit harder. Swedish quote, quote food. Yeah, Swedish maybe like, I don't know, calories in the form of something that you can barely put in your mouth without vomiting. Anyways, uh, let's see. So what are we supposed to add to this? Uh, we're supposed to be making cherry teriyaki chicken, by the way. Have I been to Ikea? In theory, I've been to Ikea, but it's been a long ass time, dude. I think it was the last time I went to Ikea. was like, I was a kid. All right, so soy sauce. We said half a cup. Okay. Soy sauce. Okay, brown mystery goo, I can do that. And then fourth a cup of brown sugar, I got that. What fuck's my fourth cup? Oh, here it is. You all remember for this brown sugar from previous streams, like, uh, oy, come on, like the first camping stream is, I use this for the last, for the Easter stream, what did I use this for? Mm, not the rabbit. Not the deviled eggs. The fuck did I use? Oh, I use this for the uh, the carrot cake muffins. That's right. The f the third time we've had to use our brown sugar. Okay. Uh, fourth cup. Okay. Okay. What's up, crazy fist? Hope the food is edible. I mean, I I'll tell you this: the California roll, absolutely edible. The California roll. Even if the other two dishes tonight are a disaster, the California roll is shockingly tasty. So, I'm already kind of proud of myself that I nailed that part. So, if the rest sucks, at least we've got that to hang our head on. But, uh, I do hope the teriyaki chicken is good. I feel like the teriyaki chicken is kind of a gimme here. I feel like it's kind of hard to fuck this up. I'll turn off the heel now because I think it's browned already. Um, also, probably have to cut that chicken up a little more. I feel like it's not really quite chopped enough, but, uh... All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Um, what else do we add in here? So we added the brown sugar. Okay. Uh, apple vinegar, apple cider. Biz <laughs> I am a little drunk. Apple cider, apple, apple cider vinegar. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we need. A tablespoon of that. Chat, be proud of me. I bought an entire giant like jug of apple cider vinegar just for one tablespoon of this in this entire recipe. So what the fuck am I gonna do with the rest of this? I don't know, but I'm gonna use one tablespoon of it for this. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Drink it, sir. It's already been established that it requires a lot of subs. I think we've had enough shots of vinegar tonight. Thank you very much. I'm glad I kind of didn't barf my brains out earlier from that. I was a little bit worried, like, is this stream just going to be ending after an hour? But no, we're good. Um, okay, so we got that. Cool. It's good for me. Well, you say that, but didn't Zakir say earlier, like, people use that for, like, purging? I'm not really into that. Oh, shit, we need garlic and, like, need garlic cloves. Fuck! Okay, how much garlic? Uh... Uh, one garlic clove minced. Everybody knows as soon as you see one garlic clove, that actually means in reality two. Whenever you, like a recipe asks for garlic, you add at least two times the amount of garlic that it actually asks for. So let's do that real quick. 
Probably should have chopped that up in advance, but we didn't, but it's okay. Hold on. Oh. I think I remember this last week, like right when we did the uh, the Easter cooking stream, we had to speed run like chopping up the, like, the end because we realized that the stream was already going for four hours and it's been way too long already and we need to hurry up and finish this shit before people get tired and go to bed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Cheese grate the clove? Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, tempting, but I think we will actually just cut it up the legit way. Ooh, that's the, uh, the sound of the sweet potato tempura finishing. Okay. Or is it? Let's see. Uh, we're gonna go say that needs more time. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Let's do some garlic. Beautiful. <laughs> Hey, you know what? It just needs like about eight more minutes in the air fryer, and that's gonna be amazing. I promise. <laughs> when I read this this recipe originally on like this little website, like this uh, this small nice Asian lazy lady was basically guaranteeing like, oh, don't worry, this tempura will be great. Yeah, I promise you, dude. Like air fryer tempura, yeah, you can totally make it work. It's gonna be fine. I promise. I'm a sweet Asian lady who knows exactly what she's doing. I was like, well, shit. Who who am I to deny her? Who am I, who am I to doubt her? So, I mean, like, look, is this tempura not going quite as well as she described it would go so far? Maybe, but I, you know what? What a liar, dude. What a fucking <laughs> Weasley little liar, uh, Maybe dude. a bit of a Weasley liar, but uh, I've got faith in the shrimp, okay? A lot of cum on there. How could that be bad, right? All right. Ugh! Absolutely love your air fryer, but the secret is never try to actually fry anything in it. I mean, I'll be honest with you, like stuff like um, when I did the uh, air fryer chicken wings, that went amazingly, dude. Chicken wings obviously being something normally you would just like fry. So when we did like wings, but we did the air fryer version, it was great. To me, like it was just as good as the, the fried version and better macros and just as flavorful and just as crunchy and crispy. So like I, I would argue that like air fryer is sometimes able to replicate the kind of like the frying experience without the downsides of frying in oil but all right so far at least up to this point is tempura as good when you use it in the air fryer instead of deep frying i mean <laughs> no comments but i'll tell you this it's guaranteed to at least be slightly better for you, which all you uh, all you fitness chads in the chat can at least appreciate, right? Let's put it this way. I'm, I'm a gains enjoyer, all right? I'm a person who tries his best to stay in relatively decent shape and relatively decent looking, and if the air fryer tempura is a little bit nasty, if it means that at the very least I can cut out, like, 400 calories out of my daily intake, then you know what? Honestly, man, I'm willing to call that worth it. I know it looks nasty, but like, I, I know I mean it up earlier, but in reality, like the carrot tempura, it was fine. Was it like as good as real, like actual deep fried tempura? No, let's not kid ourselves here. But like, was it like perfectly like fine? Honestly, yeah, I could eat all of it. It was fine. I know I'm coping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, copium in the chat, sure, but like, I was curious to see if it, it was <laughs> how similar it would be to the real thing. Was it very similar to the real thing? I guess not, but was it something I could eat and call good enough and cope and tell myself that like, yeah, it's basically tempura. Yeah, kind of, whatever. Just like, <laughs> you know, the more, you know, I feel like this is a losing battle. The more I talk here and the more I try to justify this and the more I cope here, the worse it sounds. So like, you know what, just whatever, dude. Fuck y'all, y'all. It was fine. Delicious, I promise. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Add that to the mixture there. Okay, so that was just the soy sauce and the vinegar, I guess. Okay. Sure. All 
All right, what's next? Um, garlic, sesame oil. Okay, sesame oil. Okay, this is the only, only scenario in which I was willing to make a compromise here. I'll be honest. Sesame oil, like when I went to Walmart today, I, I saw it, and for like a giant, like basically like this sized container of sesame oil, it was like 12 bucks, and I saw it and I was like, I will never use sesame oil ever again, ever in my life. So like, can I replace it with anything? So I went on Google and said like, well, you could just use like light olive oil for it instead. So I was like, eh, I'm just gonna get light olive oil. So that's what I bought for two bucks. Flip the chicken, now it's Gucci. I turned off the uh, the heat, so it's just sitting there in the skillet without uh, any heat on it, so we're Gucci. So we're just gonna use light olive oil in place of sesame oil. Yes, I know all the purists in chat are gonna be like, no, it's not the same, no, it's not as good, oh, it's completely different, blah, 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 blah. but uh, yeah, I don't really give a shit, whatever, dude. Um, we're gonna be using literally one teaspoon of, of, of uh, olive oil instead of sesame oil. One teaspoon, might I add. Hence why I didn't really want to get the entire container that cost me 12 bucks. That had been kind of a lot. Teaspoon. Where the fuck's my teaspoon? Uh, uh, that's a half a teaspoon. Eh, whatever, fuck it. Close enough. Uh, yeah. Hey, what's up? Azuki coming in hot with the tier 1 sub now for 21 months. That was a lot of months, dude. God damn, dude. You say, uh, 21 years scotch here? Ooh, shit. Have I ever had a scotch that's 21 years old? I don't think I've had. I think the oldest scotch I've ever had is probably Lagavulin in 16, right? I think so. I think so. Well, one day, your sub will go directly to the Hot Pockets, Doritos, and 21-year-old scotch fund. Not today, but I appreciate it nonetheless, bud. Thanks for hanging out. Glad you're enjoying this absolute shit show. Hopefully, I... I, I I will admit this cooking stream is going on much longer than normal cooking streams. I kind of suspected before I started the stream this would take a lot longer than normal ones just because I admittedly put a lot on my plate here, but hopefully you guys are having fun. Hopefully enough people are still alive to the point where you guys are enjoying this. I don't know, dude. Um, all right, we need um, ginger. What fuck's my ginger? Oh, there it is. All right, so I have never bought raw ginger in my life before. And to be honest, I'm not really someone who likes ginger. Like when it's added to certain dishes, like as a mixed in ingredient, it's fine. But like something that's just on its own, when it's like raw ginger that you would eat like at a sushi restaurant where they give you like raw ginger on the side, never been my thing. So I bought the world's most absolutely pathetic, world's most smallest completely like stubbiest ginger stalk you've ever seen in your goddamn life and uh we're gonna use this because i was gonna get like the little thing like of like the the sliced ginger that you use, like see with like sushi stuff but like i thought like am i ever gonna use this no so we're just gonna use like this little tiny little stalk of ginger peel it with a spoon actually well we could probably just peel it with like a regular peeler right i got one of those Oh. Uh, here. Any garfers in the chat? Alright, so let's peel off the skin, like the outer skin first, right? Oh, disgusting. I am just using this ginger solely for this teriyaki. I'm not going to use this at all for the sushi, because I fucking hate ginger just when it's raw and dumb and disgusting, so... We're just going to use this in this, like, most rawest, dumbest nastiest form, all right? Spoon's the best? Well, I'm not using a spoon. Whatever, dude. Yeah, streamer, you gotta grate your carrots, otherwise you're gonna be gross and nasty and disgusting. Oh, except it tastes the exact same. Fucking same. I'm not, I'm not buying into this bullshit again. What a fucking liar, dude. Weasley little liar, dude. All right, you know what? I just need a grater. Fuck it, dude. Imagine doing literally anything besides this. There's probably nine different techniques I could what use. Like, oh, here's how you liar, really grate your, here's how you really get shredded ginger, whatever ginger. Liar, like, dude. It's literally half a teaspoon of this shit. I can already tell you that's too much, right? Okay, this, 
A lot of this might be sticking to the grater right now, but don't worry, it's fine. Okay, okay. Come on, come on. Oh. No one saw that. Okay, we're good. This is all just like sticking to the side of the grater. Come on, man. <laughs> okay. Does this represent half a teaspoon? I'm going to say yes. Okay. Cool. Bullet, bullet, Is half of that on the floor bullet. right now? Maybe. But, ooh, that's the air fry and it's done. Okay. Boys, are we, ready, are we ready to view the absolute masterpiece that is the sweet potato tempura in the air fryer? It's like a fourth of a cup. Well, too late now. Uh, <laughs> well, I mean, uh, that looks like something. Let's add these to the carrots. <laughs> God, these carrots look so look so sad. Okay, that's fine. It's 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 fine. This is fine. This is totally fine. Okay. I'm going to add this to the bin so we can try this for later when we plate it up, of course. All right. Gordon Ramsay would indeed be proud, dude. I mean, I can I can tell you this. It's definitely not raw. Oh, they're cooked, all right. They're very cooked. Okay, I can fix this. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> come on, come on. Ooh, oh, there they come. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, uh, well. Hmm. Can I get them all of them? Is that all of them? Oh. <laughs> come on, buddy. Come on, work with me here. I'm not looking to burn my fingers off. Oh, yay. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right, there we go. Easy. Let me flip this over in a way that makes it look sort of appetizing. Here's the underside. Delicious looking, of course. <laughs> well, I mean, okay, look. I'm pretty sure it's going to taste better than it looks. <laughs> That's, uh, well, <laughs> look, like I said, like, unironically, I think that'll taste better than it looks. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna seal this up for later, and we will eat this as a part of the entire dish. Um, that looks, let's add the, let's do the shrimp tempura, shall we? Okay, fuck it. All right, cool. Um, some of the tempura is sticking to the bottom of the dish. That's fine. All right, we're adding the shrimp, okay? The shrimp is sure to be the best of the bunch, I think, right? Room temperature shrimp. Well, we're killing all the, 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 the poison with the, the air fryer, so it's fine. Now the good news is I don't have enough shrimp to the point where I have to stack it, so that's good, right? Now we're just gonna like have unstacked shrimp tempura. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Start. Mm, take it down three fifty. Okay, it'll be fine. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. It's gonna be fine, I promise. Like of all the of all the tempura, we we're, we're saving the best for last, obviously. Ooh. Okay, okay. 
Now, anyways, uh, garlic, sesame oil, ginger, did that in a separate small bowl, whisk the, whisk the water and cornstarch. <sighs> okay. Got so many fucking steps and instructions, dude. Okay, small bowl for water and cornstarch. Now, cornstarch. I'm going to go and admit to you boys, okay, so I'm, I'm sorry that I'm going to betray your trust like this, but I actually did end up buying some of these ingredients not from Walmart. Specifically, I'm talking about the cornstarch. Of all the ingredients that you would think are pretty standard and typical, like, oh yeah, well that one's a pretty easy one to find, right? Versus stuff like, you know, the, the sushi rice, or rice vinegar, or Q pie mayo, or... Yeah, I know, I know. I, I, any of the other weird Japanese shit. Walmart had all of it. You know what the one they were out of was? They were out of motherfucking cornstarch. The entire store didn't have a single thing of cornstarch in the entire store. So I was forced to go to a different grocery store today after Walmart just to buy motherfucking cornstarch. So, okay. For those that have made it this long in the stream, I'll admit, did, did the title of the stream lie? It did. I did not buy the cornstarch from Walmart. I'm sorry. I bought everything else, like the cum mayo and the the ginger and the, fuck, I don't know, the disgusting apple cider vinegar shot. Yeah, did, it, did, did that come from Walmart? It did, but the, the fucking cornstarch, they were, okay, anyways, that blew my mind. They were completely out of that, but whatever, dude, let's uh, do that. How much are we doing here? Um, you've been lied to? I know, I know, but you're still watching, so it's all good. Fourth cup, okay. Uh, so we're supposed to do a fourth cup of water plus one tablespoon of cornstarch, huh? I'm supposed to make that weird slurry mix of whatever the fuck that recipe is called, like with the thing that's like the, the non-Newtonian fluid. One tablespoon. Okay. Uh, I'd like to point out the other grocery store I went to had this just this was the smallest portion they had of cornstarch. The fuck am I gonna do with all this cornstarch? I've never used cornstarch in any recipe in my entire fucking life, and now it's just like, yeah, I use this giant fucking box. Okay, one tablespoon of this otherwise three pound box of cornstarch. Very cool. Lasts fucking forever. I mean, I, I know cornstarch doesn't, like, doesn't go bad, but like, I. I'm not even kidding when I say I've never used cornstarch for any food recipe in my entire life. I mean, when I say, like, for example, like the baking soda box that I used has lasted me since, like, since college, which was like 12 years ago. I'm not kidding. It was 12 years ago, and I'm still using the same baking soda. So, I mean, I guess it's going to be the same thing for this, this cornstarch. I guess I'll be using this for the next, like, 12 years or something. So, hopefully I got my money's worth, I guess. Come on. Is this a tablespoon? Probably. Whatever. Okay. Alright, well, I'll see you in 12 years, I guess. Okay. Gotta mix it well, watch out for lumps. Nothing worse than lumpy batter, right? Okay. Yeah. All right, so we are supposed to sauce the skillet, bring to a boil. Wait, what? Add the corn to wait, wait. Small bowl, come on, the soy sauce. Blah, 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 blah. Separate small bowl, whisk the corn starch and make a slurry. Add the corn starch to the sauce mixture and whisk. What the fuck? Seriously? Okay. I'm literally supposed to like mix this up first and then add this to the mixture I just made in a larger bowl and then mix this in. Okay. And like, by the way, we've got this chicken that's just chilling on the skillet this entire time that hasn't been doing jack shit that we'll probably have to like... I, I think I'm gonna just chop up, the, chop up the chicken a little bit more because I think the chicken is, uh... a little too... coarse at the moment, if that makes sense. Okay. I mean, it kind of smells like teriyaki. Okay, okay. Is there anything else that I need to add here? I feel like it's not enough. Did the brown sugar, apple cider vinegar, garlic cloves, teaspoon of ginger, water. Yeah, okay. All right. There's no way I'm doing that correctly. I'm, I'm reading the recipe. I think that was everything. I'm, I'm reading. Oh, there is salt and pepper. 
Oh, that was just on like the... Oh, shit, I was definitely supposed to season the... Okay, we'll season it after we've added all this shit, whatever, dude. In fact, you know what? Let's season it now. Fuck it. I was supposed to add salt and pepper to like when I was like doing the uh, the chicken. We're doing it now. Close enough. Whatever, dude. Uh, uh, oh, that's kind of a lot. Okay. All right. And so what are we supposed to do here? So much salt in the soy sauce? Oh, yeah. Well, that'll be fine. I like salt. Uh, add the sauce to the skillet, bring to a boil. All right. So here's where we're going. Okay. All right. You know, here's okay. This we actually kind of nailed this. Here's why. I'll tell you why. What we're supposed to do is we're supposed to put this on the skillet first and let this start to boil and then we add the chicken to it. So while this gets up to heat, we're gonna add the chicken back on to the cutting board here. Okay. Like so, because this didn't finish cooking. This was just like browning. Did it brown? Uh, debatable. We're gonna chop this up a little bit more since I like in my mind when I imagine teriyaki chicken, it's like a little bit more fine, finely cut. I definitely probably also drop some chicken on the floor. We're gonna wash this off and call this good enough. Yep. We're gonna let's add this to the skillet. And uh, let it do its thing, alright? Alright. Yeah. I'm supposed to let it boil. Let's just put it on there. Whatever, dude. Fuck it. I'll tell you this. Does it smell good? Eh, smells okay. Alright. Smells alright. Smells like soy sauce plus a bunch of other stuff. It seems like it might be a dish that after cooked it might be decent. Alright, let's put it that way. Five second rule. Exactly, dude. Exactly. In the meantime, let's just chop up this chicken like a little bit more. Teriyaki chicken's not supposed to be like super, super finely cut, but at the same time, like these pieces feel like a little chunky. Oh! Ho! Stop. Five second roll. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's gonna get cooked. It's gonna be on the skillet again, so it's fine. Okay. floor chicken. Hey, you know what? It's got extra seasoning. That's the, that's how you spin it, right? It's got uh, real world experience. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There we go. There we go. And that seems like probably fine enough as is. Okay. Cool. Hopefully this is all coming together halfway <laughs> decently. Now, we got the chicken ready to go. We got the sauce that is now Gotta wait. I, I should have been heating this up like the skillet in advance. By the way, the uh, the shrimp. I probably should. This this was, this was like a twenty minute timer. This stuff like doesn't need to be on that the entire time. I have curiosity. I wasn't looking. I mean, not bad if I'm being honest. That looks okay. Let's keep it going, of course. But uh, I okay. That looks. Actually... I told you the chicken, the, the shrimp tempura was gonna be the best one, right? That one's looking not terrible. Let's put it that way, boys. That one's looking like it might actually have some promise. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, don't get me salved off floor. Come on, you know that one actually... That, that one looked okay. It looked okay. Come on, come on. Alright, chat. Let's, let's, uh... Let's... <laughs> What's up, Dars? I'm glad you're enjoying, dude. These cooking streams are always... They always get way too out of hand. They've always... They always get much more spicy than I, like, figuratively speaking, than I intend them to be, but you know what? They are a lot of fun. I'll give you that, dude. I'm glad you're enjoying. Oh, we're waiting for this teriyaki sauce to, uh, oh, to heat up and to boil. I guess it's got to start boiling, like, start bubbling, so until then, we're just waiting. Dally's future wife is watching the stream. <laughs> I doubt it, but hey, you know what? If you're an if you're an attractive single in my area, you never know, dude. Never know. All three uh, women that live in North Central Indiana, 
hey, you know what? I can make a very mediocre Japanese feast. Ladies? Ladies? Ooh, look at that. Okay, hold on, wait a minute. Okay, hold on. Do I detect some bubbling? Ooh, shit. Oh shit. Okay. I think it might be just about time to add the, uh, the chicken, huh? You wish you were one of those three women. <laughs> Only good news is, Japanese food doesn't really exist in the state of Indiana, so I might be a trailblazer right here. I might be the first to ever cook this cuisine in this entire region of the country. Good news, boys. Alright, let's, uh... Ah, fuck it. Let's add the chicken. Let's do it, dude. I think it's time. I'll be very curious to see if this comes out similar to the restaurant teriyaki chicken that I've ever had in my life. But I will say this, it smells similar. Um, the garlic chunks in there seem like much more chunky than I would ever expect out of like a actual teriyaki chicken dish, but if there's giant chunks of garlic in my dish, I'm not sure I'm going to ever complain about that. So we'll see what happens here. Let's uh, mix this up, shall we? I mean, oh, whew, that smells nice. Ooh, okay, 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 okay. Right it was a, ooh, Jordy coming in. How about the uh, the raid? Thank you, sir. Am I the? Am I some fucking boomer for like only ever hosting people in my life? I've never raided someone. Does somebody like that's smarter at Twitch want to tell me what the difference between a raid and a host is? Because I've only ever hosted people. Is there something that should be more special about a raid? Should I be doing that? By the way, Jordy, LA fucking sucks, dude. I know you're in LA, and that's cool, dude, and hopefully you're having a good time, but as a person who grew up in Southern California, LA, like I said last night, is, objectively speaking, the worst city in the entire United States of America, so... While I hope you're having a good time there, at the same time, you really should move literally anywhere else, because that is a legitimately terrible city with... A shitload of traffic, a shitload of homelessness problems, really dirty, has no culture, no public transportation. 90% of the year is just filled with either droughts or there's wildfires everywhere or there's flooding everywhere or it's drizzly and shitty outside. And Should I, should I continue? You can probably tell the bitterness of a person who's growing up in Southern California. Anyways, thanks for the raid. Glad you're in, uh, hope you had a good stream, dude. Thanks for the right fucking move. Dude, I just, uh, there's a reason why I don't live in Southern California anymore. Anymore, I got so jaded by, like, growing up there for 18 years of my life. Not a fan. Not a fan. I said I was in Orange County. I did, yes. Like, born and raised in Orange County for the first 18 years of my life, yeah? Good old Laguna Niguel, yes, sir. All right, that's looking pretty good right there. Ooh, buddy. Okay, hold on. Let me. Well, let's give you a little close up of what's going on right here. This is uh, this is actually looking pretty good. Not gonna lie. I'll give you a little, a little sound preview as well. Come on, come on. All right. We're gonna unironically let that cook, and then. Uh, See how that goes, but honestly, dude, that's smelling good, I can tell you that. Oh, hold up. There we go. Actual edible food? Hey, you know what? Two for three tonight. Not bad, right? Not bad. Something, I, I will say, like, there's something about teriyaki chicken at Japanese restaurants that feels like it has, like, an extra element that this doesn't. Maybe it's like they use chicken, I, I'm using chicken breast. Maybe it's like that they use chicken thighs, so it's maybe like a little more fatty and a little bit more, I guess, <sighs> melt in your mouthy, if that makes sense. But that being said, this still smells and probably will taste amazing. 
the texture might not be completely on point. I, I maybe should I, maybe I should use chicken thighs instead, but this is still looking and smelling pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I'm saying Laguna is worse than Indiana. I mean, I'm not gonna try to argue that like Laguna Niguel and Laguna Beach and Laguna Hills is all bad. Like, there's definitely some upsides. The weather for, like, basic bitches is great. The area is relatively pretty if you're in, like, sort of sunny beachside areas. If you're a white person who wants to live the whitest person life in the existence of humanity, then it's probably pretty good, but... I don't know, man. California to me, like, Southern California especially, it's just, it's just so sterile. It's just so... It's like somebody described what the best possible life ever was, and they, they made Southern California, but they've never actually lived their life before, if that makes sense. It's fine. It's not bad, like, in reality, but it's just so... It's so nondescript. It's so blah. It's so... Devoid of any sort of real, legitimate, authentic humanity, if that makes sense. For better, or for worse. There's some. There's some. There's a good aspect of that. There's a good. There's, humanity kind of fucking sucks. And but humanity also is also kind of cool. And like you, you're missing out on both of those, for better or for worse. Like I said, Indiana is so exciting. Like honestly, man, for a person who just does nothing but play video games all day. Honestly, dude, it's pretty fucking great. I'm not gonna lie. If you're a person who's super outdoorsy, likes to go outside all the time, likes to go out into the club or whatever, and likes to, uh... I don't know, enjoy the city life and enjoy the... super diverse melting pot of America. Indiana? Yeah, probably not for you, but as a person like me who's just playing Classic WoW all day, every day, honestly, man. It's pretty fucking best, not gonna lie. You grew up in Westminster Garden Grove? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> no offense, but I, Westminster Garden Grove just brings up memories of just like... As stereotypically North Orange County boring suburb suburban hellscape as possible. I'm coping? I mean, if I was coping, man, then I, I would still live in California, but I moved away for a reason, to be honest. There's a reason why I live in, in Indiana nowadays. It's not all upsides. Obviously there's downsides, but overall, man... You couldn't pay me to move back to California at this point. All right, I think uh, I think this teriyaki chicken is probably good to go. Or if anything, we should probably turn down the heat. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn down the heat. That's what we're gonna do with this. Um, I think as far as the shrimp tempura is concerned, I think we're probably pretty close. Let's see here. Ooh, yeah. Okay, that's definitely done. We're we're let's stop that right there. Okay. I think as far as the tempura is concerned. The last one was probably the best one. Let's see here. In fact, we might have overdone this maybe a little bit, but... Let's... Uh, let me just show you what we're working with here, alright? Oh! Oh, fuck. Okay. I mean, okay, that looks fine, right? Hey, you know what? I've seen worth it. I I've seen worse in my life. Let's put it that way. I've seen worse. They didn't remain straight, as in like, you know, in this sort of linear shape that they're supposed to keep for tempura all that well, but honestly, dude, as long as they taste fine, that's all I can actually care about. You know what? Okay, we're just gonna... Oh, come on! Oh! Oh! <laughs> this is gonna be great, guys. This is gonna be great. All right. Okay. Well, it looks better than the previous ones. How about that? Is that worth something at least? Maybe, guys, team. Yeah. All right. Right back to the raw chicken board. Well, that's don't pay attention to that. Not relevant. Okay. Oh. Okay. I can tell you the shrimp definitely is cooked. I can tell you that. It's the right color, so that's good. <laughs> okay. 
Mmm. Very crunchy. Mmm. Tastes like ginger that was on the cutting board. Oh, God. All right, that's fine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is fine, dude. This is fine. Okay, cool. Um, cover that because we got to save it for the actual. We got we got to get like the, the plate presentation ready to go. Okay, we're we're just about there. This has been the longest cooking stream in the history of the stream, so I hope you guys are enjoying. Because I'll be honest, I, I saw this coming a mile away. Yet for some reason, I still thought it was a good idea to cook not one, not two, but three dishes tonight. And so. Uh, Hopefully, at least, you guys are still having fun on the approaching fifth hour of the stream. God fucking damn it. Okay. It's gonna be soggy. I, you know what? You're gonna be surprised, honestly. I think you're gonna be surprised. Let's see. Let's see. Alright. Okay. That's, uh, that's a decent landing area right there. Cool. Okay. The plate. Before we add anything to this plate. Cheers, Dad. <coughs> I hope you're having fun. I've had a lot of fun tonight. I didn't really know how the stream was going to go because there wasn't any particular gimmicks outside of like I was cooking Japanese stuff, but it's been a lot of fun. And I was pleasantly surprised at how good the California rolls came out. Maybe not so pleasantly surprised at how the tempura came out, but I'll tell you this the teriyaki chicken's smelling good, so two for three. Not bad. Not bad. Ugh. Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. First things first, let's plate up, before anything else, the tempura, all right? We'll uh, add... <laughs> I will admit, this one's of the, of the three dishes we made tonight, maybe not the best looking of them all. That'd be the sweet potatoes, the shrimp, and let's see if we can find two carrots that are at least somewhat passable looking. Um, that one, and that one. Eh, okay, uh, but let's add the teriyaki chicken, because this honestly looks pretty fucking fire. Come on, come on. Let's add this to the dish, because honestly, dude, this part looks pretty pretty fucking good. I'm not even gonna try to sugarcoat this one. That looks tasty. Okay. And then let's plate up the California roll that we made earlier tonight. There's a reason uh, There's a reason why we made the California roll first, because we kind of figured this one would keep the longest, right? As long as we put it in the refrigerator, which we did. Uh... The... Oh. Okay. For those that maybe didn't watch the first part of the stream, we actually made California rolls that looked somewhat decent. Yeah, okay. Now, normally when I have a Japanese dinner, I feel like it's the, the standard amount of California rolls is six. That's the typical California roll amount any sort of boat or a la carte dish. So there we go, we had six of that. Okay, okay, okay. The rest is for later. Looks pog. Yeah, I know, right? Like, like also the California rolls, I think I nailed. I feel pretty proud of those, if I'm being honest. I think those were the ones that by far I did the best on tonight. Although I will say the teriyaki chicken at least smells fucking amazing, dude. We're gonna have to eat them to confirm, but like, hmm. All right, all right. Let me see how this looks behind the camera right here. Let's see. Here's our Japanese dish. Plate it up, okay? Got the California rolls. Not gonna lie. Once again, I think I fucking nailed these. The teriyaki chicken. It smells really good. I can tell you that. We're gonna see. The tempura. Well... <laughs> uh, I'll be curious to see how it tastes. Looks wise, could I have done better? Mm, debatably, perhaps, yeah. But in reality, what really actually matters is the taste, right? So, okay, okay. 
Let's uh, let's set you up for for the dinner, Chad. All right. Okay. Let's take you over here. It's a little dark right now. I get that, but we're gonna fix that. Hold on one second. Okay. All right, professional lighting, of course. There we go, okay, okay. Oh, shit, okay. Well, we got the, uh, we got the sushi, of course, but I guess we're gonna have to get the, uh, the soy sauce, because we can't forget that, right? Because I gotta try the California roll with soy sauce and wasabi, of course, obviously, that's, like, mandatory. I don't really have like a dish that like traditional like Japanese soy sauce dish that you'd put like actual soy sauce plus wasabi into. So you're gonna forgive me. I'm gonna just put like just gonna use some ghetto ass like tea dish or something. Uh, we're uh, we're calling something like this right here good enough. All right, not authentic, but sue me. Okay. A little more. Oh, that's all up at the table. Okay, that's fine. And then the wasabi. Can't forget that. Okay. Let's uh, try this out, shall we? Now look, did this entire dish just take me about five hours to cook? Ugh. Oh, yes it did. Did I just use an air fryer to cook tempura for admittedly mixed results? Yes, I did. Did I make a sushi dinner that it admittedly is the most basic bitch white person dish ever? Absolutely, but I'm not gonna lie. Those factors aside, this smells fucking amazing. Let's try it out, but it's, uh, here's the wasabi. Quite literally just a tube. Okay. It's just that easy. You spend five hours, you get the sushi dish. <laughs> Look, there might be a reason why people get paid decent money to be a sushi chef at a sushi restaurant. Maybe. Possibly. Maybe. Potentially. Okay. Okay, a little more. All right, there we go. I'm a wasabi enjoyer, I will admit, so adding that extra right there. You think that's a lot. That is a, that, that is a lot, but okay. It's, it's, <laughs> let's just mix that up. It's gonna be good. Dude, I feel like legit like I'm at a Japanese restaurant right now. Like, like seeing what's in front of me, this looks legit like what I'd order off like the, I'd like one of your boats, please. I'd like your standard, basic, completely white person catered to boats of Japanese food, please. And like the Japanese guy's like, oh yeah, here you go. Here's the California roll plus teriyaki chicken plus tempura bowl. Okay, or boat, whatever. Whew, wasabi, okay. Oh. Okay, where are my chopsticks? In the fucking garbage can where they belong. All right. Now, how do I how do I eat? Like, okay, hold on, wait a minute. I, I'm just noticing the camera is like very off center. This is bothering me. Uh, better. Okay. Where is my uh, my Japanese authenticity? It's nowhere. I'm a a full self admitted white American who enjoys the most American Japanese food possible. And because of that, I'm going to take my hands, pick up this California roll, dip it in the soy sauce and wasabi, and eat it. Hmm, 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 hmm. I shit you not. Oh. 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 I 
I shit you not, chat. That that bite of California right there, the California roll, just reminds me of my childhood. Too much sauce? No, it's not. It's perfect. It's literally perfect, man. Ooh. That is so good, dude. Fuck, man. Th this reminds me why, like, sushi, like, California rolls and just sushi in general was my favorite dish as a kid. This just, this is, this brings me back to, like, my, my early teens. Ah, oh, fuck, dude. Bring, I, I'm sorry, this has nothing to do with content. This is just me wanting to try another bite of this. This is so fucking good, man. Ugh. Oh. Hmm. Um, oh. mm. If you've never had a California roll in your life, please, for the love of God, even if you don't live in a place where, like, technically your, your Japanese restaurants serve California rolls, just go to your Japanese restaurant and say, like, hey, could you make a California roll? So fucking good. Oh, oh. Oh, praise the Lord, baby Jesus. That's so good, man. I need a beer with that. I deserve one after all that. Man, I want to, like, I've got the, the Salve Dali Giga Chad beer, but the problem is, like, I promised Dr. Hoppenstein that I would I would drink it for the first time ever, like, on his, like, I, I would let him know. And I, if you're here, Doc, Dr. Hoppenstein, please let me know, because I'm down to try your beer for the first time ever tonight. Absolutely. Right now. But I, I don't. I don't, don't want to do him dirty and not try it when he's watching because I know he, he brewed that beer special for me. So I don't want to. I don't want to fuck him up. But uh, God, man, that is so good, dude. Let me just do one more. One more. Once again, this has nothing to do with content. This is just me just enjoying my childhood, man. This is so good, dude. Oh. Hmm. I gotta do this more often. Holy fuck, man. Should I just open my own Japanese restaurant? Should I just do it? I, I, I should try the rest, of course, but... Sorry, boys. I, I, I'm just... I'm, I've, I've kind of forgotten the fact that I'm streaming right now. I'm just enjoying the fact that, like... Oh, this tastes like my childhood, man. This is so good. Oh. This is so good, dude. Holy fuck. Oh. I miss my childhood, man. I just want to go back to being 12 years old. I used to say all the time as a kid, like, I didn't want to grow up, and now, now I remember why. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Let's try the rest, shall we? Let, let's try the, the, temp, uh, the, sorry, the teriyaki chicken first, because, or second, because this smells good. I'll give you that. Ooh. Oh, boys, we fucking nailed it. God, that, that is fucking delicious. Holy shit. Mm. No, okay. I will admit that being kind of drunk is a good way to make basically any food be really, really good. But like, God damn, man. It's like extra gingery and extra, just like, ah, it's really good, man. Fuck, I'm kind of drunk, so that's probably why, but it's just, oh, that's really good, dude. Full fucking beast, boy. I don't care what it takes. I don't care what it takes. Hmm. I'll admit I added a lot of ginger, which normally I'm not a fan of, but honestly, man, oh, right now, this shit just like, it's hitting different. Is this going down as the best meal we've made so far? Oh, man. You know, in a vacuum, I've made plenty of other good dishes that I, I feel like I've made to a, a decent quality and a decent overall taste, but 
when you combine the, like, the taste and quality of this dish right here, plus like the added nostalgia factor of like my childhood and like what my actual preferred food preferences are, and it's just like, oh man. This brings me back, dude. This brings me back to going, being in fifth grade and going to an Angels baseball game. It's like it's it's like it's like 5 p.m. and my parents pick me up from home and they take me to some random ass sushi restaurant in Santa Ana. And they're just like, fuck it, let's give it a shot. And it's like, what do we want to get? I don't know, let's try like the fucking generic white person boat. And they bring out the teriyaki chicken and the California roll and the tempura. And I'm drinking the Sprite, and it's just so fucking good. And like, I'm just being a child, and it's great because the angels don't suck at baseball at that time. <sighs> Fuck, man, this just brings me back, dude. This is one of the things I do miss, admittedly, about, about, about living on the West Coast. It's like, you don't get this shit in, in Indiana. Apparently, you can, because I literally bought all this shit from Walmart, but like, oh, oh man, this is nice, dude. This is nice. Wow, it was great back then. Dude, unironically, 2004, 2005, when I'm like 11, 12 years old, going to baseball games, playing WoW, living the fucking dream. It's vanilla. It's fucking a great time. <sighs> I'm watching NASCAR. Like, I know a lot of people are going to be like, lol, okay, going to NASCAR. But like, the NASCAR fucking glory days. God, man. I was white as fuck, but in such a good way, dude. Ugh. <sighs> Okay, I will admit though, this entire time I've been talking all this nostalgia, I haven't tried the tempura yet. Okay, let's try that and maybe bring ourselves down back to earth for a bit. Hmm. Admit it, I moved to Indiana for NASCAR. NASCAR's really not that big of an Indiana anymore. Indiana anymore. There's only one NASCAR race that, that happens here. It's the, the one in Indianapolis and that one. It was actually, believe it or not, like really struggling attendance wise. If you wanted to like be in like NASCAR country nowadays, you gotta be in like either the deep south, like the deep south, so, like Alabama, Mississippi, that sort of thing. Or like the Carolinas, or like maybe Tennessee. Like that's where NASCAR is still really thriving. Everywhere else, like it's kind of struggling nowadays. Hmm. F1 just second. Oh, yeah, F1 is doing a much better job at appealing to like the youths nowadays. NASCAR is such like an old person sport nowadays. It's kind of sad. Um, anyways, what brought me to Indiana? I mean, literally just streaming. When I quit my old job and working at my logistics job to try streaming full time, I went to a place that like it wasn't going to be insanely expensive to stream full time from. So I went to undergrad in Indiana, Purdue University. So I figured like if I was going to try to live the dream, I'd go back to a place where like A, it was cheap to live in, and B, like I was familiar with, so that was Indiana. Three for Dale, brother? Hell yeah. Praise hell, praise Dale. I didn't appreciate it. Uh, by the way, okay. There's gonna be like three people in chat that appreciate what I'm about to say. Back in the days of the early 2000s, I was a Jeff Gordon fan. Which was like not a cool thing to do because everyone hated Jeff Gordon. I didn't appreciate J Dale Jr. enough. Like I've I've gone back and watched Dale Jr.'s podcast nowadays, and he's such a cool, chill dude. They're, like so down to earth. I wish I would have respected Dale Jr. more because like I just I would he would annoy the shit out of me because like oh he was the cool person to root for. So, anyways, all that aside, let's try the I, I've put this off enough. Let's try the teriyaki, shall we? Let's try the shrimp first because the shrimp is the one that looks the most promising. All right. I mean, honestly, dude, it's not bad. Is that as good as, like, actual deep-fried tempura? No, I guess not, but it's not raw. No, it's definitely cooked. It's good. This is the one that, honestly, would have the best chance of being good. <laughs> <We're>, <laughs> we'll get to the other ones in a second, but... Let's dip this in soy sauce and wasabi. Fuck, man. This ah, so nostalgic, man. Eat the tail for good luck. I'm not quite Asian enough to do that, I'm afraid.
Probably the fucking tail will find. It's fine. I mean, it's not nearly as good as like actual deep fried tempura. I'm not gonna try to like kid you guys. It's it deep fried tempura has got much more of like a a crispy, juicy taste to it. Whatever, dude. But I mean, surprise, surprise. Cooking something in boiling oil makes it taste good. Who would have guessed? If you don't cook it in boiling oil, it doesn't taste as good. Pull it, surprise, pull it, pull it. Bye. So fun. So fun. They actually came out good. And they came out fine. I, I, like, I, is it kind of is it the same as Japanese like restaurant tempura? No, it's not. It's definitely not. Um, it's not nearly as crispy. It's not nearly as crunchy. It's not nearly as like moist yet also crispy somehow at the same time. Like yeah, it's like a, there's very few things in the world that can like match the amazingness of deep frying something. Let's not kid ourselves here, but like if you were like a a little like fitness person who wanted to be super conscious about their macros and want to be super conscious about their their calorie intake for the day. It's not a horrible alternative. If you want to just purely just enjoy the good taste of Japanese food, don't do this. Just just have actual deep fried tempura, of course. But if you want to enjoy something like tempura, like in like let's say you're on a diet or something, this is not a terrible alternative. That being said, I just ate the shrimp. Let me try the other two, but because I will admit, okay, we do need to try this. That's, that's carrots on the left, by the way. That's sweet potato on the right. I know you probably can't tell, <laughs> but uh, yeah. <laughs> let's, uh, let's give it a shot. Wait, come on. Oh. All right. We, that's all me? Okay, fair enough. All right, here's the carrot. This is the first one we did. The rest of this was so good. <laughs> well, two out of three ain't bad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it tastes like a, a carrot that has somewhat cooked flour <laughs> around it. <laughs> it's not bad. I mean, it's it's edible. That I mean, that that's the best way to describe it. It is definitely edible. I'll I'll give it that. It's edible. Anything's good if you're drunk. I'm a little drunk. I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little drunk. It's, I mean, uh, okay. I'm a carrot enjoyer. I like cooked carrots. Cooked carrots are tasty. The somewhat cooked, very, very kind of soft, it's barely crunchy crust outside of it is a thing. Oh, don't worry. It is miles ahead of my AI salmon bake. Don't worry about that. Is I'll, I'll I'll eat the rest of this absolutely. Like I'm not like struggling. Like I'll eat this for sure. It's it's not bad. It's fine. I mean like the dis the, the disappointment here mostly just stems from what I know tempura mo normally tastes like, and not from like me trying to struggle to eat this without barfing my brains out. It's fine. Like. This is the one that doesn't bring back nostalgia. <coughs> <coughs> Wasabi. Not the dish. Mm. 
this is the one that doesn't bring back the nostalgia of like, oh, I remember eating this at Japanese restaurants. This one's like, mm, this could be better. I remember tempura being better than this, but that's okay. All right, the potatoes, though. <laughs> you know, this looks like it's pretty cooked and like it's pretty well battered, right? It looks like, oh, look at that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> at least one side looks good, right? Just ignore that side and just pretend like, yeah, that looks pretty good. <laughs> hey, you know what? Half a tempura potato. Tempura, half a tempura potato. Pretty good. Looks like a cookie. Well, let's just coat this side in, in soy sauce and wasabi. That should help, right? Gonna be real, neither side looks good. Well, I kind of agree, but let's see how it tastes. That's actually what matters, right? Honestly, dude, not bad. Is it like as good as actual tempura, just like the shrimp? No, of course not. <clears throat> Out of like a, a scale of one to 10, I'd give it like a, it's like a five. It's perfectly passable, it's fine. I would give like Japanese restaurant tempura sweet potato like a, a nine out of 10. It's fucking delicious, crunchy, salty, just barely sweet, like savory, just fucking mwah, so good. This is like a five out of ten. I'll eat it. It's fine. It's got like a, a an outer crust that's like it's all right. It's fine. Honestly, if you just drench it in soy sauce and wasabi, it's like okay, that's good. But yeah, I maybe at some point in the eventual future we'll have to try actual deep fried tempura because like air fryer tempura isn't as good. Now it's not edible for sure, but not as good. Hmm. Okay. Oh, it does have some crunch to it. You can hear it over there, right? It's like not, not bad. Air fryer can work magic on many things, but tempura may be beyond its limits. I agree. I've I've made a lot of good stuff with uh, like with the air fryer like the the buffalo wings amazingly good um, the lobster tails that we made for the mac and cheese really good tempura all right deep frying might be the play <laughs> all right all right fine. Oh man, Dharma B, you're hitting me with this question at the end here, man. Okay, okay. Thoughts on the future of Classic WoW? Do I think we'll see me doing hardcore classic vanilla speedrunning? Hardcore classic? No, I, I I don't want to play hardcore, man. Hardcore is just not my thing. I, I don't like leveling. I don't like the idea of playing conservatively just to keep myself alive at all times, and that's the biggest priority. I enjoy doing stupid shit and trying to push the limits and trying to go as hard as I can. If I if I go a little bit too hard and fuck up, then so be it. I learned my lesson. Scared of hardcore? It's not, I'm not scared of hardcore. It's more that like I am underwhelmed by hardcore. It's more like I don't want to feel like I'm scared to pull the next trash back. If that makes sense. Um, I'd rather just pull and see what the fuck happens. If I if it goes horribly wrong, then so be it. I run back and res and try again. Um, but like as far as the future of like vanilla raiding or just raiding in general, I want to stick out Wrath, obviously. Like I, I want to get Shadowborn. That's the goal I've set for, my, set for myself. I want to try to make sure that uh, let me give you like the, the ASMR experience. I, I want to make sure that like Wrath is I, I see it through and, and finish off ICC for better or for worse. Like I, I I'm obviously I've not been I've not made a secret that I don't love Wrath, but. At the very least, I want to make sure that I see through the content and see what it's like and 
give me give you guys give you guys my thoughts on it for better or for worse as to like what my experience has been. And then <clears throat> as far as like past that point, I don't know, man. Like I I would love to just play like classic vanilla again, just as is, as as it was released back in 2019 again, but I don't want to play some weird modified blizzard brainchild of what classic should be with a bunch of weird changes and modifications and class balance like to me that isn't vanilla i i appreciate that people want like a different version of the game that they can have fun with that is maybe more old school but to me like vanilla is as close as well, as close to perfection as you can get i, I don't need changes or modification to modification modifications to vanilla i just want to play vanilla that's the version of the game specifically that i love take it or leave it so what will I do like after Wrath's over? I mean, I hope I, I really hope that Blizzard releases like classic vanilla fresh again. I'd love to just do that again. I, I'm I'm gonna be honest. I don't think they will. At least the version that I want to play specifically, I I don't think they'll do it again. But if they do, then I'll absolutely do that. If they don't, I don't know, man. I'd like to, I'd love to do more content like this. But at the same time, I know I can't do the content like this. That's like just like full time. I'd love to do more camping streams. I'd love to do more just IRL IRL stuff in general. But. <sighs> We'll see, dude. We'll see. Back to DMT. Back to your jamba. Back to I, uh, I'd love to, to tell you that I have an answer for what's going to happen after Wrath is over, but I don't. So we're just going to we're gonna figure it out as it comes. I'll tell you this. Enjoy the, the South Dally streams while they last, because after Wrath is over, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. When camping stream? I've already got the the exact idea of what I want to do next with the camping stream. Um, it's either if I can, if I can get my shit together fast enough, maybe next week or at the very very maximum, probably like two weeks from now. Um, I know what I want to do. I've got a fun idea for it. I think uh, overall, I think what I want to do is going to be a, a fun stream. But I'll let you guys know. I'll let you guys know because yeah, I, I really love those streams too. They, those have been a lot of fun. Try not to have the call the, the cops call to me again. Outside of that, though, I think uh, it should be fun. So, alrighty, let's uh, let's make our way back to the uh, the computer so we can call it a stream. Oh, I want to finish off that dinner right there, dude. I, I I I'm not sure I can realistically express how how nostalgic and amazing that uh, that Japanese dinner was. I know it's not authentic Japanese food. I know it's not necessarily like. Oh, hold on. There we go. I know it's not Japanese food that like. A real Japanese person would eat, but man, that shit just brings me back, man. It just brings me back. All right, all right. Three, two. Good, my quality. Hello, hi. Oh, this was hands down my best cooking stream. Thanks, dude. I this was fun. I, this was kind of a long one. This is a five-hour cooking stream. <laughs> I, just, I knew this was gonna be kind of a long one. I didn't think it'd be this long, but fuck, man, that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed myself. Um. So I would say California roll, eight out of ten. I could have like probably wrapped it a bit better. Maybe in the future I could do a bit better of a job of like um, finding a better rice to seaweed to stuff inside ratio. But overall, pretty decent. The tempura, eh, I'll give that like a five out of ten. Passable, edible, not bad. If you dip it in soy sauce and wasabi, enjoyable, but. It could have been better, admittedly. That's something that, like, realistically, I'd watch one deep fry next time. Fine. And then, um... The, uh... The teriyaki chicken. Really good. Maybe a little too much ginger. Like, I'm not a huge ginger guy. If you're super into ginger, it's probably, like, 10 out of 10. I would say it was, like, 8 out of 10 again. Like, maybe a little too much ginger, but, like, honestly, overall, even as a non-ginger guy, pretty fucking good. Maybe I would. Just, I, I might have used chicken thighs instead, instead of chicken breast, to make it like maybe a little bit more melt in your mouthy. But overall, like I, I can't really complain. That was still pretty tasty. Still pretty tasty. Dar says I gotta quit my doom and gloom. My IRL streams are doing well. Once Wrath is over, do more and branch out into variety. I, I would love to, man. I mean, like once Wrath is over, like I'm not really in anything out. Um, I don't hate the idea of trying more of that. It's just it, it admittedly would be hard to do this like full time. Right now, I, I only do the IRL streams once a week or maybe twice, like once every two weeks, just because if I'm being honest, it's like, it's much more cost prohibitive. Cost prohibitive. It costs me almost nothing to stream Classic WoW all day, every day, but um, the cooking streams require a lot more 
preparation and effort and money, admittedly, to prepare for. So I can't do them super often, but like, eh, you know what? Between that or trying some normal ass desk job, you never know, dude. You never do. Might never might try it after wrath. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, anyways, I gotta sober up, clean up my kitchen, um, and uh, enjoy the rest of that Japanese meal that I cook for myself before I go to bed tonight. So, anyways, I'm kind of drunk. Sorry, I don't really normally be normally. Uh, I don't normally mean to be this intoxicated on stream because. Because then I start to say things that I maybe shouldn't say. But uh, I'll be back tomorrow. I'm stream tomorrow is going to start at uh, 11 a.m. Eastern Time, 1700 Central European Time. We're going to be doing a GDKP on the Hex Hoof Mama, who I might have done a 10 man GDKP on today off stream and gotten a best pair of boots that I didn't tell you guys about. So sorry about that. But uh, yeah, doing a 25 man tomorrow on that character. Um, you guys can do exclamation point discord in the chat if you feel like joining my discord it's a place where I post stream news stream announcements anytime I go live I'll make sure to ping you guys a place where you can ask me something like so streamer did you get a piece of loot off stream just like exclamation point TOC yeah yeah I did sorry fucking sue me alright fucking sue me when's the Krabby Patty cooking stream I should do a, a Spongebob cooking stream actually that, that would actually be sick as fuck dude um you could do like Krabby Patty what else could you do besides Krabby Patties though I could do, <laughs> I could do Krabby Patty su Supreme, kind of like the one like the deep fried Krabby Patty. Uh, that's not a bad idea. We'll think about that. We'll think about that. Yeah, Linty G, sorry, I, I had to take down the the rapid fod, but had to be there, I guess. Anyways, boys, appreciate you guys hanging out. Appreciate you guys keeping chat lively as always. Hopefully, you enjoyed the extra long cooking stream. I did. That was a lot of fun. And uh, if you're NA, have a good rest of the night. If you're EU, have a good rest of the, I guess, morning at this point. If you're OC, have a good rest of the afternoon. And uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow for... Ugh, wrath content? Ugh, gross. <laughs> this fucking music, dude. I, I, I didn't hear this all stream. Keep in mind, like, you heard this, but I was in the kitchen, so I couldn't hear this. So this is fucking hilarious. Anyways... Bye-bye.